Hello, and welcome to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, and I know what you're thinking. Hey, Kevin, you're, you're in the city again, man. Last video, when you were in the city, you were like, I'm gonna be camping next week. Well, I am camping. Now today is a little bit of a challenge for myself. I wanted to, well, see if I could just walk out my door and go camping. I live uh, downtown in a mid-sized city, Rochester, New York. The air conditioner capital of the world, that's not true. That's, I don't think anyone's ever said that about Rochester. There's no, no reason to say that. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Scouted out a spot on the map. It's about four and a half miles away. And I am just going to leave. I just left walking down the street. Somebody's smoking weed. And I'm going to, well, put my mask up because I'm about to pass people and go camping. Trying another new thing today. Pink Gatorade. Let's see. See how that is. That's foul. Uh, that's what I bought. That's what I bought for the walk. Oh God. Oh no. You know, I'm already getting a little toasty. I'm like four blocks away from my apartment. Oh, the sun came out as soon as I walked outside, which is great, it's wonderful. But now I am hot. I am a little toasty. And uh, we'll, we'll see how the, uh, the four more miles I have to walk approximately go. The, uh, the, the way I'm getting there, is I'm, I left my apartment, I'm walking through downtown here, and I'm going to hit the river, the Riverway Trail, the Genesee Riverway Trail. I'm gonna walk down that, and then that's gonna to connect to another trail, and then I'm gonna walk down that, and that is going to be adjacent to a forest. Now, I've never been to this forest. I don't know if I'm even going to be able to camp in it, but I'm going to try. It's not public property, or I'm sorry, it is public property, it's not private property. It's owned by the county. I did my due diligence and checked, so I'm not really like worried about any pitchfork dudes coming out, like, get off of my land. Uh, if anything, I'm just trying not to disturb anybody. Um, it looked like a pretty big forest. It's between two housing tracks and a park. And on the other side is the trail that I'm taking to get there. So, looks like I have a little bit of a walk ahead of me. You know, I really hated this the first time that I drank it. Like, really hated it. It was like medicine. It tasted like ball sweat. It kind of grew on me. Like, the second sip wasn't as bad. It's probably just like chemicals. At first, my body was like, ugh, chemicals. But then it's like, you give in to the chemicals. Just let the chemicals wash over you. Huh. How about stealth camping in there? How about some stills, kid? Yeah, no, there's no way that's gonna work. Uh, no way.
Well, the adventure continues. To my left, a giant cemetery. To my right, well, there's a bus stop, but mostly co co college buildings. I'm in the University of Rochester. There's been an old couple following me for the past two miles. Let me see if they're still there. Yes. <laughs> they're straight up following me. At some point, I'm just gonna stop walking because this is a through, it's one of the through paths to the other path. I thought maybe they'd follow the other path, but they're just, they're just on me. They're just following me. They must be, they must know who I am from watching small plots. Anyway, uh, pretty soon I'm gonna leave this campus and it meets up with another trail. And uh, I'm probably gonna stop there, let them pass me, take a breather, but I'm kinda, kinda getting there. I've been walking for a little over an hour. I have about a half hour left. So the bulk of it's over. This pack has been great. I love this pack so much. It's the uh, 25 liter day ruck from the Hidden Woodsman. And uh, I have a bunch of other lightweight gear in there, but oh man, no stress. I got four beers in here. I got four beers and a liter of water. It's like weightless, weightless. All right, leaving the city. I don't usually leave the city unless I, really unless I'm going camping or like visiting my parents or something. Walking over a, it's a repurposed railroad bridge that it just turned into a pedestrian bridge. Right there is how they fill the uh, Erie Canal with the Genesee River. See on the other side of that, I don't know if the camera picks that up, the water is low and on my side, the water is high. And then what, maybe uh, maybe it's the next month in, in, in April or May, uh, they open the gates and the canal fills up. They empty it for the winter so it doesn't freeze and break 150 year old infrastructure. So, not sure the exact moment I left the city, but I'm pretty sure I've left the city at this point. And I gotta say, I'm scared, I'm scared. I'm terrified. This ended up being gross again. I'm kind of flip-flopping on it. And honestly, this I've kind of seen more people. <laughs> Nats. Oh good, I didn't bring a bug net. Um, I've seen more people here on the outskirts of the city uh, than on the entire like riverway trail. But, but I'm here. I lost that old couple. Turns out it wasn't an old couple at all. It was hippies. Not the woods I'm going in, but we're not far now. In these parts, if you see like a long bit of water like that, that kind of stretches for a while. Chances are it's just the remains of a canal, maybe even the Erie Canal. They've switched up the size and placement of the Erie Canal a couple of times. So sometimes when you're around the canal, you see these little ditches and you wonder to yourself, is this the original Clinton's ditch? I could probably find out, but I won't. I won't look that up. I'll just assume that it, maybe, it, maybe it is. It might be. This is what I was trying to avoid by camping in the suburbs outside the city. Found my, uh, well, what I assume is my first remnants of a homeless camp. Doesn't look like anybody's been here for a while, but we got, we got some pants. We got some other pants and of course, garbage. Just kind of checking off or checking out a little side path over here. Hopefully I scare the out of somebody coming out of the woods right now. <laughs> Nobody's here. Boring. Okay, I'm in the final stretch of trail here. It's pretty desolate. However, just like I mentioned in the last check-in, um, there's more people here than I've seen 
on the entire rest of the trail. Looks like everyone has the idea of getting out of the city today. Um, to my left are some private property signs, but that's not the direction I'm headed. I'm headed this way. Although not just yet, because there's houses there. Just as I walked into this trail, a car pulled up with his dog. There's people right ahead of me. So, kind of just gonna play it cool. I know where I want to go in, not quite there yet. But once I do, I'm kind of going to just hang out till nobody's around. Who knows how long that's going to be. Oh, I'm so close. I'm so close. To my left is, uh, I guess, I don't know if it's a beaver pond or just a pond. I guess there kind of has to be beavers for it to be a beaver pond, but really, other than that, not much different. It was clearly not always a pond. Um, I haven't seen any uh, beaver chew, so I guess that's something. Oh, and by the way, to the right of me is still that stretch of water. That's got to be some kind of old canal. I, I don't know if it's the Erie Canal or some other canal. There used to be a lot of canals around here, and certainly wouldn't be the first time uh, walking on an old railroad bed, the, the, you know, rail, rail to trail, as it were, um, where it's accompanied with a canal bed right next to it. Pretty soon I'm going to jump in the woods. I don't know when I'll have an opportunity, so I'm just going to keep the camera rolling. So far, I was gonna say so far I'm good, but as soon as I turned around, somebody comes up behind me on a bicycle. Looks like they're riding kind of slow, so no matter. I'm just, uh, I'm just admiring the beaver pond. Ah, beavers. <sighs> I'm just gonna assume it's a beaver pond. I mean, I have no reason to think that. Um, but I like, I like thinking that. And then uh, these guys are gonna pass me. You see all these types of trees and they all get the, yeah, they, they, they don't suspect a thing. I'm gonna get back on the trail. Ah, somebody else is riding their bike. Did that person just come out of the woods? Oh, geez. They might have. <laughs> oh, man. Well, it turns out I'm about to go find a homeless camp or something. It's not like I'm forced to camp there. I did pass a few suitable forests on my way here. So I guess I could always just uh, choose one of them, but here's hoping. I think that was the guy. That was the guy. That was the guy that came out of the woods, I think. Oh, okay. Never mind. Oof. The uh, the trail bends. I totally forgot. The trail bends up there, and he came out. He came out of the bend. However, that that bend is is where I'm going into the woods, so it's possible. We'll see. Again, I did not scout this place out. I just saw some woods here, and I saw some trails leading to it, and I thought, hey, what better opportunity to try out my first official stealth camp than this? I've done secret camps before. Couldn't really call them stealth, though. This one's definitely a little bit more of the uh, stealthy variety. Whoo! My thighs are chafing. I've only been walking for like an hour and a half. And they gotta be like, just rubbed raw already. Whew. Good thing I don't have too much more to do once I get there. Okay. Here we are. Good behind me for now. But then we're gonna turn this path and watch something something like that is going to happen. <laughs> All right. So here's the, here's what I'm talking about. So I thought the guy came out of. All right. That's good. That's good. All right, of course, of course, there's someone here. I was gonna chill 
out for a second. How's it going? It's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Get out of here. This is my home. Alright, I'm getting I'm getting in the woods. Still visible from the trail. Gotta keep moving. I don't want another cyclist to come by. <sighs> Whew. I'm a little out of breath. Just, <laughs> just wanted a long walk and then a run. But I gotta keep going because that path is still right there. And I want to get, oh God, <laughs> I want to not break my camera. Um, and the goal is to make it as close, there's a creek up here. My goal is to make it as close to that creek as possible because there's just woods on the other side of that creek and then woods on the other side of me and then the trail. So that's kind of what it is. And there's houses this way, houses behind the camera that way, but they're not gonna, they're not close enough. I'm kind of standing here because I don't know where to go. <laughs> I am kind of surrounded here. Let's see. Okay, okay. I've done this before. Stepping on some, some of that fungus that Poofs out, dust. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. Let's go around this way. No, that way's... All right, this is kind of what I was afraid of. But, just gotta go the long way around. Just, just standing in some crap. I don't see any prints of any kind, man or beast. Looks like the woods opens up a little bit over here. Oh boy, prickers. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so when I looked on the uh, past view, like the, uh, when they do the satellite view of uh, the history um, on Google Earth, there was something running through it. I couldn't tell if it was a path or a small stream and it looks like it's this small stream right here. No bother. And again, better than a path. Because that would have thrown a whole, whole bungle into my bingo. This is balls, man. Oh, there's a pink thing. How do I get through here? It's too wide to jump right there. I might be able to do it right here, and there's just prickers. Just, I don't know if the camera's picking up, just, just thorns. Just thorns, okay. You'd think that if people were coming back here, there'd be like some kind of uh, stick bridge. I'm gonna do this with the Gatorade and the GoPro. Ooh, boy. Yep, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work at all. Not even kinda. All right, plan B. This is good. I guess I'm just gonna have to kind of finagle with these prickers and go slow and just make sure they know their place underneath my boot. Oh, yeah, that's the way to be stealth, Kevin. Just screech. That's gonna be hard for me, man. I'm, I'm a loud, talkative person. Okay, so this is kinda where I wanna go. Is that a trail cam? What's, what are we looking at over here? I don't know, it looks like just used to be a hunting fort or something. Could be a trail cam, not too worried about it. Okay, this looks like what I'm 
talking about where somebody made a makeshift bridge. <sighs> I gotta be able to do this. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the camera down because this is gonna take a couple of hands. Okay, I've made it. It's kind of a P and the B. Somehow bought, dialed my mom. So here I am, the woods is open. It's almost a little too open now. I think you can see the reflection of a car that way. I don't know. But this is kind of where I'm thinking about setting up. The only signs of human activity are uh, some, some old graffiti on trees. I don't know if you can see that. Some are marked green, some are marked black. It is so nice and quiet out here. I think the key is to sort of just chill out for a while before I set anything up. Make sure nobody's coming back. I don't even actually know what time it is. It's just about five. So that means I have, what, like three-ish hours, two and a half or so hours of sunlight left. It's, it's kind of perfect. Ooh, I just saw a hunting fort. Let's go check it out, see how new it is. Is that a hunting fort? Oh, dude, that's not a hunting fort at all. Of a place of a, of a hunting fort. Cool. Well, yeah. Now I'm, I'm just getting closer to homes now. Seeing the, the the whites of buildings. So I'm gonna head a little bit this way, because it would be cool to have a little fire tonight. It's kind of my goal to hopefully have a fire, especially. Like, this is actually a little bit better than I expected back here. I didn't know what to expect. But a big open woods. I see the park over there on the other side of some brush. And I know on the other side of that brush is a, is a creek that no one's, no one's crossed. And people canoe in that creek. Um, I don't know if they canoe this far down it, but it's not something they're crossing. Awesome. Somebody's out here. Hey, buddy. Do you, do you care? Do you mind? I almost stepped on him. He must be just waking up. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave you be. I'll leave you be, buddy. Anyway, just found a birch tree. Birch tree. Birch tree. Now I have to have a fire. Ain't that right, buddy? Okay, possible other camper over there. I don't know if you can see that tarp. Or maybe it's a tent, I can't really tell. But it's on the other side of this little... That's that's the, uh, the remainder of Red Creek there. Something else over there, too. But I, I think that's just garbage. And that's what you always hate to see. The hunting fort. Let's go check it out. There's literally, what is that? Oh, deer. Crap, well, I guess this is a good spot. And yeah, they're gone. But uh, also over there, I don't know if you can see, is a house. And then right there is a trail. And then right there is where somebody's firing guns. I guess this is a good time as I need to kind of go through what I packed up. Again, I have the Hidden Woodsman 25 liter day rock. I have two side pouches. One is the Hidden Woodsman brand and the other is a knockoff from Amazon. But in here I had my water bottle and, the, uh, you know, just a cook kit that fits around it with some steaks. That, this is basically weightless and uh, doesn't take up any space, so in case I need it, it's there. Probably won't use it. Um, usually I have my sleeping bag on top and my chair on the bottom. Neither are there. Ta-da! Oh, look at that! Survival! Got my sleeping pad, of course. Got tissue, because my nose is running like a sieve, man. I think it's allergies or something. I, oh, geez, it's bad. Oh, another beer. Oh, my, oh, uh, oh what? Uh, 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 another beer. Got my possibles pouch with things like my headlamp, fire starting stuff, my hammy ham, tarp, have a poncho, 
and the rest is just my sleeping bag. God. All right. <laughs> Am I done? Okay. Uh, all right, guys. I'm just gonna, gonna kind of hang out now. I uh, kind of walked around the perimeter, saw what I'm working with. Um, it's still pretty open woods, so much so that I could see my pack from just just my pack sitting here from a distance. So I'm gonna, I might move a little bit, but I found two trees that'll suit my hammock. Still not positive about the fire. If I am gonna move, it's to find a place with maybe like a mound or a divot that I can have the fire in, or, you know, next to the mound so it's blocking it, not on, not on top of the mound, that would, everyone would see. Here, take a, take a look at what I'm looking at here. I uh, totally forgot to bring my sitting pad. I didn't bring my chair on purpose. I thought that uh, walking through the city with anything hanging off of my backpack would look suspicious. So uh, no chair, seating pad, totally forgot about, but it's okay. Um, probably just gonna sit in my hammock most of the night anyway. Really just time to relax. Huh? We got a helicopter. There's no way this camera's gonna pick that up. But they're, they're clearly after me. Oh yeah, I forgot my side pouches. Other than this one. Guess I forgot this other side pouch. And here is just my food and uh, one more one more beer. I, I, I'm not gonna show you. It's just food and a beer. Big, big, big money excitement. <sighs> you know, the more I look around these woods, the more I do see little bits of garbage. Nothing too bad. Nothing too recent. Um, right here, kind of next to where I'm gonna set up, is actually kind of an old, cool old glass bottle. Moss growing on inside there. What's growing on? It's moss. It's moss. And then there's a, a cider can, Red's apple cider, up on this, up on this branch over here. Somebody was using it for target practice, it looks like. What? Okay, so I'm gonna move my camp just a little bit. Um, really, that there's kind of where I was gonna set it up. And then right over here, I think it's just a little bit more squirreled away. I can, uh, Hang my hammock between that tree and one of one of those. This is just a branch. I'll get rid of that. And then I uh, have my hammock here and maybe like a little fire, like right down here. Um, that way it's being blocked on all sides. I mean, it's like underneath, but <clears throat> for the most part being blocked on all sides. So I guess I'll start slowly doing that. I still have a couple hours, hour and a half before sunset. I, I want to not do too much before it starts getting dark. I don't want somebody coming out here getting, getting an idea. This, this just came out of the ground.
Okay, still just kind of hanging out here, slowly setting things up. <clears throat> Excuse me, have my hammock up. I'm trying to be quiet. I'm trying not to, to just... Bah! So I'm trying, I might seem a little low-key right now. It's just because I'm trying not to blow my cover. Not that I'm super close, but I'm, I'm close enough. I'm close enough. Um, don't love the hang of my hammock. It's fine. It's okay. It's uh, just the trees are just like a foot too close. I might actually not even do the sleeping pad tonight. That might even make, make it worse trying to lay in it diagonally. Um, the sleeping bag that I have is... Uh, has more down on the bottom than the top, so I should be okay if I decide not to do the sleeping pad. I'll probably try it out. I can always take it out if I don't need it. But, uh, I think it's time, before I put my tarp and everything up, to have a beer! Oh, have it be ah! Oh, have it be ho! Oh. Today, having a beer that I've had on the channel before, the Citra Dreams Hazy IPA by Captain Lawrence Brewing Company out of Elmsford. Can't wait to go. Sounds fantastic. Anyway, um, this, is, this is a good IPA. They sell it at my local beer store, um, which is basically just a glorified bodega that sells beer. So I don't have the best selection in the world when I go there, but it's certainly good. It's, it's a good selection. So um, here we go. That is the perfect temp. I actually prefer IPAs a little bit less than cold sometimes. I can't remember if I've said that on the channel before, but um, I have, here, let's see if I can. I have a bunch of, bunch of sticks ready to, I'm gonna do some light processing. I don't wanna do too much work on it because that makes noise, um, but that was all just right here. And there's still, there's still some, as you can see. Um, so yeah, maybe in a couple hours, maybe like right, right as dusk is turning into night, I'll light it up. Wonderful! <laughs> so yeah, so far so good on the first ever stealth camp that I've, uh, I've done. Um, I didn't want to stretch it. I've had a couple other, you know, secret camps, but those are so safe and access is safe, you know, in the easily accessed, you know, just like my Erie Canal camp. Uh, I had to go through the woods to get to the secret camp. It's not really stealth. This is, I mean, I had to run off the trail to get here. I didn't want anybody to see me. There's houses right over there. I can still actually see kind of part of a house over there, but I believe that's on the other side of the creek anyway, so I'm not really too worried about that. Over here, I know our houses, but it's so, the woods is just a little bit w denser over here, brushier, not really, penetrable to be frank so I'm really not worried about that side except for the trail the only thing I'm worried about is the trail that was mostly used by deer except for that one boot print that I saw that wasn't mine it's it's just it's I already feel you know more alive feel more alive there are a lot of small planes and helicopters going overhead I've seen about three or four small planes and two helicopters in the hour that I've been chilling here, hour and a half. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here at around nine o'clock. Thankfully, I have my lovely girlfriend to come and pick me up so I don't have to walk home in the rain. It's going. I'm going to wake up to rain. I'm going to wake up to rain. It's supposed to start in the wee hours of the morning and by seven, eight o'clock, just full on whatever. And that's, that's about when I'm gonna get up and get out. So, Better to not walk through that. I guess so far, challenge is going well. <clears throat> Just walking outside and finding wood. That's what I wanted to do. I didn't want to drive anywhere. I didn't want to have to deal with parking. I didn't want to have to bug anybody for a ride. I probably will in the future, but um, I just, it was kind of like a little mini challenge. I wanted to not have anything on the outside of my pack and I wanted to just walk and camp. And I was somehow able to do that with four beers. <laughs> What are, what is, I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't know.
All right, well, if somebody was gonna come back, now would be the time, because I am basically all set up. And of course, this would be, this would be the time, wouldn't it? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk a little bit away, see how obvious my camp is. I don't think it's gonna be like super hidden or anything. I kind of just want to get a good idea. Oh, look, another plane. I'm not, I'm not kidding you guys. They're coming by every 10 minutes. I'm pretty sure it's the same one at this point. Very, very, very clearly right there. Okay, let's, let's go a little bit further this way. Like if somebody was just over here, having themselves a nice little stroll through the woods in the last half hour of daylight, what would they see? In all honesty, if, if someone's walking through the woods and they see that set up, the odds of them coming over and saying anything are almost zero, right? Like, you're walking through the woods and you see a camp that you didn't expect to see there. Are you approaching it? Or are you turning around and going back home? And then calling your sister, being like, Margaret, listen to this shit. Okay, let's see how we look. I, I, can, I can see my beer. I can see my beer can. I can see my hammock. My tarp is up higher than it normally is for two reasons. One, I'm doing an experiment. I just want to see how high I can make it because I'm a tall guy and sometimes it sucks to stand underneath there. I can actually almost stand up fully right now the way it is. Um, but also, I have it up higher so I can see. If I'm sleeping or it's late at night or early in the morning and I'm just lying there and I hear someone or something approaching, I want to be able to look over and see it. It's not like covering my hammock with the tarp more is going to conceal the camp anymore. So they'll just see me sleeping or they'll see me looking over at them being like, howdy, you have a new neighbor. Oh, there's another birch tree over there. Man, I love that. How do you, how do you propagate more birch trees? Can I like take some birch seeds and put them elsewhere? Cause there's not enough of these things. <sighs> Okay, let's see. You know, if I'm being honest, I can't really see it that great. I mean, I can see it when I'm looking at it, but if I'm just walking through the woods, minding my own business, I'm not seeing that. Um, let me just walk a little bit farther. Let me go in an exit. Okay, let me just go in a different direction here. Just out of curiosity, out of poops and wangles. Oh yeah, no, this is, that's pretty stealth from here. I can't see, I can't see it at all, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's completely covered by the brush. I don't even see my white, white tarp. I mean, it's light gray, but let's be real. Oh, hey, look at the plane. Okay, time to make a fire. It's just before sundown. Let me get this out of the way here. And uh, making, a, making a little spot here. I'm gonna sit here and have the fire here. Oh good. All right. So, just kind of getting some twigs here. Really, no, really nothing fancy tonight. I'm not gonna use my saw, even though I have it. There's so much wood, ar wood around. I'm, ju I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna break it off. This is gonna be a, be a wishy-washy fire start. Okay. This is gonna be such a wishy-washy firelight. It might not even do it the first time. I'm putting almost no effort. Oh. 
This is how great birch bark is. <laughs> Do you see how little of a hoot I gave there when I started that fire? I was like, bleh, bleh, bleh. Well, I may have spoken too soon. <laughs> Okay, we got it. Just needed a little TLC. I guess I, I was a little gung-ho with the just toss a bunch of sticks on some birch bark there. But I didn't really do much else. I kind of just moved it around, blew on it a little bit. Um, got some more tiny guys in there. Now we're going good. I don't want it really much bigger than that. Alright, getting ready to have a nice little night here. I'll finish up my beer, and then, you guessed it, you guessed it. Like I said, guys, my brain isn't working today. You guessed it, another beer, that's what I meant to say. Another beer is on the horizon. And then, dinner. What am I having for dinner? I bet you're curious. I bet I'm going to let you down. I wonder if you can hear the expressway over there. It's actually kind of a pleasant, steady din. I should double check the, the forecast. But, let's see. Yeah, the sun is actually about 15 minutes away from setting still, but it's getting pretty dark here in the woods. I don't imagine anyone's coming out here now. And if they are, it's probably not to do anything savory. I'll have to do a walk around tonight to see how many uh, lights I can see from adjacent houses. But here it is. Here it is. My first stealther. It's not bad. It's not bad to be able to leave your front porch, leave your uh, second story, one bedroom apartment in a downtown area and just walk and get here. I like it. I like it. Well, I spoke too soon. Somebody just ran by. <laughs> that little trail that I was walking on earlier, a guy in a bright yellow shirt. I heard his music first, actually. He was listening to music. He just boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop, ran right by. At first he didn't see me and then he remarked, he was like, oh, he, like when he did see me, I was like, hey, sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. And he seemed cool, he's a younger guy. Um, I assume he's gonna have to come back this way, I don't know. I got, I got him on my cell phone camera, so hopefully I can put that in there, but uh, I don't know, hopefully that doesn't mean anything. I've been busted, what do you want? I'm, bu I'm busted, I've been busted by the runner. I don't know where he's going. Now I'm just on edge a little bit. I keep waiting for that guy to come back. You don't expect to see a, a jogger in the middle of the woods. But you did, but I did, but you do. I guess that's what happens. Now I'm just sort of hanging out. I was gonna like sit and relax, now I can't relax. Until at least kind of dark, I guess. I mean, so it's basically there. The camera doesn't really look like it's showing how dark it is. The sun is definitely set. And I assume he's running down the trail. Maybe that connects to the road over there, or maybe it runs over. I'm not really sure, but it's possible he got that way and then ran over and then now he's going back down that trail that I actually came in on. There's some, some noises out here. Heard like a snort, like a deer snort or something. Let's take let's take a little walk around, eh? Let's calm calm the nerves oh, with a little beer. It's really just kind of a mindset thing, right? Like you didn't expect to see anybody out here in the woods, and then bright yellow shirt guy comes gallivanting through the brush. 
I should be louder. I, sh I was maybe it was too quiet. Like he like he was past me. He he must have seen like the flicker of the fire or something because he was he was past me and turned around to to look and was then startled. So I guess that's good. <laughs> I guess that ste the stealthiness was somewhat achieved. I'm like expecting to see somebody else, like not even that guy. I'm ex I'm expecting to now just see a random guy in the woods, in which case I would probably flag him down so he doesn't get startled. I'm not trying to startle people out here. I'm not trying to freak anybody out. I'm just trying to camp. I'm just trying to have myself a little camp. Oh, look at that. It looks like it's almost a full moon again. I keep getting these. I don't know if that's coming in, but. I wish I could relax. I'm not like freaked out or anything. I'm just like ultra, ultra alert. Oh, yep. Okay. I can see one light on a house or maybe it actually looks more like a street lamp. Anyway, let's get to dinner. Okay. I can't see if the camera can see me, so hopefully it can. Still a little bit on edge, but for dinner tonight, I have uh, just two in a pack. It's gonna eat them on some tortillas. That's it. Didn't really know what was what I was gonna see out here. Didn't want to assume I was gonna have a fire and cook. I didn't really want to bring a um, like a propane anything or or butane or I didn't want to bring like a little pocket rocket thing. That's just extra. Uh, not I mean it's, it's pretty light. Not extra weight. Just extra space. We're rocking 20 foot. Well, let's say 30 liters with the side packs. Shut, the, shut up. Let's say 30 liters with the side packs. So, um, yeah. There we go. Got some buffalo tuna creations. I'm literally, I have three of them. I'm going to put one in each tortilla. I have three tortillas. And I'm just going to eat them just to get food in my body. There's nothing fancy here. There's no... I'm not even going to demonstrate. I'm not going to eat in front of the camera. I'm not going to do any of that stuff because it's boring. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's maybe more exciting if there's something more exciting that I'm fixing and eating. Oh my god. <coughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just. I'm just gonna eat these. I'm just. I'm just... Okay, so 100% somebody just walked over there. It wasn't the yellow shirt guy. Oh, oh God, okay, it's a deer. Whew, I was even thinking like, they moved too slowly to be a deer. It was, I just, I mean, I just saw a deer, unless, unless there's like a person with a pet deer that's following them, oh my gosh. I was like positive it was a person. I was like, deer don't move that slow. They were like, Ugh, now I'm just on edge. <laughs> okay, time to eat the tuna creation. It's good to be out here in just a hoodie. It's about it's about 45 degrees as I just I just looked at the, the thermometer a little bit ago. And I'm just sitting here in a shirt and a hoodie and really thin pants, like those camping pants. I didn't want to wear my normal bright orange RBRC camping pants, so I, I got my uh, old school Walmart camping pants, which are like th as th thin or thinner than paper. And uh, I'm doing just fine, I feel great. But this fire is just so delightful. It's just so nice out here. It's nice to listen to the peepers on the full moon. Haven't heard any coyotes or anything yet. I hear some kind of squeaking over this way. I'm not really sure what that is. If it's like a mouse freaking out or it could be a bat, but it's it's been stationary. So like it's a bat would be around. Um, it's been going for a few minutes. It's going now. That squeaking is getting louder though. Tell you what, the squeaking's getting louder. It's getting closer. Shut up. 
<laughs> what is that? Yeah. Really, really nice night. I, I might be too warm in that sleeping bag. <laughs> I might have to pop my arms out. I, I don't I haven't even put on a beanie or anything. My bald bald head is completely exposed. Oh wow. Did I really blacken my face and my arm like that? What a dingle. It's always creepy when the uh, the peepers just stop all at once and they're silent. And then they start going again like five minutes later. Like what happened? What what travesty befell your community to cease your beautiful music? But, you know, th these are frogs we're talking about. They, they're cold-blooded. They don't function after a certain temperature. Yeah, it's 43. So, <laughs> good on them for still going. I, I hear them. I don't know if the camera's picking up the peepers in the background, but good, good on them for, for continuing their uh, horny pursuits. Check out this fungus. Okay, gotta always go around, make sure these are all taut. They kind of, the, the toggles are cool, but they do come a little loose after, after a minute. Anyway, so yeah, spiders, the elephant in the room. Um, yeah, I don't sleep with a bug gnat during certain seasons, basically summer only. Because I like the openness, I like the freedom of not being constrained by a bug net, I guess. I don't know. Plus it smells weird. Um, but yeah, you know, you kind of just have to mentally deal with it, I guess. There's no... There, there's, there are spiders in my sleeping bag. That's what I'm saying. Like, I haven't seen them, but I know that they're in there. There have been sleeping bags that I've opened up and dead spiders have fallen out. You just have, you just have to understand... That, that, it, that it happens. So I've got gummies. I'm gonna eat some gummies. I've never had these. I don't know if they're new. I haven't seen them before. They're like Arizona iced tea gummies. Let's give them a rip. I was about to put my mouth on it and rip it until I remember that I got them from the store. So the first thing I noticed is the uh, the overwhelming sugar odor. If, if there are any animals within a 20 mile radius that are interested in sugar, they immediately smell this as soon as I opened it. It was pungent. Oh my God, they're like little pills. Isn't that what I expected? <laughs> yeah, it was like pills. What is this supposed to be? There's like a mark thing on the end. It's supposed to be like a hot dog. I don't know. It's a pill. Are they all this? Yeah. They're little penises. What says Arizona on it? Oh, are they? Oh! They're little air... Geese. Uh, they're little Arizona cans. They're little Arizona cans. Oh my god. It's this thing. It's like part of their logo or something, right? No. Oh. No. Yeah. Pretty good. Nothing special, honestly. It's like gummies. Hmm. It's a little. It's a. It's chode. Shit, they're delicious. But they're gummies, you know? I don't know what, I guess like Arizona decided to get into the, the gummy game. Well, I think it's time to say goodnight. It's been a wonderful, quiet evening besides some weird screeches and what have you. The fire is like completely out. I'm nice and toasty in my sleeping bag. Um... Yeah, and I will, uh, I'll check in with you guys if anything wacky happens over, over the night. Otherwise, I will see you in, like, like a second.
That's just the moon coming in. It's pretty pretty bright in here. Ah, well, we had a little bit of a sleep there, didn't we? Didn't sleep too bad, considering. Ugh. Yeah, woke up a bunch, of course, but nothing really happened. No animals, no joggers yet. It's about 7.30 in the morning. I'm going to start getting up here pretty soon and packing up and get to my ride. Go get some breakfast. It, uh, it was a little bumpy there for a minute with the jogger. Definitely saw some deer, but I think overall that was a successful stealth camp. My first official stealth camp. We'll definitely do more of these. Um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of get cleaned up here. I'm a little ahead of schedule. I need to slow down. Maybe I'll chill and drink some water. I'm pretty thirsty. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, and this was a terrific small plot, I do say. It was very, it was kind of rectangular with the trees and the, the, the it, it was, mwah. Uh, thanks for watching till the end here, and I'll catch you on the next E. Bye-bye. I end up, uh, ended up following that trail out that I saw the jogger. It's literally just a trail that leads to the, to the trail that I ran through the woods off of so really I didn't need to run through the woods at all because just a, just a few uh, dozen feet hey bun hey the bun uh, just a few dozen feet down the trail was a, a path leading right next to where I ended up camping anyway I guess no amounts of research can can let you know that how does he get his pack to stay like that on the log it's incredible. I can't, I, can't, I can't believe it. This is something I've never seen this before. This is insane. Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, and we're doing it. We're going on another stealth camp. Sorry, I can't really sit here with the sun in my eyes. Walking through the city to a stealth camp. You know how we do it. This is only my second time leaving my, uh, my front door and just walking out and going camp, camping. Go walking out and going camping. I live uh, downtown in a mid-sized American city, Rochester, New York. And, well, you know, places are ample to stealth camp. Oh my gosh, somebody is coming. Somebody is coming up. I'm already getting yelled at. Okay, somebody else is coming. I gotta, I gotta get out of the way. Okay, well, here's the intro. Enjoy the intro. Uh, let's get to the walk where I go stealth camping. <laughs> it's kind of tradition, I guess, um, at the start of every stealth camp. Uh, I just smell somebody smoking weed. A little doob, a little, a little doobs, a little doobsy. The, uh, the thing today, uh, again, I gotta, I gotta stop saying us uh, so much. Every video is like, 40% us. You guys don't even know what I cut out. It's like it's like a, a thousand us per video. But walking through the city, walking through the inner city right now. Last time was downtown. Now we're walking through the inner city. I'll pass by some familiar places for those of you who have enjoyed the small plots catalog of videos. <sighs> Very excited for this one. It's nice to get out. This has been postponed for like two weeks just due to moving and getting sick and all sorts of stuff. And then finally, finally a glorious, beautiful, wonderful day to go stealth camping in the city, in the city. Here we go.
what we told you for. Okay, kind of gonna go down a little sketchy side road here. Um, that's nice. <sighs> so, in a minute here, I'll point out the spot where I was on my uh, quote unquote forgotten industry video. We're gonna walk right by it. Okay, so. Here's the spot here when, in that video, I saw some dudes loading a truck and I waved to one and he waved back. That was, that was right in here. Pretty, pretty, pretty messed up. Pretty littery. You know, when you find a nice little quiet spot in the middle of the city, it's equal parts really nice and a little disturbing. It's almost too quiet. Well, here, let's, let's, let's see where I was from this other side here, huh? Yep, here is that fence. I was right back there, mucking around. You can actually, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, I can see one of the boats, one of the boats that I found. There's clearly a hole here. I'm not gonna go in. There's that building I wanted to get into. nice. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's $1,200 a month. Okay, I'm coming upon this big building here. Now, this was part of that vacuum oil factory back in the day, but it was actually apartments up until I think around 2008. So that's why it doesn't look exactly 100 years or so abandoned. Who we got here? I'm always finding, I'm always finding woodchucks and stuff. No woodchucks here, sir. Oh, oh it doesn't seem sound like there's any woodchucks. Okay, I'm gonna go down here and check out where I saw the city plugging up that hole. It looks like somebody already pried it off. When was that? When did I post that video? Like two weeks ago? It was about two weeks ago, a little more, because I filmed it before I posted it. Yeah, yep, this is, uh, that's where the city was covering up. Somebody's clearly, I mean, inside there right now, right? Looks like they took the bricks out, uh, and then climbed in the hole and then put the bricks back up, right? There's the board that the city put on just two weeks ago. And there is the hole. You know, I, I don't think I would have climbed in there anyway. I don't think I would have done that. All right, let's carry on. So the goal today is right next to a giant transformer station. There's a small plot of woods there that I hope to hope to get into and and do a little stealth camping. Hopefully it's accessible. I have no idea. And if it's not, there's other options. We'll get there. We'll get we'll, we'll get some stealth camping in tonight. Don't you worry. Don't you don't you GD worry. You know those awkward situations when you're walking like one mile an hour faster than the person in front of you when they were just standing there letting their dogs pee and decided to instead of waiting two seconds to let you pass they just jump out in front of you that's been this whole walk i wasn't going to mention it the first time wasn't even going to mention it the second time but three times this has happened guys this it's, it's kind of like traffic right you don't pull out you don't pull out in front of a car it's like someone's right there they're clearly about to pass you in about two seconds. Why do you look at me and then walk directly in front of me? This is, I'm trying to make a video here. I'm trying to make a small plots video here. Anyway. Okay, well, getting, getting a little closer. Not too long now. Uh, people everywhere here today. Hopefully I won't have too much of an issue getting in there. I shouldn't, I'm not anticipating that I will. I was thinking about riding a bike today. It would have been a great day for it. I don't know why I didn't. Okay. 
it's almost time for me to jump into the woods here. The only snag is there's like, I can't tell from a distance, but it looks like there's a 500 pound person walking towards me right now. Or away, I can't tell. They're kind of stationary. Maybe they're walking slow. Behind me is good. Okay, now that they get closer, it looks like they are walking towards me. I'm gonna put the camera down. And then there should be like a little area for me to jump over here to the right and get next to that giant transformer station that's up here. Okay. I missed where I was supposed to jump in the woods because it was right as I was passing that person. So I'm gonna walk down this way a little bit. It's probably good to see where I'm going anyway, right? Maybe that wasn't even the spot. Maybe I need to go up farther. Um, Cause I don't see, oh, there's some, some power lines. Those aren't the ones I'm looking for. There's a nice, uh, nice water tower right there. There's a beautiful stretch of woods to my left here uh, that's a nature park. I don't know how suitable it would be to camp in. I think it's kind of full of trails and stuff. But um, yeah, up here, I think, I see a clearing ahead of me and I think that's where trucks and stuff go into the transformer station. This is actually a, a different spot in that I wasn't counting on, so I'm just gonna pop in here. Nobody's around. Let's go. Okay, already seeing some trash. That's par for the course. Okay, so right here is where our railroad used to run. Oh, I see water all the way up there. Okay, so there's the station. Maybe I do need to go, go back. I hear a big hum. At first I thought it was a plane. It's actually just the hum of, gotta be quiet. The hum of the uh, electric facility, the transformers facility. And about 20 feet that way is the trail that I was just walking on. So I gotta be kind of quiet. Not that anybody, I mean, what are they gonna do? Hey, I heard a voice. 911, I heard a voice. You know, it's very important when I do these kind of stealth camping when I do them, like this is not my second time. Um, but I try not to pass any uh, posted signs or anything like that. That's just, I just don't think it's cool to camp on somebody's land. That's their land, man. I wouldn't like it if somebody was just farting around on my land. Stealthy, stealthy moment number two. Getting up into the electrical area before I head into the woods. Here I am. Let's try to find some woods to camp in now, I guess. There's the facility. I see a ton of deer prints, not much else. But uh, as I've learned on previous stealth camping, uh, that, doesn't, that doesn't really mean anything. It's pretty brushy over here. I might, I might try to run through that field to see if it gets any better. And if not, then I'm gonna come here and brave the brush. Those are, those, are, those are my two options. Okay. This might already be a good spot right here. I don't know, maybe. Um, not too many options out here. The, de the forest is pretty dense and swampy. I found a little bit of a clearing. It's not the least swampy thing in the world but I think there's some trees here that I can set my hammock up on. I think I'm gonna put my pack down here, walk a little bit further that way, just in case there, there's a better option, but this might be home for tonight right here. I'm very, very close, very close to the transformer. Hopefully the camera's not picking up too much of that buzzing. It's just a constant buzz, and I got people playing sports over that way, screaming and stuff. Yeah, that's what you get in, a, in an urban stealth camp, right? It's still beautiful to be out here in the nature. Let me show you guys exactly how close I am here. Just here so here's, here's where, where I want to camp. Kind of here. And then 
Just like walking right over here to the edge of the woods. And right there. You know, there's a bit of a, of a berm right there. I, I'm always on the lookout to have a fire when, I, when I'm out here, even if it is a stealth camp. And I think I could get away with it. I think I think I could get away with having a fire pretty easily. But, okay, I'm gonna put my pack down here, walk just a little bit that way, and, uh, <sighs> a hunting fort. I'm not trying to have people walk up on me here. I don't know. I don't know. Has it not been used recently? Like, I mean, these things are kind of grown into the tree, right? Doesn't mean it's not being used recently, though. Lots of, lots of stuff in the brush here. I think it's all birds. I'm always on edge coming into a stealth camp, right? Not supposed to be here, and I'm about to spend a lot of time here. So I wanna, I wanna make sure I'm as safe as possible. I think I'm cool. I don't even know how you'd get up there. How do you even get up there? There's no ladder, unless there's one like stashed away in the brush somewhere, which is entirely possible, or on this side. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, all right, let's, uh, let's check it out. That's a boot print. It's fairly recent too, it's the spring. I mean, this stuff gets washed away, right? It's just me walking along this game trail. Yeah, there's another one. Well, I might have some visitors at some point. Yeah, oh yeah, big one right there. So, not the only person back here. Not a surprise, this is an urban location. There's a lot of people around and some of them are gonna find their way into the forest. It's like a crisscross of muck trails. Looks like where I found is where we're gonna do it. And hopefully nobody comes back here and scares the out of me and I scare the out of them. Oh. Oh God, so mucky. I'm pretty sketched by the boot print nearby this hunting fort. It's not the newest thing, but it's certainly not the oldest thing. Could easily be in use. It's not any kind of hunting season, that's the only thing. However, I don't know what these people are doing. The rope doesn't the rope doesn't have any rust on it wrapped around this piece of metal, so I don't know what that means. I think I'm just gonna risk it. I think it's okay to just risk it, right? There's barely t two or three prints I found. Definitely prints, definitely not mine. But nowhere else than over there. It's, it's like 20 feet that way. It's not like it's super far. Hmm. I mean, I'm gonna camp here. I don't know what I'm hemming and hawing about. Not really too many choices. It's gotta be. Oh, what time is it? It's uh, 6.30 right now. I have a little bit more time than I thought I did, I guess. I have uh, an hour, 45 minutes before the sun sets. So... Let's do it. Okay, let's set up. I walked a little bit around the area some more. Um, found another hunting fort, more footprints relatively recent within the last i'd say 48 hours it's hard to tell but they're not old oh there's another hunting fort literally right there and this is the one i was looking at there's one right over there let's go check that out this place is lousy with hunting forts yeah oh yeah it's been there for a minute it's all grown into the tree okay. oh oh no i'm getting my back on my i stepped out my my shoes are so muddy. All right, what do we got here? Well, we got our little possibles pouch. 
I've uh, cleaned it up a little bit since last time. Oh my God, a beer. This is incredible. I'll add this to the beverage center. Let's create the beverage center. Established. Okay, here is a green tarp. Uh, some tissue, some, oh my goodness gracious, another beer. Wow, this is incredible. Truly a gift. Into the beverage center with you, sir. Of course, I have my digital camo, the light. I'll be needing that, because I'm probably not gonna have a fire tonight. I didn't bring anything to make a fire, and it's pretty wet back here. Um, I don't even, I don't even know what I could, what, what I could use as a fire starter. Here's my sleeping pad, my hammock, shoved in the bottom there, my trusty sleeping bag. You'll notice I don't have a bug net today, and that's because I'm an idiot. All right, big old green tarp. Got, got mud all over it from like a year and a half ago, last time I used it. I always, I always struggle with this part. Yeah, not too bad. All right, let's tie her down, eh? Okay, looks like we're getting camp set up pretty nicely. Here we go. Got a nice little canopy over my canopy. Oh my God, so stealth. No one's gonna see that. Not a single person. Everyone's gonna see that. Okay, it's gonna be dark in less than an hour. Going to crack a beer soon. Uh, tonight for food, I have, you know it, you love it, some tuna creations. That's right, they're, they're pretty perfect for these stealth trips because I just don't know what I'm gonna be dealing with. Wow, yeah, that's, that's not too bad. That's really not too bad. I can see my hoodie and my nail jean. I mean, I can see everything, but if you just like glaze your eyes over, I really can't see my hammock and tarp that well. I can hear the ground around me. Just bubbles and stuff. It's very, I wouldn't call it boggy, it's just wet. Uh, there's a plane flying overhead pretty consistently. I wonder, I wonder if uh, it's the same plane in my last <laughs> stealth camping video. I'm not too, too far away from, from where I was before. Totally different, different woods. But uh, it's, you know, planes, they travel. So it's not unheard of for a plane to fly over one forest and then fly over another forest. I think that's pretty typical for planes. It's definitely a singular aircraft or a, what do you want to call it? It's a small aircraft. All aircrafts are singular. It's one of them. It's always gonna be one of them. There's never two aircrafts in one aircraft. I guess, I don't know. I don't know anything about aircrafts. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna eat. Let's, let's, take, let's take care of business, right? Uh, got a few tuna creations. Now normally, you know, I'm just like, whatever, I got, I got, I got the food. Uh, today, I have the normal buffalo style. It's pretty, you know, buffalo sauce is, you know, it's kind of a go-to for, for a lot of people. I don't usually eat that much buffalo sauce. There's just better sauces. But this one just tastes... God, my shoes are so muddy. This one just tastes good. A lot of the, the tuna flavors just don't taste like anything other than tuna, which is fine. Um, but, you know, if you're going to get a flavored something... God, so much mud! Uh, get the flavored one. I also have... Now, this isn't technically tuna creations. It's bumblebee. It actually comes with its own little spoon. Um, but wild-caught tuna seasoned with jalapeno. We'll see how that does. And then honey barbecue. This one I'm actually pretty pumped to try out. The jalapeno one, um, if you about, I love jalapeno, don't get me wrong, but we'll, uh, we'll see how that plays out. Honey barbecue tuna sounds pretty darn good. As is the normal case, I'm going to put some on tortillas here and wash it down with today's beer. Now, I don't think I've actually had this beer on the channel before. I know it's been featured some with friends that I've been camping with, but today I have Space Kitty from Rohrbach Brewing. It's a local brewery here in Rochester. 
It's, uh, I don't normally drink double IPAs. This one I love, this is one of my favorite beers. It's, uh, it's a Citra double IPA. I can't be certain, but I'm pretty sure it's called Space Kitty because it smells like cat piss. Uh, just, just, just a heap and load of cat pee. I'm pretty used to it, but I remember the, the, the scent when I first started drinking it. It doesn't taste like cat pee. It's just when you first like bring it up to your mouth, you're like, oh my God, there's a cat in there. I'll crack that in a minute here. I'm gonna eat some of these tunas. And then I can already see it looks gorgeous over there, the way the sun is cast, the, the final light of sun is being cast on the trees. Okay, let's try the honey barbecue. Pretty pumped. I, for, I don't know what happened to my spork. I somehow lost it in the move. I'll find it. Just finished up moving a couple weeks ago now, but we're still still getting it going. We had to wait a couple weeks for our, we bought all new furniture and stuff that had to get delivered. And then uh, everyone got sick. Spread it evenly throughout the tortilla. Mm-hmm. This might be my new favorite one, just as a change of pace. It looks identically orange to the buffalo. I thought I made a mistake at first when I was pouring it on. I don't know if you can see that. Um, pretty good. Can't complain. There's some kind of soccer game going on, not too far, and I just hear people screaming, like people cheering and stuff every so often. It's kind of a weird, kind of a weird ambience out here in the woods. Next to two hunting forts, there's a third one over there. That's just what I saw. You got people screaming over here. I'm looking at a giant water tower right there and the transformer station right here that we'll go take a look at in a second here. Now, I know I have to up my, my camping food game. These are just so easy. When I'm bopping out the door, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, you know, I left my apartment. I literally just walked out my apartment door here to this camp. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to have a fire. I have a little pocket rocket stove. I considered bringing it and cooking something on it. But the other factor is I don't really want too much on the outside of my pack. So everything that I normally carry on the outside of my pack, i.e. my sleeping bag and things like that, like a kooksa glove. So I didn't even bring the kooksa or gloves. Um, but the sleeping bag, I don't want on the outside, and that takes up just about half the space in my pack. So I have to shove everything else in there, and I just don't have room for, for, for that stuff, for the food and the things to cook the food. So, and the beer. Okay, let's try the, uh, let's try this jalapeno one next. Bing, bang, boom. I'm gonna use the included spoon, because why not? Let's not be wasteful. Let's use the spoon one time and then throw it out. That's not, that's not wasteful, right? Oh, look at this thing. It's kind of, kind of adorable. <laughs> it comes folded up. Incredible technology. It smells, like, it smells just like tuna mixed with jalapeno. I guess big surprise, right? Ooh, it's, it says seasoned with jalapeno, but there are clearly jalapeno chunks in here. That's actually kind of awesome. Mm -hmm. Save that for nothing. Roll it up. Here we go. Hmm. It's okay. It's fine. It's pretty good. It's all right. It's tuna with jalapeno. Ooh, a little spice, a little kick. It's actually spicier than it is jalapeno-y. Oh my gosh, it's all falling out the bottom here. Ah. I don't hate it. It's just nothing really like mind boggling. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's enjoyable. It's an enjoyable experience. I'm getting juice all over my hammock. All right, back to the barbecue. I can see the sun poking through there. <sighs> all right, well, I'm gonna finish these up. I'm going to grab my beer, walk over there, and drink it while I watch well, I'm not going to watch the sunset. I'm going to look at the sunset. I can't really stand there for too long. I am supposed to be stealthy. And that would, that's a dead giveaway. Oh, getting a little chilly out. I had to put my hoodie on. I had to put my hat on. Now I'm toasty warm. Ah, it's a nice little sight, isn't it? 
fabulous little small plot. Can't complain. Is this a thumbnail? Is this gonna be a thumbnail? There's that plane. Okay, let's uh, I don't know what I thought was gonna happen. I was gonna climb this berm. I <laughs> didn't really realize it's just completely brush covered. Let's see if, let's see if there's any, oh gosh. Let's see if there's any, oh God, <laughs> way up. Oh, it stinks over here. Oh, it's just, uh, yeah, there's no, there's like water right there. I can't get over that. Okay, well let's, we're, we're getting over there. We're getting, we're getting over there. Pat, wouldn't it be hilarious if all of a sudden I was like, guys, it's a green screen the whole time. Ah! Just for reference, I don't know if you can see, there's the transformer station and there's my camp over there. So pretty close. Beautiful. Oh man, the sky is gorgeous. Definitely gonna have to check for ticks before I get into the hammock. Oh my God. Okay, here we are. Looks like the sun's already set. What time is it? Well, in about 10 minutes anyway, it will officially be set, but it's definitely down. It's over that way. That's yeah, a nice, it's a nice view to crack a brew. Let's do that one handed. Oh, crisis averted. Probably shouldn't do things like, oh, I'm trying to be stealthy. That's not too bad. Just foamed up. Cheers. Oh yeah. There's that essence of cat. Oh yeah. Look at this beautiful flowering tree directly next to me. This is so pretty. Very nice. Very nice indeed. It's definitely getting darker now. I'm not I'm not gonna do a fire. It's too the ground is sopping wet. My boots are so muddy. And I, I, I can't I don't know if I could find anything dry enough to start a fire with. I didn't bring anything to start a fire with anyway. I have a lighter in my pack, but that's about it. I'm not I'm not bushcrafty enough to be like, oh it'll be just an <laughs> Won't be doing that. So 
This is actually, I think, as far as I know, the first camp I've ever done without a fire. It's gonna be spooky. It's very peaceful out here right now. This is about the time right now when last time I was stealth camping, I was at ease and I was like, no one's coming back here now. And then the dude runs through the woods with the bright yellow shirt, bright yellowy green shirt. So, guard's not down yet. For all I know, somebody's sitting in this bush over here, uh, listening to every word I say. I heard a turkey when I, when I was filming some of the B-roll. I, I heard uh, uh, several gobbles of a turkey. I think it was just a turkey, but I mean, they're around. There's things you can almost like always expect to see, like turkey, deer, uh, groundhogs. Those are like squirrels, chipmunks. They're just kind of in the same category as these are basically everywhere except for maybe like subtropical and tropical climates. They have like different versions of the bird. They have like cool, prettier versions of turkeys and squirrels and stuff. And, uh, or like Arctic, which has, uh, I don't know if there's Arctic turkeys. You got Arctic turkeys in the Arctic? Anybody? Any, I'm asking, asking. Now comes the time of the night where I kind of just go into chill mode, still on alert, but in chill mode. I'll finish up my beer, kind of take it easy. That's what I love about these trips, is taking it easy. Life has so many stressors, so many things to stress you out. Sometimes it's nice to just literally be in nature. It doesn't have to be the backwoods. It doesn't have to be a, uh, you know, a, the tallest mountain or a great magnificent mountain range. Just a small plot of woods. I think that's the point I'm trying to get across here. Very excited about how I have my phone set up to watch this podcast. It's got a bite. It's got a bite. It's perfect. It's fabulous. Can't, can't imagine anything better. Anyway, it's definitely dark. Let's pause that. It's quiet. There's uh, not much going on. The birds have stopped chirping. You can see my red light on behind me. Got no fire going. It's pretty chilly. Let's see see what we're working with here. Uh, just just about 45 and one half degrees Fahrenheit. This looks like this is how my night's gonna go. Thankfully nothing too exciting. Didn't get almost busted this time. That's wonderful, that's a wonderful thing. Uh, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Very very peaceful out here. The only thing I can hear is traffic and the hum of the power station. That's really, really it. Occasionally I hear a, a, a car door shut or something like that. There's a bird. That's weird. It's like 10 o'clock. Um, that's, I heard a bird like a half hour ago. Like, like just tweedling, tweedly tweeting. Not really sure what's up with that. Uh, it's cold. Like for, it's, it's May right now. It's early May. Chilly is what it is. <sighs> but thankfully, a pretty uneventful night. Just relaxing and enjoying the woods, these secret woods, in my stealth mode hammock. Okay, we have some lights. Exciting. Thrilling. You can really taste the action. It's happening now, in front of your eyes. I know you can't believe it. I can hardly believe it myself. It's starburst time. No weird, no weird uh, Arizona iced tea branded gummies today. Those are good, but I mean, starbursts are pretty, pretty unbeatable. Chilly night. You guys aren't missing much. Kind of just hanging out. So, uh, I guess I'll probably go to bed soon. I'll say good night now. And unless anything like radical happens in the next hour or so, 
I'll uh, see you guys in like one second when it's morning. It's raining. Wonderful, beautiful rain. It's quite nice. It's quite nice to lie here in the rain. So I'm gonna keep doing that. Have a little bit of time before I gotta get out of here. Pretty peaceful night. Slept pretty decently. I woke up like right now because I thought I heard a voice. Like I, th I thought I heard somebody say something, but it didn't. Yeah, I'm just gonna lay here for a little while, listen to the rain, probably maybe snooze a little bit more and break down and get out of here. Oh boy. I didn't set this tarp up very well. Alright, whatever. <laughs> There's the water tower. Hooray! Time to break down camp. Gave me, uh, gave me a little break in the rain to break the camp. That's pretty nice. Excited about that. Uh, it, I, I feel like just that rain that happened in the early hours of the morning there really made this place just like this much greener. I feel like it's, I can see, see more green, see more leaves, see the green of leaves. It's, uh, it's pretty morning, frankly. It was so weird last night. I kept hearing birds all night, just tweedly tweet. Like it, not like daytime, but they would just be be there all of a sudden. It was very odd. Like they, you'd, they'd be calling at like 10, 11 o'clock at night. There was one in particular that was extra warbly and decided to hang out right next to where I was camping. It was like, oh, 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 oh. it wasn't a turkey. That was just my poor impression. Well, we're all packed up and ready to go. This has been a uh, very fine small plot indeed, if I do say so myself. Other than the, uh, you know, being literally surrounded by hunting forts, which could be uh, occupied at any moment by someone coming back here, it was very secretive. Uh, the the wish wish the lights were cooler at the at the substation over there. I was kind of hoping it would be. Same with the the water tower. It'd be cool if that was illuminated a little more dramatically for my purposes. But they weren't, and it was still a fun adventure. This has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, and this, this small plot has been wonderful. Thanks for watching here to the end, everybody. And I'll catch you on the next video. See you later. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. We're gonna get back into the sneaky business of stealth camping today, specifically with a bicycle. Now, tonight I'm gonna have everything, everything I need in this 25 liter day, or well, it's, it's actually closer to 30 liter with, with, the, uh, with the side pouches, but I'm gonna bike this trail to a little spot that I hope is suitable and, uh, and, sleep, and sleep there for the night, so. Onward to that.
really looking like the storm is going to come. I left a little bit earlier than I was going to to try and beat the rain, but I can see the clouds. I can feel them in my bones. This rain is coming soon, and I'm, I'm about halfway there. So, that old, that old strong young Kevin. Oh yeah, my, my bike is also making weird sounds. That's good. over next to this picnic table and toiletry area for the construction. I don't know what construction is going on here. There always seem to be excavators and things like that, but I'm going to move. There's people coming. Uh, I'm going to walk my bike from, from here because the storm is coming, baby. I'm gonna stand here for a minute and see who comes by. We're all good that way. We're all good that way too, I'm just gonna go. Oh, I can't roll my bike the whole way, it's too bumpy. That part was pretty painless. Oof. I need a drink. I need a drink of water. Should have taken a sip of water just now. I don't know what this is right here. It's kind of cool. Ooh, is that lightning? Probably. Let's keep going. Okay, I'm actually gonna put the camera down because I gotta lift my bike over these fields. No way. No way I'm gonna push it through that. So I'll check I'll check back in a minute here. All right, well, it's starting to rain pretty hard. I, uh, I don't have a suitable spot yet. I left my bike right there. I'm gonna come back for it. Um, I'm gonna try to duck into the woods here. Hopefully it will offer some protection as I open my bag and get a tarp, but it's about to drop. <sighs> so far, no great spots for a hammock. Gotta keep looking. Well, I could probably hide in here for a minute, but there's still no good spot for a hammock. It's almost perfect. Like if I could, huh, no, this is too thin. No, this isn't good. The wind's picking up, the rain's coming down. Adventure. Oh, I'm very thirsty. I'm not getting as wet here in the woods. It's kind of all prickery up there. I don't even know where to go at this point, to be honest. <sighs> huh. Whoa! Gopher hole. Gotta watch. Gotta watch out for that. Okay. 
All right, this might have to be it over here. Whoa, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill myself. These two trees, maybe those two. The expressway or the highway, the freeway, whatever you call it regionally is right over there. Ooh, actually these trees are great. These trees are pretty great, right? And now oh, there's little guys, little guys in the way. Oh, you can probably hear the sound of traffic. Right, it's right over there. Ooh, the skeets. The mosquitoes are out. Okay. Oh, there's some old steel framework it's lying on the ground. Obviously, there were some kind of something back here at one point. Oof, yeah, the mosquitoes are coming in. I gotta, I gotta do something. It's pretty sneaky back here. Oh man, well, you can see the bugs are swarming. Oof. Oh, there's no pole over there of some kind. No pole. Okay, well, it's still raining. I can hear it raining, but not in here where I am. Mosquitoes are insane. I had to put on my hoodie. It's so, I'm so warm. I put on my hoodie. I'm wearing my hat. I'm about to put my bug face net on because they be swarming. Hopefully we get a nice little breeze. I see the breeze up in the trees. Come on down here, breeze. There's no breeze. There's no breeze to be had. I'm in like a little gully kind of area. Got the, t got the tarp going. I'm actually probably gonna go, go run and get my bike now while it's still light out and then finish finish all, all the tents instead. The, t the tent, the tarp setting up. Eish. Okay. All right, now it's really coming down. So I'm, I'm really gonna finish, set, finish setting this up. I got my bike over there and I'll, I'll check back in in a minute here. Uh, okay, so I have the tarp up, as you can see. The next step, I guess, is to get my hammock and stuff up. Uh, it's still raining. I'm pretty drenched at this point. This poncho was supposed to be to cover my bike tonight. Um, whatever. <laughs> it looks like it covered me instead. So usually I set up my hammock first and then set up the tarp over that, but I just, I mean, I couldn't help to need to set up the tarp right away. So it's nice to have some kind of dryness, but we're not out of the woods yet. I mean, we're, you know what I mean. Okay, I'm finally at a place where I feel like I can, I can chill for a little bit. Ooh, that was a whirlwind. That was a whirlwind. I think, I think I'm safe here. I think I'm pretty stealthy. Kind of had to run in here and find the, the only place. This is the only, the only place I could really, realistically hang a hammock. Yeah, let me get a, you know, kind of going over here. There's clear, there clearly used to be a building here. There's some old steel over there, and oh yeah, let me show you my, my buddies here. A couple of doorknobs. Gross. See, I gotta watch my my step around here. Probably gonna have to contend with some nails. Right, let's go back out this way. The mosquitoes are still really bad, but I'm taking my head off for now because it was just so wet. This is probably all poison ivy. Nice. Not too bad, not too bad. And there's my wet bike, right over there. So I think it's time for a little space kitty. You know how we do here with the space kitty. And uh, one of my favorite camping beers. This is actually cold. Usually when you go camping, you're not, you know, like a, like a 20 minute bike ride from where you live. So, cheers. Eh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, the mosquitoes. They're in my ear. Ah. Space Kitty's making it better though. Space Kitty's making it better. I'm gonna have some red bumps on my head after tonight, I'll tell you what. It's a really nice, peaceful, small plot of forest here. These bugs, man. I imagine I'll spend most of tonight in the hammock, in the bug net. I didn't bring a chair. Um, there's kind of like a log right there, and I brought my sitting pad. I'll probably sit on that for a little while, eat some dinner. I actually have no concept of the time right now. Probably close-ish to eight. I, I, I left, you know, with enough time, just enough time to rush, set up, and hang a little bit before sunset. I do not want to linger too long. This place is kind of sketchy. I mean, it's a stealth camp. <laughs> what place isn't sketchy in a, as a stealth camp. 
All right, so yeah, I guess I'll just relax for a second next to these doorknobs with this space kitty and uh, and and eat a little bit. Oh no, is that a tiny hole in my tarp? Yeah, it is. I don't know if that's gonna get picked up on the camera. Tiny hole, pinhole. We'll be all right. Tiny hole, pinhole. We'll be all right. Tiny hole, pinhole. Saturday night. Oh yeah. It's not Saturday. Oh, finally sitting down. Got everything set up in there, ready to go for when I need it. The deer are stalking me. Everywhere I, every time I look, I don't even need to hear anything. I just see something stalking around. I don't know how many there are. I'm looking at one right now. There's no way the camera's going to pick up on that. Looks like there's two over there, actually. I see one standing. I think one just walked by. Here, let me try to get a better... Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's coming in at all. But there, I think there's two over there. Just grazing. Just, uh, I'm in, I'm in their house tonight. Sorry, dear. Oof. These mosquitoes. Fireworks. The expressway is right there. I'm going to keep calling it an expressway. I know some people are going to be like, what's an expressway? That's just regionally what we call the highway or, or the freeway here. I mean, you can call it those things too. People aren't going to look at you sideways. And then if you jump onto like a pay road, like an interstate, you call that an interstate. Around these parts anyway. So that's where I'm camping next to. Pretty nice. I wish I could see it better. You can, I, you can hear it. But it's just a wall of trees. I'm not even gonna bother like squinting too hard. The rain I think is just coming off the trees now. I think it's actually stopped raining, but it's forecast to kind of on and off all night. But I'm ready. I'm ready for it. it means nobody's coming back here, right? It's kind of, kind of actually like a, a, a weird hope that I have that it was gonna rain. It gives you just a little bit more secretive privacy. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna sit down and bust out what's for dinner. See, see that deer? He's been there for like 20 minutes. Just, just grazing. Just having himself a little time, having himself a little graze. Boy, dear! He doesn't care. The sun's coming through. Guess it hasn't set yet. Here, I should probably look at the time. Oh, it's 7.45. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, well, it's kind of nice actually. A little bit of sun coming through. Well, tonight, I kind of, uh, again, stealth camping, you never really know what you're coming into. And I like to keep it light. So, I made a couple of wraps at home. Made some turkey wraps, got jalapeno, cheese, and mayonnaise. Sorry, I'm looking over there because that deer is over there and I'm just, he's just hanging out. And the sun. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here and eat this. Oh. Pretty good, pretty good, can't complain. Mosquitoes everywhere. Oh my God, go away. Oh my goodness. All right, I gotta focus on eating and, and getting these guys out of my face. Yeah, we got a buck over here. I saw those horns. Where'd he go? I don't see him on the camera, but I see him in life. He's being so still. I miss him right there. Oi! So many deer. I was trying to eat my wrap. So many deer. Sorry, buddy. He's so mad. Yeah. It's actually kind of turning into a pretty nice night. <clears throat> Got some blue sky coming in. I don't know if the camera's picking up the blue or if that's all just a blowout of white. Looks like we're getting a little blue. 
Um, I'm not sure if the sun's actually down, but it's pretty down over here. I feel very secretive, but still a little on edge. That's the way I came from behind my bike over there. The big field and then the trail. So somebody would have to go through that really annoying tall grass to get back here in the rain. It's still, it's still kind of like coming off the trees and everything is soaked. I'm not too worried. No joggers tonight. You know, sometimes before a stealth camp, before you leave, you, you, you have like these moments of clarity where you're like, what am I doing? What, what am I doing? I'm going, <laughs> what is happening? Why am I doing this? Um, but you get out here and it's kind of chill. It's a nice little chill time. And you're always glad you do it. And I'm glad that I can bring y'all along with me. Oh man, you can probably see it. I don't have the screen on the camera, uh, but I probably have a bunch of bites on my bald, bald head. I, I don't know, we'll see. <sighs> so yeah, not too much going on here. Just chill, chill, chill. Chill, live long day. Oh my God, look at this slug. Oh man. I don't want to get too close because I'm pretty sure I'm surrounded by poison ivy. I don't want to touch anything. But look at this slug. I got to make sure I keep my stuff off the ground tonight as much as possible. Slugs are coming. This truly is the definition of just a, just a great little small plot of woods. It's got its own little mini ecosystem. Where I came in, uh, this forest is bordered on, or forest quote unquote, it's more of a field with some trees around it. Uh, it's bordered on one side by the Erie Canal and a bike trail, and then on the other by an expressway. And then the expressway kind of like comes around, so it's kind of like, an, like a half oval kind of area. So it's just, I don't know, I've seen deer, I'm looking at a woodpecker, Half expect to see like a like a porcupine coming out of the brush or something. That would be appropriate. There's a, a, a I'm not gonna go because it's it's kind of a pain in the butt to get to. But there's a cool little hole over there that might be like a fox hole or something. Hope it's not a coyote hole. Although I do probably expect to see coyote or see hear coyote tonight with that big field over there. It just makes sense. <sighs> super nice out here. Super peaceful. Really try not to step too much in the, in the poison ivy. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna have to take my boots off at some point. Wonderful. I kinda do wish that I brought my chair just a little bit. I'm planning on just standing here until I crawl into the hammock. And then I'll probably, I'll probably hang out in the hammock for a while. I'm just hanging, listening to a podcast, sipping on my space kitty and just having myself a little time here. Just a little re relaxation, a little R&R. &R. <clears throat> Normally I, you know, walk around the, the small plot, as it were, and kind of show, but and everything's so wet and it's it's just it's so cr I'm so crowded in here and there's just a field and dense woods and then just this kind of where we are like where I am right here is basically it and then a bog as you can see behind me here just a bog <sighs> mosquitoes not much to show this is basically the the one spot you saw me come in I mean I didn't it exacerbate every single patch of this forest but it was pouring so I had to move fast but this is it these two trees are it and it's a little banana-y I'm not gonna lie the hammock's a little banana-y I don't know how good the sleep's gonna be tonight but I plan on waking up kind of early getting home but for now this is really nice it's like a little mini vacation sometimes to so just ride a bike and go camping real quick just real quick real fast Mwah. one not so great thing about having the experience expressway right there is I don't really hear much else like if something were to 
start creeping up on me, I wouldn't necessarily hear it all that well because of the aforementioned, just the din of the vehicles. But I'm not expecting trouble. It's kind of, it's really just a chill little spot. It'll be dark soon. I'll turn my light back on, get my headlamp on. But this is it. This is it. Stealth camping next to an expressway in a bog in the rain. Uh, dot com. It's time for bed. Basically, I'm gonna lay here for some time and sleep will eventually wash over me. Didn't wanna didn't wanna forget to, to do the the the, 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 the night time, the send off. Oh my god, sorry I'm, I'm fixing my bug net. I don't want any skeets getting in here. So far I've been lucky. No mosquitoes getting in here. Uh, lying down I'm not gonna show it because it's gonna be impossible, but I can see a road light that way and a road light that way. So hopefully that, that doesn't keep me up, but I think it'll be fine. Um, it's pretty toasty. I'm just, I just have my uh, sleeping pad and this quilt if I need it, but I'm lying on top of it now. So I'm just gonna lie here, listen to the traffic and see, see how that does me, see how it does me. And I'll see you guys in a second, unless anything like crazy happens. <clears throat> well, it's been raining for hours. I'm checking the weather, trying to see if I should try and wait for it to stop raining, it, it doesn't look like it. It's, a, it, it's, it's, it's gonna rain for the rest of the morning, for hours, maybe even the whole day. Probably the whole day. Super peaceful. Kinda gotta pee, I haven't gone pee all night, and it's just the rain has just been making me not wanna go, so it's eventually gonna be enough to get me to stand up, but for now I'm chilling for just a minute. It's a little after six o'clock. I'm gonna chill here for another minute. Oh, maybe I'll catch another Z or two, but kind of need to get out of here. Get out of here. I gotta break everything down in the rain and walk through that field, which is like five feet of grass and crap. And I'm just gonna get soaked doing that if I'm not already soaked you know, anyway, and then ride my bike home in the rain, so that's gonna be fun. At least it's, uh, at least it's paved trails all the way. All right, well, I got the hammock down. Now the, the last step is to quickly take this tarp down, shove it in that bag, and then ride that wet bike out of here. Honestly, that's not that big of a deal. The problem that I'm really not looking forward to is getting out of here in that thick field, with the lumpy ground. That's gonna be a big pain in the butt. But it's been, it's been, it's been a pretty pretty stellar small plot, if I do say so myself. Oh, look at the nipple. Look at the nipple. <clears throat> pretty, pretty, pretty good small plot. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. And uh, don't forget, new episode of Small Plots every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. EST. Uh, catch you on the next scene. Bye. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. We're doing a little stealther today. Going back into those stealthy, stealthy woods. Well, you know, not the same woods. The, the stealth, the proverbial the stealth, the proverbial stealthiness. This is a terrible intro already. <laughs> I'm headed along the bike trail. Oh, it looks like they tried to block my entrance up with some garbage cans.
appears as though they've recently paved this place too. I'm taking my bike along with my 25 liter day ruck to a nice little patch of woods right next to an REI. Now I've actually rode my bike past this patch of woods on the last episode, the last stealth episode of Small Plots and the REI in question is actually briefly in that video when I'm when I'm passing it. So huh, should be a good one kind of like the last time I'm running from rain I'm trying to beat the rain although we'll see I hope it doesn't rain I'm so sick of, so sick of packing up in the rain you guys it's kind of nice when you're there and it hits the tarp and you're getting a nice little sleep but man does it suck in the morning when you're trying to pack up and get out and boy does it suck setting up too Whew, just like again like the last one so I have no idea what this woods is like I've never been there I've only seen it on the Google Maps which is the you know best way to find forests that you know might be suitable for stealth camping for a little bit of stealth camping so I don't know how much of this bike ride I'm gonna film because again it is it's an identical route to the last stealth camping video it's actually a little bit closer it's maybe like oh geez like a five minute five minute less bike ride than the one before but maybe I'll see something interesting yeah so let's get to it let's get to the stealth in Man, the sun is coming out. We may beat this rain after all, which is nice, which is good. Now, hopefully the, the forest is suitable. That's always a concern, right? You get there and it's all swamp or it's too overgrown or even worse, you can't find two trees to set up a hammock on. We'll get it, we'll get it. I'm stealth camping tonight. We're, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're getting it. Regardless of anything, I'll sleep in a bush if I have to. Yay! This part of the bike path is so bumpy and lumpy, it, it, it smooths out a little bit further up. But man, you got you, you got to choose between a bunch of little bumps on the sides or a big bump occasionally in the middle. It's, uh, it's not a decision I love making, but we make it nonetheless. Passing over the Genesee River now, the raging Genesee. I wonder how many cyclists I'll see out today. It's been a rainy, it's been a rainy weekend. Lots of rain. I think some people are scared. This is actually the third time this week I'm well, I, I was planning on going stealth camping the first time earlier this week, poured all day and night. Not going to do that. Then I was going to go last night, poured all day and night. Not going to do that. So today it was like bopping between 20 and 30 percent chance of rain. Those are odds I can deal with. I can deal with those odds. A little sprank sprank here, a little sprank sprank there. We'll see. We'll, ha we'll, we'll handle it. It is a glorious, marvelous day, especially after being cooped up inside the past couple days with the tumultuous downpours. Uh, hopefully the wind sound isn't too bad. I have the good mic off because it might rain and it's not waterproof, but I basically live near this great series of trails. Most of them paved, not all of them, but between the Genesee River and the Erie Canal, as well as a couple of other like uh, rail to trail situations. Like actually that was my first stealth camp. That was a rail to trail. Uh, they, they're all interconnecting and they lead to essentially just, they're kind of like a, like, a, like a back route through the city and immediate suburbs. So for me, it likes to go on a little stealth every now and then. It's perfect to have these trails that just kind of lead behind 
all of the all of the city and suburbs kind of through it. Honk! One side, one side, coming through, let's go. Hey, everybody, coming through. We got geese, we got geese. Who you, who you, who you, who you think you are? Th thanks for moving. Uh, entitled geese, get out of here. That's something I did not anticipate. There's like some kind of bike gathering right over at the Ari right over at that REI over there. Um, they saw me, they waved to me, and then saw me come right over here. So they're about to see me go in the woods. <sighs> Pretty blatantly just walking in. I don't know what else to do. The bike trail is right there. So this place really know what's going on here. It was the former campus of uh, tuberculosis sanatorium. And uh, now it's not an REI and a Costco. But it was, uh, maybe I'll get some pics up. It was a gorgeous old building, abandoned for a long time. But <sighs> this will do. If nobody's watching me right now, this will do. <sighs> Whew, I'm toasty. The humidity is real. I think I just saw a fox or something bounding. I don't know. <sighs> totally, totally out of my element here. Right on the edge of the city. Okay. All right, let's get in there and see what's up. Hey. So first observation is it's damp. What a surprise. Second observation is it's overgrown. Also not that, it's that big of a surprise. Oh, crap. Yeah, this is like that field from the last dust camp. I can't film and get my bike through here. It's too too tall. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put my bike here, walk around. There might be an easier way in. What I saw bounding might have been a cat. I think I just saw it again. Definitely gonna have to check for ticks after this one. This is clearly some kind of game trail or trail that other people used to come in and out of here. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, well if someone no one else is back here, we'll we'll find something alright. This is an old sewer or something. Oh god! These things! Oh boy. Okay. Hey, whoa, didn't even how did I not even see all these? Oh, pretty. How did I not even see all these? How is this gonna work? To see where I have to go. I'm just trying to find a way to get down that I can easily bring my bike to. Hmm. Just gotta watch my step, you know. Just like the last place, there was a build, you know, buildings here. There's holes and rebar, all manner of things. 
Okay. This is pretty nice. A little hilly. But I think this will do. I'd really like to have a fire tonight. It'd be it would be great to have a fire. Just for the ambiance. So far not too many signs of people other than the like obvious kind of trail going through there, but that could be deer, I don't know. Usually if people are like squatting or living in a place, there's evidence, there's there's garbage, there's like a, you know, anything, there's nothing. Okay. Like honestly, right here wouldn't even be that bad. I can see a smokestack over there from the from the hospital. Yeah, that's there's a, the another hospital campus over there that is still a hospital. Probably was part of the tuberculosis place back in the day. There's a rebar. It looks like a plant. Look at that. Oh my god, you fall down on that, you're dead. Okay, so I see a cone over there. So people come back here to throw cones, I guess. What is that? There's a sign. And a hole. But this sign, let's see what it says. Okay, well I'm not destroying anything. As long as it's like, not telling me not to camp here. Yeah, I don't see myself getting in there. It looks like there's kind of an opening a clearing, <laughs> if you will, over there, but honestly, this little spot kind of right on the edge might do me. Nobody's coming back here, and if they are, they're not going to really care. So if I can find two trees, then uh, Bob's your uncle. If I can find two trees, that's a, that's a big if, because right now, I'm not having a ton of luck seeing anything. Uh, actually, these might do. This would be pretty perfect, actually. I wonder if I put my hammock between these two, or, may, or even better, these two, and there's like a little pit right there. I could have a fire in. But I do want to see. It's right on whatever path this, this is or isn't. All right, I'm going to set my bag here and go grab my bike. I don't like this just sitting out there. So then I'll explore. I'll, I'll, I'll do all that stuff. OK, going to do that. Okay, so far this is a great spot. I uh, haven't set anything up, but I got my bike. Uh, now I'm just kind of looking around, looking around at bones. Yeah. We got some bones. That's okay. Seen bones before I am bones. I already know I can see cyclists kind of through the trees a little bit, so I still think I want a fire. Just a really small one. This is a really nice little small plot of woods. Cool mushrooms. I can't be sure. I think somebody saw me come in when I grabbed my bike. I heard like the shutting of a door towards there's like a warehouse over there. I didn't see anybody, but I might have missed somebody, you know, going in and shutting the door. I don't know. Didn't didn't see anybody for sure. And I guess if they were concerned, they probably would have kept watching me. Mm. Oh boy. Okay. It's actually. Really spacious in here. Yeah, you can see the uh, the traffic right over there on the expressway. What is that? What are we looking at? It's this white thing. It's like, oh, is this all fungus or something? It's all here. It's all no, that's man-made. It's like mesh. Oh god, the mosquitoes are rising out of the ground. I don't know if the camera caught that. That was crazy looking. Yeah, no signs of people out here. Here's some, an old concrete slab. Some more piles of construction. This woods has been a woods as far back as the Google, Google Earth like history goes. Like I think I was able to get to 1985 and this woods was still here. So it's not like a recent growth from some kind of like recent demolished buildings. But there was definitely something here. 
as you can plainly see. It's also kind of close, like I said, to my last stealth camp. It was a few weeks ago now. Um, it was probably about five, five more minute bike ride down the path, um, which also has a similar kind of, hey, there used to be a building here, there's rebar, there's concrete, there's holes, all sorts of things. So who knows, maybe back in the day day, there was just like a big compound here and this is part of that. I don't know, I'm not really sure. The Costco, hold it up, there's a Costco over there. And now we're coming up on a pond, kind of deal over there. No recent prints in the mud. Maybe. It's not no prints in the mud. Nothing super recent. Oh, that's a cool snow. This is like the quote unquote entrance or exit ramp from the trail. The trail like where it leads like straight down the Erie Canal there. Um, has like little entrances and exits. Okay, so I didn't walk around every little square inch of this place, but I'm satisfied, I think. I think it's okay to start setting up. I actually brought my chair this time. I know I don't usually do that stealth camping because I don't want to be obvious. Oh, it's a rope. Neat. Oh, there's some deer. Big guys. There's that rebar that looks kind of like a weird plant. All right, I'm satisfied. Let's set up camp. Okay, so I think I'm gonna tie my hammock from this guy here to this guy way over here. I was gonna do it a little bit more this way, but there's branches on the trees, it'd be a pain. I'd have to snap them off. I don't really wanna do that. So here, there, there's a little divot here that would be nice to have a fire, but I think I'm gonna actually go down in this little mini ravine area to have the fire. It's right there. It's more protected visually and in other ways, visually and in, in other ways. So here's the, here's my chair that I actually brought on this trip. Pretty excited to have a built-in spot to sit because there's nothing really around here. Be sitting on bones. Huh, oh, let's have a seat. Not fall backwards. Some somebody's breaking twig over there. Oi! There's a crazy person. It might just be. It might just be walking down the path. Yeah, if there's a cyclist and there's that person. They're so close. They're so close. I might have to find a different spot. Oh. Hmm. Let me just, I'm gonna go. Mm. So I am very close to the trail. A little bit closer than I thought I was. I'm not moving. Just acknowledging how close I am might deter me from having a fire. I don't know, not because I'm like super worried about someone getting angry. It's more like if, so if you're on the canal path at night when it's dark, I, I, I like, what are you doing? I don't, I don't want to see, I don't want to have whoever that is look into the woods and see a fire and uh, get the, get the jump on me. I'm not super worried. It's more of a, more of like a, a fear fantasy, I guess. <laughs> not really a fantasy. I'm not moving. But I could, I'm glad I'm wearing dark colors. But uh, I brought my light gray Kamek Cooley UL weather shelter, uh, which will most definitely be able to be seen from that trail over there. Luckily, when people are riding bikes and walking, they're looking forward and not really looking off into the woods generally and they pass in a few seconds. <laughs> I'll just have to be quiet. And I'm double thinking that fire. Double, re, re, rethinking, I'm not double thinking, double, I, rethinking that fire. I'm staying. 
All right, hammock time. Hmm, just slide out of there. It's also a weeknight. You know, it's not like people are gonna be staying up super late. Not that that matters, really. But, but it is a weeknight. I don't know why in my head I have it, like, like people are less apt to find me on a weeknight than weekend. I don't know, it just kind of seems that way, right? Not really sure how much logic is, is behind that. Oh, you're always on edge during these stealth camps. You're not supposed to be here. Another cyclist. They're gonna be going by all night. Already, I'm blasting through my water. I have a little bit more. But that's about it. Better start drinking the good stuff here pretty soon. People are right there. I can literally hear the sound of the bike tires on the pavement. And I look over. And there's a bike and then somebody's walking in a pink shirt. It's gonna be all night with that. Might be best not to have a fire. But then I might get, I gotta have lights. I don't know, I don't know. Probably not gonna have a fire. I really wanted a fire. It's like, a, I was like looking at it. I was like, oh, it might be pretty good. If I could get deeper in that way, it'd be more possible, but it's too thick. And there's just not as many, it's like thinner young trees that are more closer together. More, more closer, closer together. Don't need the more, just regular closer. This is the, the, the trepidation of always coming to a new stealth spot which has been every stealth spot that I've ever been to so far. <laughs> okay, I, I moved. I'm staying. I, uh, I just kept seeing people. They were so close. I'm saying like 25 feet away. And if I'm not gonna have a fire, it means I need a light to film with at night. And like I said, the aforementioned, I don't know who's out there at night, so I'm trying to to steer clear of any interactions. I still got to get my bike. It's right over there, but um, I'm in the ravine kind of now. I don't, it's not really a ravine. I don't know what to call it. It's more of just a divot in the earth. Not really swampy. There's some crazy rebar that I'll film in a minute. I don't know. It's not rebar. It's uh, what's the? It's just a big, long, threaded metal rope, for lack of a better term. You always see them like supporting power lines and things like that, or, or big poles, you know, they're out there, you know, you, you, you know what I'm talking about. So uh, I'm gonna have my hammock stretch right across this little ravine here, and I will feel better about having a fire. I really want a fire. Still not 100% on it, but it would be really nice. Right here is the very edge of the forest when I came, came in, but the fact that it's so fieldy and there's a giant mound of dirt from construction right there, I feel pretty shielded and safe. Anybody coming back here is just gonna be causing mischief and they're gonna see a guy camping and probably run away. Or, or put my organs on ice. It's not likely, but you always wonder if your hammock straps break. Hopefully they don't tonight because there's just a bunch of rocks all right, right below where I'm setting it up. Hmm. Not too bad. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. It kind of just passed over, but there's no shortage of helicopters around here. That's the second one. I've been here an hour, maybe a little bit more. I spoke too soon about the litter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Picked up six natty ices. That, I'll see if that will, there we go. There they are, six natty ices. I mean, I see one of them on the camera. I don't know, you, you, you get it, they're, they're there. Uh, and a and a discarded thing of oil. I don't think there's any oil in it. So somebody has been back here drinking natty ices. I wonder if they're camping. 
maybe. But got the bug net up, gonna put the tarp up and then make the final call on the fire because then it would be time to, to do that. And then you know what time it is after that. For dinner tonight, I have a little bit of a charcuterie board. I have the finest meats, the finest cheeses, the most artisanal delights you could possibly imagine. That'll be good. Excited. Getting really hungry. Even more thirsty. Got everything set up. People are gonna freak out that I'm using this super, it's basically white, super light gray tarp on a stealth camp, but I'm doing it. Get, get used to looking at it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So, oh yeah, here, check out this crazy bit of rope. Metal rope. I don't know what to call it, I'm sure. Hopefully someone can tell me what that is, what, what that's called, before I keep calling it rebar. Oh yeah, here's, here's all the trash I've picked up from this area. If I have enough space, I'll, I'll pack it out, but there's so much, you know, you can't take it all. Maybe just the beer cans. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna have a fire. I, uh, everything's really wet, so I'm gonna try to have a fire. Uh, I don't want to have too big of a fire, so I'm not going to process too much wood. Maybe spend the next 15 minutes doing it. And then, and then finally relaxing with a little bit of you know what. <laughs> it's not fully going yet, but it's going okay. It's really wet. Everything's really wet. I initially tr just tried it with, with birch bark. Didn't even burn all of the birch bark. <laughs> so it just kind of fizzled out. So I went, I used the corporal's corner duct tape trick. Go check out the corporal's corner duct tape trick. That's kind of hard to say. Corporal's corner duct tape trick. But I'm, I gotta, I gotta uh, focus on, on keeping this alive for right now, but oh, it's getting a little dark. Clouds are moving in. I hope it doesn't actually rain. And I hope that this smoke doesn't fill the bike path that way. Oh, nice little breeze. Okay, I'm gonna struggle with this for a little bit longer. Okay, I got the fire decently okay. It's not perfect. I'm gonna have to tend tend to it like a child all night, but wanted to, you know, get it going. Break into the beverage center, if you know what I mean. Now, the first beverage is a little bit different than normal. You know, normally you might have a beer or a space kitty or something, but today I wanted to do a little something special. A little, little shout out. This is to Sam Bananas. If you haven't checked out Sam Bananas' channel, he's, he's one of my favorites. Some stealth, some not, camping, stuff like that. But I was a fan of his channel before I ever started Small Plots. So here's to you, buddy. It's just a little drink in the woods. It's just a little a little friendly drink in the woods. All right, the, act the actual uh, first drink is a little bit different. We have uh, Beak and Skiff Apple Orchards. This is kind of dirty. Uh, 1911. Now this is a New England style IPC, India Pale Cider, hopped. Small batch premium hard cider. I read that out of order, but you get the idea. This is from New York. Where is it? Oh, Lafayette. Let's see. Delicious. It's not my first IPC. There's one uh, from a local place that I've had that's really nice. And this is, uh, this is also really delicious. Glad I brought it out. So far, I'm really digging this, this little site here, this little small plot, if you will. Speaking of shout outs, I want to give shout outs to a couple more people. You know, when I started out this channel, started this channel, I, uh, I told myself, I'm like, I'm never gonna do shout outs. I'm gonna do never gonna do stuff like that. Just because it seems like, I didn't want to like not give someone a shout out that I should have or forget or whatever. But I just want to give a couple, another great up and coming channel that I really love uh, is, uh, he's an Aussie named Where's Jordy, Where's Jordo Wally? I, lo I love that name because it's it's like it was like hard to say with an American accent. It's like you're like where's Jordan Wally? 
you got to say it like an Aussie, like an Aussie bloke. And that was terrible, but that's what I feel like. Where's Jodo Wally? It, you have to say it with the Australian accent. Anyway, he's he's hysterical. His 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 camping videos are hilarious. Uh, last but not least, check out Outlaw Camper. He's been a huge supporter of my channel ever since the beginning. Great dude. If you like uh, just chit chat in the backyard, uh, camping around, having fires, having a beer, smoking a cigarette, he's your guy. Thanks to to, to all you guys for for plugging me, for watching, for commenting. Not just the people I shouted out, but everybody. It's, it's been so great. Um, I've, re I, I, I've breached 800 not too long ago, 800 subscribers. I got something cool planned for a thousand. Hopefully people like it. Maybe you'll hate it, I don't know. You never know, but, but it's been really great so far. I wanna do more stealth stuff. I know that's what helps the channel grow. Tend to the fire. So I think, I think next, bust out a little charcuterie, huh? Okay. Pretty classy out here in the woods. It's uh, got a couple things on there. I am famished. I have not really eaten today. I'm like already a third done with this because I'm thirsty. So I guess I'll figure out some way to <laughs> film and eat a board of food. I don't have any tables here. There's a daddy long leg. That's not a table, though. Gotta go over what everything is before it falls on the ground or falls into my body. So let's start with the obvious. Got a little beef jerky right there. Bought that at the end just to add a little much. A little, little much, it, everything's a little much. Just to add a little more. This is all a little much. Everything, this whole video is a little much. Uh, of course, I got a nice little sandwich. A little half a sandwich there with turkey and provolone and mayonnaise and tomatoes. Uh, over here, we have some aged Gouda. Mwah, I love that stuff, it's so good. Now around the aged Gouda, we have some antelope meat. Yeah, these little antelope Slim Jim things. Yeah, it's uh, some antelope, we'll be eating that. And at the tip of the antelope, uh, those are just some vitamin D gummies because you know, you gotta keep up on your vitamin D. Uh, over here in the corner, just a little smattering of popcorn, you know? And last but not least, some, some, some pickled asparagus. Love that pickled asparagus. Charcuterie board in the wood, eh? Not the fanciest version of it, but it's a version of it. And that's what matters. Love these asparagus. They're, they're a little spicy. These are like jalapeno aspar pickled asparagus. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> All right, check out that antelope. Pretty good. It's pretty G-dang good. The second one's good too. Pretty good. This is the best way I can figure out how to do it. It's just standing here with the board up. Fire's doing okay for now. That's a Jack Link's jerky, it's okay. Not my favorite Jack Link's, I prefer OT, but pretty good. This was just a free sample of popcorn at the local public market this weekend. It's pretty good. Don't remember who, who the company is, <laughs> but pretty good. Down with the gummies. Get that vitamin D. Yeah, pretty good. Completely contrasts the rest of what I'm eating here. Really, really don't know why I brought those. <coughs> really want to eat this, this uh, aged Gouda. It's so good. Oh my God. Now, if you like strong, stinky, strong cheese, 
this H Gouda is for you. It's so freaking amazing. I got more where this came from too. I'm gonna be snacking on this all night. W wake up constipated. Oh my gosh, so good. I'm dying, I'm dying. Ah, ah, ah. All right, I guess we'll eat the sandwich, right? It's kind of like the quote unquote main course. Got this at my local bodega. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna finish eating this. Keep sucking down this cider and sit down. I've not really sat down since I sat down in the chair earlier for like two minutes. So, gonna do that. I'm up on the uh, little spot above. You can probably see my camp down there. See if we can see anything. I don't want to pop out too much, blow my cover. I mean, I can see cars easily. I can see buildings easily. It's probably all just blown out white on the camera. Yeah, here, it's maybe easier to explain like just this ditch all the way down here. And of course, the camp in the middle of it. Ooh, nice dry branch, I'll have to come back to this. Whatever this is on the ground, somebody might know. It's It seems forageable because <laughs> where I'm camping and I've, I've trampled some of it, it's like, it smells good. It smells like an herb, so, like it's almost minty, but not quite. Dinner went down pretty good. Now I'm just chilling. Now I'm just chilling. Super relaxing back here. All right, well, I'm gonna shut up and listen to the nature and birds. There's another beer can over there. People definitely are coming out here. Hopefully not tonight. I found something great. Look at this. Wild berries, some wild raspberries. They're super not ripe yet. Mmm, sweet and delicious. Love finding wild berries, especially if they're in a place where I can be sort of certain they weren't peed on. Never be too sure. Pretty soon the temps will drop a little bit. I hope they'll drop a little bit. Not supposed to be terribly windy tonight, maybe like five to seven miles an hour, something like that. And I'm in this little, this little dip, this little ravine area, so I don't expect I'll feel anything, which is kind of a bummer because I like a little breeze when I sleep. But hopefully the sound of the freeway, the expressway, the whatever you want to call it over there, the car-centric road that pedestrians and businesses are not on, hopefully that lulls me to sleep like it did the last place when I camped next to an expressway. <sighs> so yeah, probably gonna hang out. I mean, not probably, I mean, what else is there to do? I'm hanging out right now. Pretty, pretty much filling the area with smoke. Look at that, that's all for me. I don't think anyone's gonna gonna care. When's the last time you cared when you just saw it a little smoky? <laughs> wow. It's also kind of blocked by this big hill right here. So it's not coming from exactly one spot. Look how nice that looks down there. Look like I live here. Well, it's getting a little dark. Probably, it's probably about 8.38. You know, just if I were to guess. And I can tell it's gonna be a good lightning bug night. Let me see if I can get some of these guys.
mid-July is kind of the main, like where the lightning bugs are the thickest. And there have been times where I've woken up camping in the middle of the night with millions of, of fireflies. That was actually at a, last time I did a solo regular camp where I had the, the one tigress uh, bungalow 2.0. At that exact spot, actually, that happened when I woke up in the middle of the night and just mil millions, million, you could see by lightning bug. It was, you could see in the dark. You didn't need a flashlight. It was pretty, pretty cool. That'd be great tonight. I'm not expecting that because, you know, I am in an urban location and not the middle of the woods, but yeah, I, I can still see some, like if a cyclist goes by and they have a light, I can sometimes just barely see it, but I'm not too worried. <laughs> still haven't moved my bike. My bike's over where I camped, where I, where I originally set up to camp. It's like 25 feet that way. It's not very far. So yeah, just gonna keep doing this for a while. Almost done with my second cider. Space Kitty is imminent. Actually, why don't I just get one now? Man, there's a lot of freaked out animals in these woods. Okay. Here she is, the beloved space kitty. It's hard to imagine camping without it, even though I often do camp without it. <laughs> and, and sometimes I, you know, I'll drink it when I'm not camping as well. It's just a good freaking beer, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A little foamier than the last one. Hmm. Meow. Yeah, still not dark enough for me to want to go venture and see if I can see any lights yet. I don't want to blow my cover because of, you know, there is the REI right now. I think they're, what time did I just say? It was 8.38. Um, I, they, I think they close at nine. A lot of lightning bugs. I think they close at nine. I could be wrong. I didn't check that at all. They could, they could have closed at seven. I have no clue. Um, but there's a Costco over there and there's like a warehouse here and... I heard a couple uh, car doors open and close, which is really weird because there's no reason for that. There's no parking lots. The road is uh, an expressway. And even if they were parked on the expressway, I shouldn't have heard as close as that was. He heard it as close as that was. Well, I heard it once, and I was like, meh. I sat here in silence for another 30 seconds, and I heard another one. I am with <laughs> this fire, uh, uh, just, a, just a beacon in the night, just a beacon. Half expecting to just see like a flashlight, like, like right on here. <clears throat> can see a street light over there. Here's my fire. And there's right over there. That's the REI and Plaza. Let's, let's go up on the other side. Check that out. It is very illuminated over there. Check myself for ticks again. I'm going through. You can't see it. Crackling from here. All right, I don't want to go too much farther. That's not actually even the REI. That's just uh, a road and other stuff. Okay, I gotta go back. That can't be my fire making that noise. And if it is, then I still gotta go back. I guess it was my fire. Whew. 
I got chills. It seriously sounded like big sticks breaking in the woods. It was just fire popping. Oh, boulders. It's just you making a little sound. There you go. I almost just spilt this my, my beer right now. I I pulled this this uh, this log over. It was just it's sticking out it's sticking out of the ground there, and it was behind me. And I just kind of moved it over. I was like, hey, how about we roast this bone? And as I did, this little number that was attached to it just flopped down and just barely missed. This is a full beer. I think I'm taking one sip out of it. And the final beer of the night. That would have been so tragic. I'm very, very happy for this moment. Uh, you know, sometimes you got to take, take them in. Take in taking the moments that that you know there's so many moments in life so yeah the, the, the hanging out continues here we go a little, little, little bit more in my face anyway uh, the hanging out continues I'm just sitting I'm relaxing it's not even that late it's probably like nine o'clock or so I'm not really that tired but I'm just sort of sort of farting around you know something definitely just crashed through the woods right now I was just getting ready to record about how mosquitoes are biting my back through my chair so I had to put my quilt down and then I heard a crash through the woods not right next to me but close enough to be in the same little forest I'm, it's not a, it's not a big forest <sighs> trying to get the light on my face <sighs> hopefully it doesn't give me away too much if there's someone over there it's most likely a deer I don't see any lights like a flashlight or anything but it's just alarming when you're out here alone in the woods. It's just alarming. It's just alarming. Can you see that? That little shine over there? That's my bike. And every time I look with my headlamp on, it, it shines back. And I, I think it's one of two things. Either someone's coming at me or their eyes. Mainly eyes. They look like eyes. Look, let's, let's, let's just, I mean, <laughs> Does, does that not look like eyes? They're just the reflectors on my bike. I mean, I think, right? Right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the other reflector. On the top. And that's the back wheel. This place is insane with snails. Look at this guy. Look how cool that is. It's like blue, it's from another world. And you can see how big my beer is next to it. It's a real little guy. That's organic snail movement. <laughs> They're so slow. Oh, <laughs> it's not, it's, a, it's an X snail. It's an old snail shell right there. Not one in it. That's cool, let's see, let's see what else. Oh, well. It's turning out it's a not so fruitless after all. Hey buddy, look at that snail. Snails are so cool. All right, let's see. Now we're on a roll. Huh, maybe that was it. I've certainly seen my fair share of snails here. It's just a little spooky. Anyway, this, this fire is, is becoming unsalvageable. I've blown on it and I've blown on it. Come on, let's, let's. Yeah, you know. As it stands, just kind of enjoying the, the din of the expressway and the sound of this toad next to me. At least I hope it's a toad because it's moving real slow. It's been next to me for like the last half hour, just occasionally hopping or jumping or moving. Pretty sure it's just a toad. And I gotta say, the mosquitoes have died down a little bit, so maybe the toad is helping me with its uh, bug-eating abilities. Feeling pretty good about this. Well, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's raining. I haven't felt a single raindrop yet. I've already put my uh, my gear, already put my gear under under the tarp. 
It's a little banana-y. Not the best hang. I don't know, not the best circumstances, honestly. But, uh, it's still a cool little campsite. There's the last space kitty. Just hanging out. Dead. Just dead. Ooh. There we go. Just waiting for a toad. A toad lover. Well, it's kind of just minorly sprinkling. It hasn't really stopped. Just a little minor, just a little minor rush of a sprinkle. But it's time for bed anyway. So here I am in bed. It's so muggy in this bug net. I wish I was outside of it. I wish. Uh, that's why I like fall and spring camping. You can just get in your hammock. There's like a nice wash of wind that may or may not happen. But it's it's better than this. This is just a an oppressive cave. So I'm gonna probably just end up stripping down. Uh, just like last time I, st I was in a stealth camp. <laughs> There's just a super bright light right there, just in my face. Hopefully it's not so bad once I get situated and lie down and things are settled. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, we'll figure it out. But for now, Unless something just like totally unexpected happens in the night, this is this is good night, and I'll see you in just a second. Okay, not too bad a night. Uh, I actually woke up like two hours ago and just decided to rest my eyes again, just like chilling out. I slept for like two more hours. Ugh. But yeah, survived the night. Not too many animals, a couple, couple, two, three animals here or there. Not really too much else to speak of. No, uh, no night beasts of the wood, anything like that. Beautiful morning. The lens keeps fogging up. It's very humid, warm. Kinda can't wait to get out of here. Which is good news for me, because I'm out of here. All packed up, just gotta get my chair underneath the pack, get my bike over there, and get out of here. But thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, and what a what a picture-perfect small plot this turned out to be here today. Don't forget, new episode of Small Plots every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. One of these days, I'm just not gonna, I'm just gonna miss one. I'm just gonna be like, yeah, I'm taking the week off. I don't know when that's gonna be. Maybe it'll be next week, who knows? I got, I got a lot going on this week and in the weekend. So if I don't have a video next week, just know that I'll have a video the, the following week. But I don't know, I have some plans for for something I might want to do. So we'll see, we'll see. Don't don't call me on that. Anybody, or anybody. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody and I'll catch you on that next tee. See ya. It was definitely a scene coming in. The storage shed for something. Still getting bent, still mosquitoes. A little bit on edge, that's okay, that's okay. I saw some eyes, yep. We got, we got eyes. But yeah, I mean, I may not be alone. Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, and I'm very excited because I'm out here for a stealth camp tonight. Uh, it's a pretty busy evening out here. I'm riding my bike, as you can see. Oh, there it is, it's a bike, it's a bicycle with my day ruck, my 25 liter day ruck there. The old, the old standby. So, let's, uh, let's get to it before too many people see us. There's a lot of people out tonight. Uh, where I'm going, I don't normally see people, but, but that, that's, that's when they show up, right? When you're when you're least expecting them to show up. So 
Let's go. Okay, I'm close by to where I want to go. I've, I've been around these parts maybe three, four times because it's super sketchy and I wanted to double, triple, quadruple. Check it out. Ooh, what are they doing? Okay, so these people... All right, it doesn't look like he's doing anything. Of course, I was getting to... This is the first time I've ever seen anybody here. It's usually a desolate stretch of trail. Got a nice woods right here with an airport on the other side. And of course, as I roll up to where I want to duck in the woods, there's like a family. It's like a mom and a boys. So I'm kind of just gonna hang out here for a couple minutes. Let them do what they gotta do. For a second, it looked like he was like about to run up onto like a trail he saw or something like that. Okay, they're almost gone. I'm just gonna walk my bike. Uh, this woods immediately to my left, I checked out a few weeks ago and it would be perfect if I hadn't found uh, a tent where somebody was living. So I'm gonna let that spot be. There are other things. Scared the bejesus out of me. So yeah, it looks like this place is a little bit more populated in the evening than it is in the afternoon when I've checked it out. Because I'm already seeing way more people. I think the last time I was here, I saw a guy and he was just like trimming the hedges. He like worked for the city or something. Hmm. Hmm. This is the little spot I saw one of the boys uh, just now jump over and like he was gonna go but it looked like his mom was like now nah, boy stay here with me boy don't go out too far now nah, boy and that's also the little trail over there is what I walked down a few weeks ago and saw someone you know living their best life in a little tent back there or it was just a tent I don't know if anybody was in it I didn't disturb them it was a tent you don't want to usually like hello hello okay we're going in here ah, nope that's that's a bush Different guy, find a different spot in. Okay, now I'm actually here. I don't know what to do exactly. I have my bike here. I don't know exactly where I'm going in. So I guess I'm gonna have to leave my bike here for just a second. Because this is where I'm going. Some people up the trail. This almost looks too much like a path. I'm not gonna lie. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Okay. Yeah. This will do. I can see an open space back there. Yeah, this isn't too bad. There's the trail right there. Now I just gotta get my bike up here and get into the woods. I saw me come in here. I gotta move. It was definitely a scene coming in. As I was running up, that family turned around. And what was I gonna do? Just stop and wait? Here they come. They're definitely looking up here. Oh yeah. Sorry guys, not today. Whew. Okay, they were definitely looking up here. For a second I even thought they saw me looking at them, but no. Okay, now the woods. Uh, so far things are looking really good here. I gotta keep my voice down, but things are looking really good here. Whew. Uh, definitely a lot of mosquitoes. That's par for the course. Okay, so there's some blunt wrappers and garbage. As long as there's no, like, tent. Well, right here would be okay. I'm sure I could find a place. But looks like there's kind of a mini trail, not quite a trail, that goes over this way. 
I want to make sure I'm not going to run into anybody. I left my bike in my bag over there. I should be fine. Okay. So, some more trash. And right there is some kind of facility. Okay. Yeah, so here's like an opening. I see deer footprints. That's about it. There's a fence for, uh, I don't even know what that is. Some kind of, there's like big storage tanks or something. Okay, it looks like I'm pretty alone back here. <sighs> Definitely people use this little plot of woods to, uh, you know, throw their trash on the ground and drink and hang out with their friends. That was an Aquafina wrapper. So they're drinking Aquafina. That's, that's good. Mostly just candy wrappers. Uh, yeah, there's like one beer. Field over here. Now, these are relatively new, right? Tied to something like this. That's, it's not old, that's this year. And there's a couple of them around. I don't know what that means. Okay, so I'm gonna walk out a little bit farther here. I don't want to get seen. So here's a little road. Over there is that storage facility. Oh, I looked in the viewfinder, I thought I saw somebody standing back there. And then over here is a, a hotel for the airport. And there's gates on either side here. I'll go across to these woods. Oh, these are some pretty nice woods too. More ribbons tied around everywhere. What does that mean? I don't know. A deer. It's always a freaking deer, man. I, I saw him walk. He's walking away. Whew. I just saw the two feet. That, you know, if you see somebody in the woods walking away, it's like, who's back here? Who am I disturbing? But just a deer. There's actually like a really nice bit of woods back here. I was not expecting to find such a such an open place. Huh, there's like a thing over here. Like a concrete structure. Huh, how do I get down there? Is that concrete or is it wood? It's wooden. Might be somebody's house. Huh. This is why we do the walk-arounds. This is why today we do the walk-arounds. Hello? Coming in. Okay. A storage shed for something. Not really sure. Doesn't look like anybody's been staying back here. Hanging? Yes. Past evidence of tree forts? Yes. Expressway? Yes. Construction helmet? Absolutely. I think it's time to figure out a place to camp and then camp there. I don't want to get too close to the expressway here, but, but I'm going to. There's the expressway, and then right on the other side is the airport. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my bike and, and figure this out. Okay, I've chosen my poison. Doing these trees right here, they're a little bit close, but they're the best I can find right now. I thought there'd be, there's a kind of a big open forest, but there's no trees quite, quite good enough. So these will do, they'll be fine. Uh, I'm very close to everything. I can see the clearing over there for uh, the big, there's big storage tanks, jet fuel, I, I don't know. Um, and then about 50 feet that way is the trail I came in on. And then right there is that little maintenance road. And the other side of that is the expressway. So, I gotta get packing up pretty quick. The sun is setting. And I wanna get into the good stuff. 
Okay, what do we got here? Oh, something for a minute here. Still frosty cold because I am a 20 minute bike ride away from home. <sighs> got my possibles pouch, all sorts of good stuff, a flashlight, tissue, whatever you need. Got some, an extra shirt, extra pair of socks. Well, of course we got the hammock. Well, of course we got the bug net. Well, of course we got the quilt. That's, that's all I'm gonna show for now because I'm getting bit. I'm getting a bit, bit, bit to the living hell. Now the very first thing I'm gonna do, set up this finally got a thermocell after so many people telling me to get a thermocell people even offered to buy me one looking at jack from outlaw camper uh, finally got one so i'm going to set it up before i do anything because they're getting pretty bad okay i got the thermocell working hopefully it starts working soon because they're getting worse and worse okay so i got the hammock up it's it's a little bendy it's a little banana-y that's okay i'm gonna make it work i'm gonna make it work because i have to make it work the best thing to do with a bug net before you put it on your hammock is, of course, just leave it lying on the ground. Don't, don't take anything I do as a, a how to do it. You know, I'm not, a, I'm not a tutorial kind of camper. I'm not here to spit any woodlands advice. I'm just here to have fun to go camping. Where am I? Nope, that was, I just came right back. Oh, yeah. how, how did this happen? It was like a magic trick. I just like put it through and it somehow fell out. Let's try this again, shall we? So there's basically a 0% chance of rain tonight. I don't think I'm gonna put a tarp up. Um, usually I do, even if there is a 0% chance of rain, but I'm so close to people that could potentially see me. I don't want them looking in the woods and seeing a big old white tarp. So I think I'm gonna forego the tarp tonight. I should be okay. Famous last words, right? Anyway, uh, thermocell's working a little bit, I think. Not no mosquitoes, but I'm not getting swarmed like I was a few minutes ago. So that's good. La on the last video when I was camping in the middle of a swarm of mosquitoes, I had to try and put this in without, op without uh, having the bug net open. I feel okay now. There's like a few mosquitoes buzzing around, but this, uh, Thermocell seems to be doing a bit of a trick. Still getting bit, still mosquitoes. I heard somebody walking. Must have been a something else. I heard walking, footsteps. I don't see any deer, but that must have been what it is. Unless somebody came down secretly, heard me when they heard me talking, and what I heard was them leaving. That's a possibility too. I gotta be quiet. Gave me the gave me the chills a little bit. Okay, a little bit on edge. That's okay. That's okay. I think we're good. Honestly, the most thing I'm worried about is just like D bags coming out here. If a cop comes out, tells me to leave, I get a ticket. That would suck, but not the end of the world. It's the people that might come back here and cause a ruckus. My eyes are glued over there. Where was I? Oh, uh, the, yeah. God. And there you have a bed. This might be my sketchiest stealth camp yet. I, uh, I, I from pretty much any direction, if somebody were to just step into the woods, they would see me. 
except for behind me. That's where the hotel is, and there's, there's like a fence there. So just to recap, over here, about 50 feet away, maybe even less. What am I looking at? I think it's just the sun through the trees, but the sun is over there. What is that? All right, we're, we're gonna check that out real quick. I think that's just the reflection off of something over there from the sun. Yeah, it's like reflecting off a, I don't even know what's over there. Indu industrial zone stuff. But, so yeah, path that way, right over here. That's like maybe another 40, 50 feet right over there. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, like this clear, that clearing there is actually this, yeah, that white thing that looks like sun, where is it right here? That, 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 that thing. Uh, that's a big, like five story, uh, like just container of something. I'm assuming jet fuel or something like that, something airport related. And then right over here, like 20 feet away is that little maintenance road. And on the other side of that is that tiny little forest with the shack in it next to the expressway and airport. So if anyone comes down this maintenance road, looks in, they see me. Anybody comes down that little path that I came in into this woods, they see me. Anybody doing like a grounds check on this, on this area over here? It's fenced, it's fenced off. Like they probably wouldn't be on this side of it, but they could see me. I'm very easily seen. I didn't want to have to camp right here, but it was the only place I could get even kind of two trees like this. And it, even that, I mean, look how banana-y it is. It's gonna be a rough sleep tonight, maybe. Well, it's starting to get a little bit dark. I think it's time for one of these. Today's beverage is Citra Dreams from Captain Lawrence Brewing Company out of Elmsford, New York. One of these days I'll get there. Fa world, world famous Elmsford. I gotta, I gotta take a trip. Um, haven't had Citra Dreams in a while. The can's a little bit different than it was last time I had it. So let's, uh, let's get it into my body. Ooh, ooh. Nice, very nice. It's definitely the sketchiest place I've ever camped, definitely. When I'm out here, I don't take everything, you know, I have my ID and 20 bucks. My ID in case, you know, I do have a run-in with the law, then I'm not out here without an ID, and 20 bucks in case uh, I need something, or sad to say, if somebody's robbing me, I have something to give them. That's uh, it's like kind of a weird tactic, but it is what it is. I think it goes without saying because I'm so close to the airport, it's right there and then there's like some kind of tank storage facility over there. I'm not gonna have a fire tonight. I just feel like it would be too risky. Um, you know, mainly the airport. Things tend to be pretty tight at airports. Uh, I think it's okay me getting away with camping in the woods here, but it starts to get a little shaky when you bring a fire into the equation. So in place of a fire today, I have <laughs> the thermocell. Look at the glow. There's a mosquito flying right around it. Uh, but it does seem to be doing the trick for the most part. There's, like I said, they're still buzzing about a little bit, but not too bad. Not too bad at all. Another thing that's a little bit different about tonight's camp is uh, I've already eaten, so I'm not going to be cooking or making any food or really anything. I have a bag of Skittles. It's going to be pretty good for later. It's just kind of a chill night. I, uh, I ate some dinner. My girlfriend made some delightful curry. Mwah, mwah, so good. And came out here. I don't need any food after eating uh, a meal of curry. So just kind of a relaxing evening in the woods. That's what I love about these stealth camps is it, 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 there's, I can just ride my bike here. I, I just left my apartment and, and it is a little on edge, but overall it's relaxing. This thermocell is doing a number on the skeets. The beers are, are good. And there's a nice breeze going. I haven't heard any uh, jets take off. I thought that would be a, 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 a staple of <laughs> sleeping next to an airport is hearing, you know, airport noises. I don't think I've heard one. I'm always swiveling. I, whenever I'm editing videos, I notice I'm just like constantly swiveling. Swivel, swivel, swivel. I don't. I do it. Uh, I don't even think about think about it when I do it. It's just I gotta 
stop because sometimes I'll say something and I'll say it and I'll go over this way and say it and you never nobody nobody heard me. This is a very small plot of woods here. Uh, if there was another person here, I would know it. That's why I like to take uh, kind of a, a jaunt around the area uh, when I can, when I first get to a stealth camp. See as much of it as I can see uh, for two reasons. A, looking for a place to set up, but B, looking for a place other people might be set up or evidence of past people having set up there. And you'd think if someone was coming back here to live, that structure would be perfect. If you're gonna stay in these woods, six to one half does the other, either close to the bike trail or close to the expressway and the airport or the hotel or the tanks. I'm gonna go on a little mini walk here. It's gotta be real quiet because I really don't know the deal, really. You know, I don't see any people, but I just don't know the deal. It's much brighter out here. He's stealthy. I can't see my camp actually. Now if I had my big white tarp up, I probably could. So here's like it's like a it's like a maintenance road or a service road. It's it's not paved and it's closed on both sides. too close because that's the hotel right there. I don't know what's going on, if it closed recently. Yeah, nobody's coming through here. That's a, this is, this is like a dead area of the parking lot. This hotel, is, yeah, there's like boards on the windows. Yeah, nobody's staying at this hotel. Looks like there's a mattress over the window over there. There's grass poking up. Huh, not sure when this closed, but nobody's coming here anytime soon which is good for me because I'm not supposed to be here just like many other of my stealth camps the woods grew up where there were probably structures or something at one point and I keep seeing things like this whatever this is it's probably great shelter for some animal but just a big metal thing completely grown into the tree that's incredible that's really cool and there's my self camp you can hardly see it other than my my red beacon god my worst fear is like coming back to the camp and somebody's sitting here all right safe and sound well, it's getting darker here in the woods. Just gonna, you know, I'll try to illuminate myself a little bit. This is the professional lighting uh, situation we have here on small plots. Uh, just cracked the second beer. I don't know if the camera picked up on it, but there was a plane. I am, I am hearing jet sounds now. After chilling here for a little while, they're hello. They're def, they're definitely, uh, they're definitely here. Overall, pretty quiet, pretty quiet night. I'm just sort of relaxing, watching a couple YouTube videos, ha having a couple brews, just doing what I love to do. This is, this is this is the best lighting setup in the world. Oh look, you can kind of see the smoke from the thermosil. You, the camera can't, I can. And I love that I can just walk out my front door and not get in my car and go camping. And I live in the downtown area of a mid-sized city. This is, it's just nice to to be able to, to do that. Just because I, I love getting out here. I love getting out in the nature, uh, <laughs> relaxing. De de definitely uh, been enjoying the stealth camping. <sighs> and I, I guess, you know, wait till I get caught one of these days. <laughs> Man, this flashlight. Yep, 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 yep. Ah! You know, the more I think about it, the more um, 
it might be kind of interesting to check out that uh, f that fort I found in the beginning of the video uh, and, and maybe do a little stealth camp there. So if you want to see me do a stealth camp at that weird, whatever that was, storage shed fort thing right next to the expressway, leave a comment. Let me know if you want me to do that because I think that might be kind of neat. Something's been creeping around for the last 10, 20 minutes. I just need to know if it's a little guy or a big guy. It definitely moved when I stood up and brought my flashlight out. That lit up area right over there are the storage tanks. But I don't think it's a person. I mean, maybe it is. They don't have a flashlight or anything. I guess it's a raccoon. That's kind of what it sounds like just mulling about. And I keep shining my light, seeing if I can see some eyes. Alas, I cannot. But the moon looks cool. And my camp looks cool. But you're not cool. You're not cool at all, raccoon. Okay, this thing is getting brave. What if I were just to run in that direction? Oh, you see that? I saw some eyes. Yep, we got we got eyes. Yeah, there it is. Whew, that gives me the chills, man. I'm getting closer. What if I were just to run over this direction? Didn't care. There's probably like a hole right there that it went into. Or it's uh, an otherworldly beast. An eldritch creature that I am just not equipped to deal with right now. Well, at least, at least I know what it is. It's a possum or a raccoon, what I thought it was. But man, it's super creepy to see glowing eyes moving around in the dark. It's not my favorite. That's the sun setting over there. Got some lit up tanks. All right. I, uh, I may not be alone back here. I've seen a couple of, uh, of lights, some flashes of lights that could be lighters, or whatever. There's some music behind me. It's not close, it's not anywhere in the forest I'm in, but it's not far away. Somebody's chilling on the, on the path back there, I think, like with their buds, with music. It's getting closer. Hopefully it's not gonna come here, but, um, but yeah, I mean, I may not be alone. I, it's, it's not conclusive, but there was a couple of like, wow, that looks like someone flicking a lighter like a couple of times, like off in the woods. So I should probably turn this light off. I should, I, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Ugh, ah, spooky red. Well, I'm trying to keep it low key here, so I don't want to have a full light on like I was doing earlier, you know. Like, like 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 a like a like an idiot in the night, but eh, I'm in my hammock. I'm in my bug my my bug net in my hammock. Really hope it doesn't rain tonight. I don't have my tarp. There's zero chance. Uh, you know, but that doesn't uh, as I've said before. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. But take I'm taking a shot. I'm taking the shot tonight. I, I got here. I have my tarp with me, but I didn't want to take the chance of just, it's just so big, it's just so white and, and light and large. And... No, no, nobody, nobody needs to see that, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut my little eyes and have myself a little sleep here. Uh, unless anything happens in the night, I will see you in like a, a you know, like a second. Well, <clears throat> kind of a junk sleep, if I'm being honest. It's, uh, 
I don't know if it's just me. I just felt like there was always something going on close, which there probably is. For the past several hours, it's about you know, 7.15 in the morning now, um, I've woken up to what sounds like somebody occasionally just throwing like a 2x4 on a stack of 2x4s. It's kind of what it sounds like. I, don't, I, don't, I can't describe it any other way. The uh, planes have been taken off and landed all night. The expressway has been loud, lots of uh, clang clanging, bing banging. Not really sure what that light I saw last night was, whether it was a lighter flick or whatever. Headlights reflecting off of something, I don't know. But never saw anybody. There was something, I'm not sure what it was, in the middle of the night ran underneath me. It, it, it was too fast to be like a raccoon or a possum. Um, it was too big to be a mouse. Uh, it, it's unless it was like a night squirrel, which I don't know, like how how frequently squirrels are bopping around in, in the dark. But uh, maybe it was a fox. But that almost seems like too big for it. Was like like it just like went under me. It was weird. It, it, it very soft footprints. Um, maybe it was a rat. That's possible too. It could have been a rat. I guess. Now I hear something walking over that way. I think it's about time I get up and get out of here. There's, I'm not getting any more sleep. It's too rambunctious around me. Every time I doze off, something wakes me up within like 10 to 15 minutes. So I think I'm just going to get up and get out of here. It's going to be really funny running out on that trail. Of crossing my fingers that nobody's right there. I need to skedaddle, I think. Maybe whoever's got that basketball over there is coming back for it. I mean, that didn't just fall that way, right? That's, yeah, somebody definitely put this up here. Must have, I must have just missed it yesterday. I don't know why they did this. Right there is the, the fence to the place. But definitely, I could definitely see somebody camping back here. It's a, it's a big open space. Who knows, maybe somebody's in that, that dark area over there. Who knows? Who knows? Well, goodbye, small plot. The trees were close, and the night was tight. The mosquitoes are starting to come back, and that's my cue to leave. I've got the camera set up on my bike here. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have it on when I get out of here, because. It might be hilarious. There might be somebody out there and it might be like, morning ma'am, or you know, something ridiculous. So, <laughs> get ready. I don't know the best way to go is, probably just this way. Towards the basketball. Pretty tight. How do I even get this bike in here? I think around this way. I'm caught. Oh, I'm caught again. Let's see if I can get there. We go. Okay. I don't see anybody. But I mean, it's a path, right? So. Somebody's here. 
Some news here, I gotta go. Oh, okay. She's running the other way. Going down that way. Okay. A success. It's been a success. Well, I'm safe and sound. I made it out. If I'd come out maybe uh, 45 seconds earlier, I would have scared the bejesus out of some poor jogger. But alas, I did not. But thanks for joining me on today's Small Plots. This has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Thanks for watching to the end, everybody. Don't forget, every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. EST, you're gonna get a little small plot. You're gonna get a little bit of a small plot. Sometimes it's a stealth camp, sometimes it's a regular camp, sometimes it's sometimes it's really not a camp at all, is it? Can't, 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 can't get it camping every week. It's tough, it's tough to get out camping. God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up and go home. All right, well, thanks so much, everybody, and I'll catch you on that, that big, floppy, sweaty next to you. <laughs>I was gonna do the small plots intro at the beginning of the episode because it's a beautiful little spot and a nice little bridge, uh, an Almstead bridge. Uh, but as soon as I came up to it, there is another couple that was ahead of me on the trial that decided to stop and do their small plots intro instead. So I'm here now. So look at look at bask in its glory. Yeah, it looks kind of nice. Looks like there's uh, somebody's, like an old tote bag. There's a ton of garbage. Somebody's old hut, their old living quarters back here. People have definitely spent time here. Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, and we're out here with my buddy Sean, with a skateboard. Yeah, I'm 36. He's 36 <laughs> and he's skateboarding. And we're going out for a little bit of a stealth camp on the beautiful Erie Canal. Look at that, isn't that, isn't that picturesque? And we got the people who are aware that we're filming and they're fans. just letting themselves oh, know. They're, they gotta be fans of small plots, right? So yeah, we're gonna hit the trail here and do a little, do a little stealth camping. Let's go. This you gonna go for it? Bro, once, once all this stops, look at all this on the car. Oh. oh, oh yeah. Nobody suspects a thing. <laughs> Nobody's camping here. No camping here, sir. <laughs> We're kind of going uphill a little bit. This whole kind of path you can kind of see like it snakes up and goes a little bit uphill. This guy looked a little farts. snooty. Like he was angry about something. Smeller. <laughs> He's sniffing farts for sure. <laughs> but liking them. Yeah, you know, you know like, like enjoying. His own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His own. Ooh, what's this? A petroleum pipeline. I was going to do my digging. This is where we were going to dig. Now we can't even now do we that. Can't even dig? Ooh. Okay, so here is. That's what I saw on the map. Running underground. Oh. And that's the pseudo trail. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's kind of nice. So, it's like a pseudo trail up this way, but Ooh. I think there's a better way of getting in there. I, again, I think if we go farther. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, definitely. Work with. Now looking nice down there. And there's a bit of a trail in here that I think is going to be good to go in. I don't see anybody. I don't see anybody. Let's just casually, casually walk in. What? Right here. Cabin right here. No one will know. We've passed a couple of cyclists on the way in here, but I'm not too worried about them. Okay. Well, here we are. 
<laughs> All right, well, here's kind of a trail, but very overgrown. Hmm, see the trail back there. I can hear water. I can definitely hear water over here. Yeah, there's, this, there's that stream. Yeah, is this somebody's like bushcraft house from yeah, 10 years right. ago? Yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can get down there. There's definitely cans, like trash, trash discarded natty ices. Huh. Yeah, this is definitely. Uh, we weren't the first ones to have this idea. Yeah. Looks like there's uh, somebody's. Like an old tote bag, or a uh, plastic tote rather. Whatever that is. Oh geez, you can see the expressway right there. <laughs> Which kind of makes it not ideal because we do want to have a, a small fire tonight. So being, it probably wouldn't matter that oh, bad. Wow. But yeah, we, we're pretty close to the road. But I think if we just head a little bit this way, we will mitigate that problem. Because this is kind of perfect, right? Yeah. This is this is a beautiful little, it's very flat, plenty of trees. And you got your water right there. That's pretty nice. More natty ice cans. It's definitely orgy factor. Oh yeah. This wouldn't be the worst, right? Yeah. A little farther away from the road. There's a ton of garbage. There's like ceramic cups and glass and... Yeah. Oh God, what is that? Looks like an old hubcap. Pretty cool. Huh. Well, the only thing that I have an issue with here is I don't see any trees to hang a hammock on. Maybe right there, kinda. I don't know. And it looks like somebody's old hut, their old living quarters back here. Oh, there's an old cooler over there. Yeah, definitely been used in the past. It wouldn't say it's currently being used, but I think it's pretty clear that people have spent time here. People have definitely spent time here. Picturesque spot. Yeah, it's just an old cooler up there. And kind of going further that way is just impenetrable brush. So yeah, looks like we're just gonna have to find a spot in here. Oh God, look look at this dead hanging. Okay. Shouldn't do that while I'm under it, huh? Yeah, probably. All right, quickly now, quickly. <laughs> Jeez, look at that piece. Yeah, that's huge. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I prefer to just chill in that area versus here. Yeah. Garbage. Me too. There's less garbage over here. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we're going to find a spot and set her up. We found a good spot where I can hang up my hammock and Sean can hang up his hammock and we can hang up our hammocks together and it's going to be good. It's going to be fine. It's going to be wonderful. Very excited about this. We have the little creek running through right over here. It's gonna be a fun night, should be a good night. So, oh, let us begin. The kind of weird thing about this stealth camp is that because we're so close to the, uh, the highway over there, the expressway, we kind of have to yell to hear each other. So we're kind of just yelling. But also, dude, if you remember, we have a big hill between us and the path. Right, yeah, there's a big hill between us and the path over there. We'll be okay, I'm not worried. Those beer cans don't look too old, but whatever. All right, let's go through the pack a little bit, just a little bit, show you what I'm bringing out. Stuff falling out of the sky. Got a hoodie and some socks and a beanie for later. It's not gonna get too cold tonight, about 60 degrees Fahrenheit, but um, you know, might need the hoodie. 
got the beverage center here. We'll get to that in a minute. It's gonna be eating some cheese. 10 year aged. Eight year, eight year aged. Dude, you, you sold me on the 10. Yeah, I know. I, I rounded up in my brain. I guess. <laughs> well, of course, you got the Possible's pouch. Anything's possible. My Thermarest Neo Air, the greeny yellow version. There's a couple different Thermarest Neo Airs that are different prices and colors and R ratings. And this is this this is this one. Of course, we have the Kamet Cooley UL weather shelter. I don't even really want to think about you calling it a tarp. It's a weather shelter. Of course, my trusty hammy ham. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a fine night for a hammock. Now, uh, last trip I went on about a week ago, I took my sleeping bag and I was way too warm and we're dealing with similar temps tonight. So I just have my quilt tonight. I should be fine. I feel like there's liquor bottles from the 1920s stuck in the dirt around here. Yeah, it's a little, uh, deep. Not amazing. Not great. I think we can do better. Destroy us again. Whoa. Okay, way better. Way better. Oh, you'll notice I put my beanie on at some point uh, in the transition, just because the, the mosquitoes were biting me. Okay, all right, okay, looking good. Hmm, it's just not long enough. So I'm gonna have to tie something here to reach this tree, this, tr this tree right here. You, you're the tree. All right. Have some weird extra rope. It's not looking too good, but I think it'll do the job. Sean also has the Canet Cooley UL, and it's funny to see the differences between our tarps, despite them being identical models. I have little pouches where he doesn't have pouches, and his rope quality is far surpasses mine. Mine always feels like it's gonna just snap, but his is like nice, thick, meaty boys. Have some consistency, Kamek, huh? I don't know, I'm not really feeling the need to do my middle tie out. I think this is pretty okay. Not really any chance of rain tonight, but even if there was, that this would be adequate, I think. Just realized my hammock's upside down. That's okay, too. Fixed. You, can you tell the difference? <sighs> okay. And that's that. Let's take a look around the site. Look at that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We got the, we got the Kamek Cooley Represent Club here. I feel pretty stealthy. Let's go check out the creek. Very nice. I love little creeks. I'm a, I'm a little creek boy. Not sure how apparent it is, how close we are. Let's see, wait till a car to pa wait for a car to pass. I don't know. I don't know why no cars are passing when I'm waiting. Oh, one just did. Okay, well, I'm sure you saw it. This right here is actually um, a an entrance ramp to the expressway. Nobody's gonna be looking in the woods. So we're thinking, in terms of having a little fire, it's definitely a go. I'm excited about that. Right, right here, maybe. Like my, my line, yeah, maybe a little bit over. I don't know. We'll find. We'll find the correct spot. Maybe over here would be better. Like right here. I don't know. We'll find it. There's plenty of wood back here. We're gonna have to be searching for wood for like 10 minutes before we have everything we need. It's, it's so much. I mean, there's decades of fallen branches and trees back here that nobody's burned until today. All right, I think it's time to bust into the beverage center. Yeah. Sean, do you want to?
start with what you have there. It's one of my faves. I got an old classic. It's been on your show before, I'm sure. But a I good so. lemon strawberry cream ale from the good old Jenny Brewery right here in Rochester. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. It's a good uh, beer to end the summer out with. It is. You know. It is. Actually, last night I finished off my 12 pack that I had in the basement for a <laughs> couple months. <laughs> yeah, I still have a few. I still have a few. Chilling. Yeah. And uh, while I'm on the topic, you know what else, what, what else was a really great beer that I tried? Was the Oktoberfest from Jenny. It was really, really good. I have something a little bit different. I also have some Space Kitty, but I wanted to start the night off with uh, K2 Brewing Blue Raz Sour. It's Ooh, one of my faves. One of my faves as well. Yeah, people, uh, so, some astute viewers may notice I have the K2 uh, sticker on one of my water bottles. Oh, sure. It's a good one. They specialize in sours, and it's a good, they're good. They're good yeah, at yeah, it. Yeah, they're good sours. <laughs> they're good All sour. right. All right. Cheers. Cheers, boy. Boop. Delicious. Oh, that's nice. It is. Secret beer. Secret beer, yeah. yeah. Makes it taste a little bit better knowing that we're not really supposed to be here doing this. Yeah, I'm new to this feeling. I get why you do it. I'm... It's fun, right? Yeah, I dig it. Yeah, it's like... I have a knife just in case. Yeah, you get a, you but, get a little uh, bit of, of you know, height, heightened uh, adrenaline just looking yeah, around. Yeah. And... It's not far. I think it was a 15 minute walk, maybe here. Just about from, that. from my house. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so pretty easy. We are yelling, <laughs> but that's only because of the expressway. But it's cool. There's this big hill between us and the path. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's kind of blocking a lot of ours. Yeah. And the cars, constant cars, are just constant cars. covering everything. So. Yeah. Huh, so I think we're going to relax here for a little while. Oh, yeah. We have. About an hour before sunset, so. Is it only an hour? Yeah, but I mean, even when sun sets, we'll have a little bit of light, but we'll have plenty of time to get some kindling, get some wood. Like I said, it's everywhere. We could probably not even find wood or process wood and it'd still be okay. There's enough wood for a fire just dead hanging off other trees. Yeah. Like, there... I've had to clear so much to put my hammock up. Like, Absolutely. There, there, yeah. I'm gonna sit here relaxing with our beers for a little while and then get a fire going. We're stealth camping. We're sla sla slamping. We're, st we're st yeah, st st slamping. St slamping. Stealthing. <laughs> it's fire time. We got this. We got a little bit of birch bark under there. We got some some kindling on top. Sean, would you like to do the honors I here? Would, I would love to. Thank you. All right. So I'm gonna do. It. It's gonna be a slow burn. There might be too much on top, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, oh. Birch bark is pretty magical. It is. Just gonna watch it. <laughs> it's picking up a little bit. Yep. It's going good. <laughs> Got the pocket bellows. Just put it in and out. Well, she wants. Let's take a couple of these off. Here we go. Yeah. See. Oh we yeah. Close. We were close. We're close. We're not there yet, but we're getting there. Oh, that's that's cool. Good. Still pretty good. Mmm. Smells great. I'm not being sarcastic. It smells amazing. Beautiful. Well, at least, at least we know now the smoke isn't going to blow out towards the vehicles. <laughs> it's going to blow out towards the canal path. And screw those people. Who cares? Well, it's not like, I mean, you're driving, you're, you're riding your bike down a path and you see a little smoke. You're probably going to think to yourself, oh, somebody's having a fire somewhere. Can we see? I don't know if you can see in the background, kind of. Yeah. Sean's got right, right there. Sean's got the football game on hey. his phone. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. There he goes. He's gone. No. I never see that. No. There was a, a motor, heard a motorcycle just kind of stop and pull Are over and idle. I just started, yeah. Uh, pull over and idle over there. We were just kind of wondering what that was. Turned out to be nothing. He went away, but kind of a stark reminder that <laughs> we're not, you know, totally unseen back here. We can see things around, and you know, we got that going now. 
got this little fella. This little fella here. This is def. This smoke is definitely smoking up the canal path back there. It's how far? No, like 70 feet, maybe something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Film the whole walk back here. It's not. We're not far back. Lovely. Lovely. Keep hearing stuff. No, like crackling. I think we'll be okay. Okay, brew number two. I've got, you know what you love it. My, my sweet little space kitty. And Sean, what do you got there? I have a lovely titled Minky Boodle. Minky Boodle. Yeah, I believe it's by Thin Man. Um, yes, Thin Man Brewery in Buffalo. And weirdly enough, I found this at a speedway. Huh. It was the only sour, just a four pack sitting in the middle of everything. Oh, Speedway is a local gas station, so yeah. something you wouldn't expect to have a, you know, a, a good, yeah. you know, super crafty beer. And the lady was like, oh my God, $14, you're paying that? <laughs> I, was four like, pack? Yeah. I was like, yep. <laughs> I was like, that's not even that bad <laughs> compared to others. Yeah, put it down in the comments if you guys have also noticed the drastic increase in beer prices. I bought, I, I went to the store today. I bought my girlfriend a 12 pack of White Claws and I got two four packs. It was, it was like 53 bucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, depending it's on incredible. the brewery, like, like a fifth frame, it's at least 22 bucks a four pack. Mm -hmm. um, AJ's, I get that great notion from Portland and some of them are 30 bucks a four pack. What? Or if you buy a single beer, they're a little more expensive, but each beer, some of them are seven to nine bucks per can. That's a lot, but you yeah. said they were really good, right? They're I've amazing. Never... Yeah. They're like the treat myself beers. Like sure. it's, it's like having a decadent dessert. Mm -hmm. it's, they, they are worth it, but it's expensive. Yeah, they're getting pricey. Yeah. Uh, a four pack of Space Kitty is I think $13. Um, the a four pack of the beer I just had, the Blue Rass Sour, that was fifteen dollars for that four pack. They're they're getting up there. They're yeah, getting like, up there. You know, they're, like this is seven percent. It's nothing to sneeze. Right. At, yeah. Right? This is I think eight five. Yeah. yeah. Eight four. Excuse so me. You have a couple and you're good. But yeah. man. Anyway, let's get to it. Oh yeah. Cat pee. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Oh. What does your smell like? That it's not cat pee. No. It's raspberries. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, red, delicious. Oh yeah. I mean, I find the smell of cat pee for this beer delicious. Also, sure. I've mentioned it before. I say that it smells like cat pee. It doesn't smell like cat pee to me anymore. It does. I just know that it does. It does. Yeah, because I drink it fairly regularly. I don't drink it, and I mean, ammonia. <laughs> like, just ammonia. <laughs> like it's poison. You're drinking poison. It's delicious. <laughs> ah, it gets you good. It gets you right. It gets you good and right. As long as you enjoy it, Captain. So we're just sort of standing around the fire. Feeding the fire. Feeding the fire, having some beers. This is it, baby. Stealth camping with, with, with my buddy Sean Gross. here in the woods. Let's hope your knee stays intact. Yeah, let's hope I don't dislocate my knee. <laughs> and we're just gonna have our heads on a swivel all night, I'm sure. Yeah. But I think we're pretty cool here. Anybody coming up from any direction is gonna be making a racket. This is all kind of brush. Yes. And they're yes. not even coming from this way because there's the creek and right honestly, there. Honestly, the only people we saw on the path were on bikes. Yeah. They're cruising. Like, yeah. even if you smell something, it's like, where was that? That was five, you know. Yeah. Five, 50 feet. All right. Yeah. Cheers. Okay, here we are. We've got the fire going nice. One tiny problem is uh, this smoke. Sean, would you care to? get away from me yeah this Mission. whole area yeah the camera's really not picking up on it i don't even I'm see it even yeah i'm not even picking up on it. it disappeared it disappeared we well totally sketched yeah out. well about two minutes ago this whole area was just filled <laughs> with smoke now there's nothing here i guess i guess there's nothing really to be worried about but we can you can kind of see now how much trash yeah is around here hold on i'm trying to get perfect it's a uh well, paper plate no, it's a ceramic plate. Oh, oh that's blown out. Holy oh, jeez. Oh. Yeah, it's ceramic plate. Some china. Dude, it's all under you. You're standing on Oh, the I'm side. standing on the china. Oh, dude, this is dude, not. Dude. There we go. Oh, you... Dude, there's a mug. Can you move your flashlight just a little bit? Sorry, yeah, it's blowing. It's blowing out. I can't see anything. Yeah, dude, this is. Uh... <laughs> this is yeah, this is. There's a china mug. Some more china. Somebody 
Somebody probably stole this and then yeah, came out here and smashed it. Yeah, yeah, there's more of the mug here. Oh, God. <laughs> Stepping. Oh, there's another handle. There's multiple handles here. Yeah, no, so like somebody, it's, it's, it's a China set. There's another. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there's another one right there. Yeah, and, the, and part of it there. Yeah, no, this is. Uh, so weird. I didn't, how did we not notice this? I saw months. some of it when we came in. This is almost a full plate, yeah. considering. Um, Weird garbage. Very strange. Anyway, well, I guess we're not too worried about the smoke. Getting kind of dark. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. No problems. So far, Ooh. a pretty successful stealth camp. Okay, it's cheese time, baby. The fire is roaring. Sean's watching football on his phone. Mm -hmm. We've been hanging out chatting and I, and I think it's time for cheese. He's eating, uh, what are you eating, Sean? You're eating a sandwich? A PB&J with blackberry jam. He's eating a PB&J with blackberry jam, baby. Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about. I, uh, oh my God. He's, and the Bills just scored a touchdown. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. This is fantastic, I'm excited. Uh, yeah, so my girlfriend, who's an amazing cook, made dinner tonight. I couldn't help but eat it before going out, so I'm not eating dinner, I'm eating cheese. I'm eating this cheese. It's, uh, it's gonna be good. Okay, there was no earthly way I was gonna be able to cut that and film at the same time, so there's the cheese. It's very aged, it's a very crumbly. I'm very excited. Let's get it on. Well, that's just delicious. That's just delicious cheese right there. Can't complain about that. That's eight years age. I might have said ten earlier. It's eight. Eight years age. You texted me like, it's like 13 years age. <laughs> I guess I rounded up. <laughs> this is great cheese. This is fantastic cheese. That's cheese. Right? Pretty sharp. I like aged cheese. I'm a cheeseman. Oh, um, I'm so messy. <laughs> okay, it's time to eat some more cheese. I can't stop. It's so addictive. I'm gonna eat this cheese. Oh yeah. I mean, it's cheese, right? This cheese is older than my animation career. <laughs> I can't stop. I can't stop. I'm not, I can't eat this whole brick. I can't just eat a whole brick of cheese out in the woods. Come on. Yeah. I'm gonna buy myself up tight. I mean, so constipated. Did you bring any prunes? I didn't bring any now. Well, that's just poor planning for cheese. Pretty well expired. Fires dying down. There's Sean on on the football watching. You can kind of see him. Very uh, cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Yeah, that's not that's not great. I'm gonna zoom back out. That's, that's spooky. Yeah, just kind of hanging out by whatever's left of the fire. Not too much left to feed into it. The uh, roadway over that way is still present and happening. There's a nice breeze blowing through here. You can hear the tree frogs maybe. They're going off. And it will be a very peaceful sleep pretty soon. Isn't that right? Creepy Sean in the dark. Yes. <laughs> well, it's about that time. I'm a little sleepy. Sean's a little sleepy. Let's see if we can see him over there. Nope, that's just that's just endless darkness. But he's he's over there. Just just take it from me. Uh, it was a fun night. Ate some cheese, drank some beers. Um, I'm not too worried about anybody coming back here. It's a pretty chill, pretty chill stealth camp. Um, we'll be lulled to sleep by the sound of the expressway. And there's a slight breeze 
blowing through the trees. That's nice. That's always my favorite. <clears throat> yeah, so that's about it. I will uh, you know, check in if anything insane happens, but unless that happens, I'll see you in a second. Something's over there. Something's, something's breaking twig. I don't have my headlamp on to shine. Where's the fire? I don't know. I'm not really sure what that was. I I guess I guess we're gonna die. done it. I've slept. It's kind of a restless sleep. Uh, weird dreams last night. A lot of weird dreams. I would just wake up like, oh, that was nuts. But it wasn't bad. That's cozy. This, uh, this blanket was totally just enough. Um, I did end up putting my hoodie on like maybe four in the morning. But until then, I just had a regular shirt on, and it was fine. It would be 60 degrees, I don't know. But, you get up, you fart around for a minute, and probably go have some breakfast. <sighs> Pretty good. Pretty good. We're gonna get uh, set up, not set up, the opposite of set up. We're gonna get set down, pack her up, and uh, hopefully hit up a little diner. But until then, I'm just gonna take a little walk around this small plot just to kind of see what's up even though I kind of did that yesterday already but walking towards where uh, it's pretty obvious people come to hang out and drink beers near the creek it's the type of beer that you would imagine a person would drink who would just pop into the woods and drink near a creek and that is uh, bush ice Don't think it would be too much trouble for me to pack those out. <clears throat> Along with my other beer. And then, yeah, here's like a little kind of a camp, maybe. Could have been a structure at one point. Not recently. But, uh, you know, possibly within the last couple of years. Even stuff like that. Whatever, whatever that is. That was part of the structure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really, uh, really pretty creek. Uh, more evidence that people come back here. This is right, right where we're camping. Some, uh, safety glasses somebody hung up on the tree here and then forgot about them it's too bad but it is evidence that this place ain't so super secret it's a little bit used we are on the west side of the city um, actually the border of the city is like right there we're technically not in the city right on the border but uh, it's a not great neighborhood over there right across the the canal so, maybe someone from that neighborhood causing trouble by leaving their glasses. It's heinous. It's frankly, it's heinous. All right, well, looks like we're all packed up and ready to go. It's been a pretty fine small plot, wouldn't you say, Sean? I would have to agree, yeah, I'd have to say so. Just, a, just a, the finest, smallest plots. This tiny plot. <laughs> tiny, tiny, it was, it wasn't that big really, it was just kind of right here. 
So we're gonna get out of here. Sean's gonna jump over the moon on a skateboard <laughs> or whatever. Just so 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 extreme to the max. But uh, thanks for watching Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Don't forget new episodes of Small Plots every Tuesday, 6:30 p.m. EST. It's when you're gonna come. It's when you're gonna want to come watch the videos. It really is just truly the best time. Uh, because that is when I post them every once in a while. It's like, uh, you know, like 10-15 minutes late. That's not my fault. It just takes things take a while. The upload and process and all, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Anyway, uh... Pineapple soda. Oh, well. They're keep, it's they're all natural. Keeping it clean. Naturally and artificially flavored. Huh, nobody's here. Not gonna freak anybody out today. Oh. Huh, well that's, that's good. Here we are in 1989 at a diner. Yeah, it's Italian omelet. It's got sauce on it. Omelet with marinara sauce. Marinara sauce. Can you imagine? I'm surprised. And also, look at the size of this plate for three pieces of bacon. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like you could, could have just bought it. Just put, put that anywhere. <laughs> just handed it to me. Found the sword in the stone. Sean, can you pull it? Oh, you can't pull it. Oh man, chosen one. You're gonna get, you're gonna get tetanus from this boy. Oh, yeah, it's a little tetanusy. Yeah, it's a little tetanusy. <laughs> just, uh, just a nice little sword in the stone at this, uh, at this uh, mini storage. Easy mini story. <laughs> okay, pretty cool. A, the, the legends are true. What kind of giant is building this sword? I don't know, yeah, the man whose sword this is is very large. Very large man. Yep. <laughs> you draw blood. Snakes! <laughs>there's just there's just endless traffic coming right now uh, and there's just a house right over there everything is soaked i've seriously been waiting for this moment for so long it's just that essence just got that essence man you know the essence i mean where are you going hey where are you going yeah, they're gone <laughs> at least one of them is there are six anchovies yeah yeah okay okay all right Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of feeling like going stealth camping in the rain. Huh, what a coincidence. I'm on the way to stealth camp in the rain. Uh, that really worked out, didn't it? That's exciting, I'm excited to announce that. You can clear, clearly see that I'm going camping. There's no, there's no secret about what is on my back. I got the, I got the, uh, the sleeping bag, the pack, I got the whole thing. So anybody that looks at me knows that I'm going camping. Now the secret is, uh, you know, when I actually jump in the woods. So we'll see how that goes when I get there. Never been to this spot before, obviously. And who knows if I'm even going to be able to camp there. If not, I got some, I got some backup options. Well, I'm gonna hop on the bike, get, get my little tush pedaling, and uh, enjoy some outdoors, finally, ugh, oh, finally. is a very open wooded area but I think I think I'll be able to find a spot 
I go deep enough. Okay, of course here comes the car as soon as I'm about to dip in, so let's just slow down for a minute. Looks like they're slowing down as well, it's perfect. Oh my god, are you kidding me? They're like behind me, they're like following me. Is this a joke? Like, are, you, are you serious? God with the with the cars as soon as I want to go somewhere. <laughs> All right. Because apparently anytime I'm thinking it's a good idea to pop in, it's not. Looks like there's that another, another little trail in the woods there. Yeah. Yeah, that's the noise. That's the noise you want. Okay. I'm gonna get off my bike here and pretend I'm looking at something. All right. There's just, there's just endless traffic coming right now. Okay, I'm just gonna go in. I don't know if this is where I'm going into camp. This is where I'm going in right now. Obviously not on the trail. <clears throat> well, it's nice and spacious back here. Oh, there's like a cluster of bricks or something. It looks like there was a structure back here at one point years and years ago. Whew. Okay, I don't even know. I get, there's like kind of a trail this way. Let's find out. Let's find out where this trail leads, eh? Oh man, those cars were comical in the way that they were coming. The one literally, instead of just passing me, I was way over to the side. It just slowed down behind me right when I was about to go into the woods. It, it's like it knew. What I kind of want to do is put my bike somewhere and continue on foot if I have to. I mean, this would be perfect if I weren't so obvious and close to the road. Who knows it comes back here. I'm right next to a college campus. I have just about two hours of light left. Not that that means anything in the rain in the woods. So I gotta move fast-ish. Oh man, I already have a, some blood trickling down my arm. I have no idea, <laughs> I have no idea where I, how I got that. Not really sure what happened there. It's okay, we'll clean that up in a minute here. This would be perfect. This would be perfect if I wasn't so close to, I mean, it's, it's easy to get back here. I was able to roll a bike. It's not really that stealthy. So I'm gonna leave my bike here for now and uh, just venture a little bit this way. Any path that I was following is gone. It's just sort of opened up. I mean, it's, it's, it's like an implied path. You just, it's not any, it doesn't look very trodden though. Okay. I know there's a trail over that way. And right here is a pond over that way. So I don't want to get too close to the trail or the pond, really. I want to be as hidden as possible. The pond is just a place where no trees grow right now. That's kind of what I'm worried about. Uh, this is my first camping trip since dislocating my leg a little over a month ago, dislocating my knee, rather. Um, so far, so good, no pain. Yeah, this is definitely a path I'm on right now all of a sudden. That sucks, because I was hoping up here would be <laughs> where I could camp. something. Probably just a squirrel. See, the problem with this path is um, I don't want college students jogging on it at night, like my first stealth camp, where I didn't realize, oh my gosh, look how overgrown this is. Nobody's going over there, especially not me. But uh, yeah, that guy that was running through the woods, jogging through the woods on my first stealth camp. 
yeah, this is just a clear cut trail, isn't it? Not that great. I can't go anywhere either. And this, I assume it's going to lead right to the trap, to the, to the main trail over here. Uh, not really. This camp right here, right in the middle of the trail. Kind of thought I'd hit the main trail by now. Maybe this opens up in a little bit and I can actually bring my bike up here. Mm. Really, this, there's no good place to even leave the trail. It's all insanely, insanely overgrown. I'm not, I'm not even going to be able to walk back there, let alone bring a bike. But I can see the woods up ahead. It looks like it opens up a little bit. And that was clearly somebody's bike tires squeaking in the rain. I know that sound. Uh, and there's just a house right over there. And here is another trail. Ah, oh, jeez. See, the woods doesn't look too bad over there, but there's a house right there. Oh man, where am I gonna camp? Okay, this might not be so bad back here. Kind of found a little offshoot off of the offshoot. It's kind of a trail here, but it's more like a deer trail than anything. Nobody's, run nobody's jogging through here. Definitely far enough away to not be seen. I think this might be it. I'd be able to put my hammock here. It's kind of a little clearing. My pants are soaked. That's okay. Ah, oh, geez, I almost want to leave my pack here. But that's a bad idea, just in case I can't find this place again. I don't really know this area too well. Okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna try for this spot. I can get my bike here easily, and it's pretty hidden. So I'm gonna go get my bike. Got my bike. I did end up leaving my pack here. It was okay. I just didn't, I, I felt like I already got away with bringing the pack with the sleeping bag into the woods. I didn't wanna have another chance of getting caught. Nobody's back here. But just like, uh, just like many stealth camps that, that I do. Seems as though someone has already had the idea of coming back here. Yep, got a little hunting stand up here. Kind of leads deeper into the woods. Whoa! Huh, this might be better to camp over here. My legs are soaked. Thankfully these pants are quick drying because I need them to dry quick. Just as soon as I stop walking through this soaked brush, everything's pretty soaked. Yeah, it's another ch cool little chill zone back here. Unfortunately, I think I can see a house over there. Yeah. Just like to do the little walk around, you know, make sure I'm not you know, 10 feet from somebody's homeless camp or whatever. But yeah, the camera's not going to pick that up, I'm sure, but there's a house over there. Too close. Too close. Whew. Oh, another hunting stand. Yep. All these woods, as far as I know, very illegal to hunt in. I don't feel too bad camping. We're both kind of doing something that's a little, you know, shaky on the I'm allowed to do this spectrum. Just don't think I'm gonna end up having a fire for two reasons. One, I, it's just, I can kind of see houses here and there around me and I don't want to have a constant light source flickering. And the second reason, did I say A, did I say one? Is this, is this two or is it B? Uh, B, I, it's been, been raining for like two and a half, three days, Ugh, steady, with almost no let up at all. So everything is soaked. 
and it would kind of just not be that fun to start a fire. I have the ability to, I have the technology, and I have the tools. So maybe if I set up and I get bored, but tonight just might be a chill little night relaxing in the, in the darkness, which is cool. Let's, uh, let's get set up. I'm not exactly sure. I think I am going to, hmm. This, these would be good for the hammock if it wasn't for that guy. So I might have to do these two trees, but they are kind of far apart. Hmm. Isn't that always the problem? You find almost perfect trees. But yeah, this wouldn't, with the tarp, this would be completely in the way. Oh, and then over here, there's not really, not really any options. Just kind of some brush. Very quiet back here. I'm kind of close to the expressway, but I can barely hear it. I don't know if the camera's going to pick up on that at all. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. 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 I think I basically have one option. Now, hopefully, I just don't. Uh, dislocate my knee again. Take another month off of doing videos. Okay, so I might have to clear some of this out because it's kind of prickery. I'm thinking that tree and this tree. Huh. check out the pack. Okay, so obviously I got my sleeping bag on top. It's a little wet. Uh, hopefully it didn't soak through the sleeping bag, but even if it did, it's a down bag, but it is hydrophobic down. So I guess we'll be testing that tonight, eh? Glory. Phew. Oh, okay. This is just kind of poking out. Got a poncho. Put that over my bike. Maybe use it as, put it over something. I mean, it's raining. You need, you need a poncho, right? Oh, we got a little bit. Let's take a peek. Oh, okay, okay, all right, okay. Brought my medium-sized tarp today. I'm not actually sure of the size of it, but it's a good one. Oh, I got a hoodie for tonight. We got some strings, some tie-outs for the tarp. Got my food, we'll get into that a little bit later. Really not too much else in there. I got my sleeping pad, my hammock, my possible pouch, some dry socks and shirts because I will be needing those. Some tissue for blowing my nose and blowing my butt birch bark in case I need it, which I probably won't. Yeah, that's about it. Just kind of paper towel really shoved in there and my hammock down at the bottom. This is either going to be like a really great hammock hang or like not that great of a hammock hang at all. But whatever. Keeping my eyes out for trail cams with the two hunting stands over here. I mean, the chances of there being trail cams rise exponentially, don't they? Neither of us are supposed to be back here doing this. So loud. Ooh. Oh, the rain is coming down upon my head, upon my bubble head. Professional. Hmm. I don't normally do it diagonally, but I might do it diagonally this time. tree the camera's on is going to be perfect for this. So I guess it's time to take the camera off this tree. So good to get out. Been cooped up with my leg elevated, plus some other stuff that I'll get into in a minute here. But the dislocated knee was predominantly why there was such a long hiatus in my videos. 
about what is it, six weeks now? You know, I've come out with a couple smaller stopgap videos, but last camping video I made was about a month and a half ago. So sorry. Okay. Finally got a tarp up. This is going to be good for now. I'll set up the other side when it stops raining a little bit. I just wanted to get everything out of the, out of the wetness. Probably going to have to redo that before I put any hammock up. It's not exactly covering where I have to go, but at least for now, before it gets a little dark, this is good. This is good. I like this. Nice and cozy. Finally sitting down. Feels good. Huh. Good chunk of water. I brought two liters of water out here with me today. Every time I bring one, it's never enough. I do stuff like that where, I mean, if I only brought this out here today, I'm like, close, just that one chug, kind of close to halfway done. You know, I need water for the rest of the night and in the morning. So two liters ought to do it. I've seriously been waiting for this moment for so long. I've just been so cooped up inside. Oh. It's, it's, it's like, uh, ah, there's a mosquito. Okay. It's like, uh, like just a wave of relief. Uh, it's raining, you know, and it's like a lot of people wouldn't like this. This is, this is heaven to me. I love, I love this. I'm not too bad. My legs are a little wet, but these pants dry quickly. Um, my shoes are wet, my socks aren't, but I have fresh socks for sleeping. And then in the morning, if they are wet, it's a, I'm, I'm a 17 minute bike ride from my, from my apartment. Um, that's kind of what I love, why I love these stealth camps, you know? I, I, I'm sure I will in the future get to where I'll like, venture here or go here or drive here or whatever. But as of right now, 100% of my stealth camps are me leaving my front door by foot or on a bike and just get and just get into the place, just walk into it or bike into it. And I try, I try to keep it within, um, uh, I think if I'm walking, I, I've walked as long as like an hour and a half, but if I'm biking, it's generally around 20-ish uh, minutes, you know, um, which is not bad. That's not bad. To li live in, uh, in a downtown area of a city and then ride your bike for, you know, 20-ish minutes and then set up camp, I don't know. It's a, it's a nice privilege, anyway. It's always a privilege to be out in the woods.
Okay, time for a space kitty. <clears throat> the first space kitty of the night is a uh, space kitty by Rohrbach Brewing. It's a space kitty, and I will be drinking it like a like a typical space kitty. So here we go. Ooh, ooh. Ah, pretty good. Not too bad after after the knocking around. Oh yeah. It's just that essence. It's just got that essence, man. You know the essence I mean. Mmm. That's pretty good. Whew. It's been a little while since I've had one of these. Huh. <sighs> That's the final piece of the puzzle right there. There is one. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. One mosquito has <laughs> found me. <laughs> out of out of this entire forest. Oh boy, here comes the rain. You know, all day, all day it's been, you know, just 100% to 75% rain. And then around the time that I was leaving, um, it was like, hey, you know, it's gonna dip down to 30, 25% chance, and it hasn't stopped raining. It's just been rain, raining just as hard. <laughs> I might, I might have, have to do that bug net. I have bug spray. I didn't bring the thermosel because I didn't really have room for it, but I did bring bug spray. I'm excited about that. Now might be a good time to say, uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe, maybe hit the little subscribe button there. Get more, get more of this uh, wacky stuff. I'm not always stealth camping. Sometimes I'm just regular camping. Just regular camping. Sometimes I'm not camping at all. Sometimes I do other things. I don't know. Take a look at the channel. You see, you, you see, you'll see what I'm talking about. But uh, you know, it'd be it'd mean a lot to me if you subscribed. Also, you know, there's a like button there. If you like the video, you know, I'm not. If you don't like the video, then then don't like it. You know. But for those of you who have been subscribed and wondering where the weekly videos went, now is where you will learn where the weekly videos went. If you haven't also been keeping up on the other videos where I talked about it. So first things first, I dislocated my left knee. Now I have pretty terrible knees. Uh, this is not the first time I've dislocated my left knee. It's not the second time I've dislocated my left knee either. It's maybe like the fourth or fifth. I've, I've kind of lost count. It happens so infrequently. It's every few years, but it's been a few times. The first time when I was 18, I'm 35 now. So it's just over the years, it's happened randomly. Um, so I, I was, uh, I was, it, it couldn't even, t c c don't wish I had a better story. I was li literally out for a walk with my friend. We had to get together with some people. I was drinking and that probably had something to do with it. I might've stumbled weird or like just my, I don't know, my leg gave out. We were walking, it wasn't even that long of a walk, maybe 45 minutes or so. And, uh, and I just, as we were walking back up to my place, I just fall to the ground. My buddy had no idea what was going on. It's actually, you, you, it's about the friend I was with was uh, Sean. He's in a, he's in a couple other videos from over the summer. Um, shout out to Sean. So, uh, he watched me fall. He was just like, dude, what happened? And I was just like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just gotta get home. So I got back and I was like, oh boy. Hopefully it wasn't as bad as I thought, even though I felt my kneecap leave its rightful place. And uh, and sure enough, it, it's, it, I was down for the count. And because I've been so active and I, I've built up a lot of the muscles, it took that much longer to to repair itself. That was, that was very close to a month of me uh, just down and out, sitting with my leg up. Um, I couldn't even get work. I mean, I got some work done, but I couldn't sit at my desk for extended periods of time with my leg bent and below me like I had to have it raised. It was just, it was painful and had, it was icing it all the time and it was just a big pain in the butt. But that's not the whole story. So after that was healing and I was, I was, oh my god, stick just fell. And I was uh, walking around, um, kind of okay, you know, I, I wasn't limping as much. Um, I thought maybe I could I could get out for just a regular camp. I booked a site at a regular campsite, um, paid it was like 33 bucks or something like that. And I was just gonna have just I just wanted to, to make a camping video. I want and I wanted to get out camping. I'm so sorry. Here, like walking and stuff. I need to lower my voice. Um, I just missed. I just need to get outside. I was. I was. You, you, I mean, I think everybody at this point knows what it's like to be inside for an extended period of time and how terrible that is. Um, now, unfortunately, the, the days leading up to that, 
I had this weird uh, sensation, this weird feeling, this pain on, on my right side. Um, it kind of felt like, uh, like at first it was just around where my pants are and I thought, well, I've been sitting down for for like a month. It's, maybe it's a bed sore, <laughs> you know, starting to form it. Just like where my pants kind of, you know, your pants dig into the, 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 the chunks a little bit. And, uh, and I kind of ignored it, but over the couple of days, it turned into almost my entire right abdomen area, my entire right torso. And it, the best way I can describe it is it felt like a sunburn without it being a sunburn. It wasn't a sunburn. No reason for it to be a sunburn. So I canceled the trip. I was like, I can't, this, this sucks, this hurts. I'm in pain, like what's going on? And uh, a couple days later, a rash appears. Now, I haven't been diagnosed, but I'm pretty sure I had a low key case of shingles, like right after my leg. Um, and then, it, 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 you know, it's very manageable, very low key. Um, didn't spread too bad. I had one patch of rash, like very smooth, maybe like that big. Um, and then like a couple of random little dots around. It wasn't that bad, but it was there. It was very there. It was very there. So, so I canceled that trip. Um, and while that was happening, I got a debilitating cold. So this is just, I mean, it sends me into the, the most sinking of spirits. My spirits, my spirits were sinking is, trying, is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, it was, it was terrible after spending so long inside, unable to even walk around. You know, I'm just sitting in a chair for like a month. And, and finally I'm able to walk around, but I still can't do anything because I got this weird mysterious rash and now a debilitating cold. So that took me another, another week, week and a half, almost two weeks at this point. I still have some of the rash, I'm not gonna show it, but it's still, it's still there. It doesn't itch, it doesn't burn, it doesn't hurt, but the, the, the cold is lingering just a little bit. I have just a little bit, <clears throat> just a little. Um, I haven't been drinking, I've been keeping it real low key. It's just these things are lingering, man. But today I had to get out. I just had to get out today. Um, so yeah, I hope that explains a little bit why I've been absent. And I plan on coming back strong. I have a lot of cool stuff this month that I want to do, that I need to do. Not only for my own well-being, but uh, to, for, for, for the channel, for you fine people. Um, I, 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 really, I really missed making small plots videos. <laughs> so yeah, I'm back. I'm very excited for something coming a little bit later in the month, probably, or not probably, towards the end of the month. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I want to say anything just yet. It's, I'm excited for it. And it's something that people have been requesting, and it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a bit, it's a bit of a collaboration that people have been, it's a hotly, hotly requested con con conglomeration, collaboration. <laughs> So, get ready for that. Shut up. Good lord. Should be getting dark here pretty soon. I, uh, I didn't bring my normal light completely by accident, just left it home. Uh, I have other lights. I should be fine. I always, I always bring a few. I always usually bring like my, my lantern, quote unquote, like the LED lantern, my headlamp, and just a random flashlight. So today I only have my headlamp and a random flashlight, no lantern, which kind of sucks. I, I really enjoy the lantern. I like the light it gives off. It's more like ambient than direct, but yeah, it is what it is. There's no reason or really even ability for me uh, to set up my hammock before I go to bed at this, I mean, if I set up my hammock now, I'm sitting where the hammock would go. There's no place for me to go if I have the hammock up, unless I want like just a hammock in front of me or something. Oh. Every time I think about not putting my bug net on, a bug comes by. But this is it, this is kind of it. Really easy setup so far, I just put up the tarp. <laughs> my bike is soaked. Uh, this is the third time, no, second time, I'll be riding home uh, on a wet bike. Not too, it's not too bad. It's not, it really isn't. Like once your butt gets used to the wetness, it, it, uh, it, it just becomes the same temperature as your body. And like I mentioned previously, I have a 17 minute bike ride home, so it's really not that big of a deal. I feel so great right now, I'm so relaxed. 
<sighs> Got this bubble. That's cool. Hanging out with this bubble. Let's go. Let's, let's, uh, shall we? No, no. There we go. And that's the other good thing about camping in the rain is the chances of other people walking back into the woods right now in the evening in the rain is slim. You can never say zero. I, I am in a populated area. It's hard to tell. Um, but there's a college right there with college housing. I saw, um, th when I walked that way, I saw a house. There's a house right over there. Um, obviously the hunting forts that I've seen, the hunting stands. So we are, there are people around. And, and I did come in here on, on a trail, you know, that's, uh, uh, that way about, um, I don't know, 50 feet or so, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. It's really hard to tell, uh, but I'm not too worried. And if somebody does come back, you know what? I don't even care, man. I'm just enjoying myself in the woods. This is what it is. This is what, yeah, you, are you going to walk up on a man in the woods? I wouldn't. If I saw a guy sitting in a tarp under a wood, in the wood, under a tarp in the woods, I wouldn't say, excuse me, sir, are you supposed to be doing this right now? Nobody's, nobody's going to do that. And if they do, hey, that's, that's just fabulous content. Oh, thank you to everyone who watched and enjoyed the uh, Thousand Subs special a few weeks ago, the animated special. Um, I had a lot of fun making that, you know, I, that's actually what I do by trade. I, I, I'm an animator, so it made it pretty easy. Didn't have to spend any money or hire anybody to do that, just made it. Uh, in 36 hours. So if it seems a little cheap and chintzy, that's because I did it. I made the whole thing in, in, in about 36 hours, about a day and a half, and that's including sleeping. Uh, I had the concept down, I had everything I wanted to do, like, up here. Um, but in the 36 hours, I wrote a quick script, I recorded all the lines, I edited the audio down to its final, uh, down to the final audio, and, uh, and, and then animated it. Um, you know, if, if, uh, if people want, I'll make more of those. I mean, I'm going to make more of those. It, it's fun to make. Um, and I think it's unique. Camping channels don't usually have animations on them. And that's, you know, probably for a couple reasons, but I bet one of them is that it's just not done. And so nobody does it. So, uh, hmm, I'm going to do it. Even though it didn't get all the views in the world, I'm going to, I'm going to, it's, it's, gets, you know, more of those coming. All right, anyway, uh, I'm going to sit here for a little while longer, finish my beer. I'll probably start eating pretty soon. I'm getting a little peckish. I've got trusty standby, some tuna creations, but I also have a bit of a twist to the tuna creations. So that'll be nice, or it won't. I saw like a head over there moving like it was looking and it's definitely a deer because I, I saw I mean I saw the deer first I thought it was a human oh hey I see him I wonder if the camera's picking up on that it seems as though it was trying to come this way and just seeing me I wasn't even making noise it's still, it's still coming towards me it's still coming towards me I'm gonna be quiet for a second Whoa! Oh, no, there it is. It's in a different spot. Oh, there's a few of them. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna, um, go over there. Where are you going? Hey, where are you going? Yeah, they're gone. <laughs> At least one of them is. Oh, that always freaks me out when I see movement in the woods like that. It's usually a deer, but... Could have been somebody coming back here, I don't know. Or hunting forts. Who knows, maybe this is somebody's, you know, their favorite place to camp too, who knows. Ah, I was just dry, now I got my little pants wet again. Ah, ah. Uh, well, too bad for them. So I was just kind of like looking around and uh, found another hunting stand. That's three in this kind of general vicinity. One right there. 
a little bit over there. And then the camera's not gonna be able to see it probably, but one, one up there. Um, all look equally new and equally old and equally used and equally unused. I really, really don't know. Man, this is my favorite month of camp. I'm so excited right now. You guys have no idea, or maybe you do. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is maybe October is also your favorite time to camp. Let me know down in the comments if October is your favorite time to camp, or maybe some other month. God forbid you love camping in the summer. Good God, it's the worst time to camp. But it's funny, it's the worst time to camp, but I still love it. You know what I mean? There's more deer running around over there. I keep hearing like rustling. And I'm being quiet. Like, to you, I'm just talking at a camera, but there's like periods of time between me recording and talking where I'm just silent for several minutes. I don't even know where my phone is. I've lost my phone. That's all right. Hey, there we go. <laughs> well, it's... Man, <laughs> this light uh, does not uh, like to stay the same brightness. I don't know what's going on. As soon as I start talking. All right. <clears throat> well, it's uh, dark now. Just kind of relaxing, you know how we do that. I'm getting ready, getting ready to eat. It's coming soon. I'm just sort of waiting till I'm like really hungry. I'm kind of hungry right now. I'll, I'll be really hungry soon. I've, I've had a little bit of food today, not too much. I heard like a, it's like a dog barking. To th I'm trying to hear how close it is. I don't think I have anything to worry about. Um, so yeah, just kind of chilling, enjoying. I don't know if this is the brightest this light goes. It's being kind of wonky. I don't know, whatever. I am dealing with a little bit of a drip, sorry. Um, I don't think it's because I'm leaking. You can see it there. I think it's because I keep, <laughs> keep dumping it dumping the water off this side and the edge is dripping down and now dripping on me. Um, so that's kind of it's kind of been an annoying problem. It's not too bad. But but uh, it is happening. It is wet on the inside of this tarp like big time. It gets very wet. Ah, so still hanging out, still kind of just enjoying the woods it's I'm gonna turn off my light so you can see it yeah definitely not um, it's kind of bright out here I don't think it's gonna get any darker with the hugely overcast sky and the fact that I'm in a highly populated area and all the excuse me all the uh, all the ambient lights are lighting up the sky as you can kind of see and in turn lighting up the area around me Still raining, hasn't let up at all. I, I have not stopped hearing rain. All right, it's time to eat, finally. So I've got some tuna creations. You know, you know, oh my gosh. Is that where my headlamp was sitting? Look at that giant red. Uh, okay, anyway. Uh, uh, tuna creations. Here we go. Got some buffalo. I also have some some of the barbecues. I, I think it's honey barbecue. Either way, I have it. But that's not all. I have some anchovies to add to it. Didn't think the tuna was fishy enough. Gotta add some fish. That's a twist, huh? That's a... I'm going to... I have I already have my tortilla tortilla on my lap and I'm gonna put some tuna in it and then I'm gonna lay two anchovies across it. So I get an anchovy in every bite. Just right across the top. Just zoop. two anchovies. Okay so I've got the buffalo tuna creations right there. 
on my lap and a half a tortilla. Don't need a whole tortilla. So it's time to add some anchovies. I'm gonna try to open this with one hand. <clears throat> All right. Oh God, sorry, spills on my pants. Oh God, I got anchovy juice in my pants. Good, good first second. Good first second here. Oh, you can see it glistening. Okay. All right, I got them open. I had to put them down on the ground because they are juicy, boy. I'm gonna leave them there. I'm gonna take a couple. Take these two. Put one. Damn it. Ah, oh. oh, they're so breakable. We got anchovies throughout the entirety of the thing. All right. Cheers. Ah, nom, 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 nom. Boy, that just dripped all over me. It's gonna get in my sleeping bag. Yeah, it's just an anchovy. I'm kind of bummed. Okay, buffalo tuna wrap with anchovies. Oh, and this uh, this tortilla is a is a cheddar jalapeno tortilla. So there we go. It's all fair. It's all fish. Could, can, honestly, can't, can't really taste the anchovy as much. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Can't complain. Hmm. That did nothing. My hand is juicy. I'm gonna eat this one. There we go. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I can kind of feel its bones crunching. Like tiny bones. Little tiny bones. Number two. There are six anchovies on the tuna. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. These these top two are kind of connected, but it's two, I promise. I kind of got to fold it up like this because it's real juicy and it's dripping. Let me hold it. Oh gosh, I can't lean forward and you can't see me. All right, it's going to be a whole thing. Ah! I just realized that folding over a tortilla that's, that I packed to be eaten long ways just means I'm going to be eating five anchovies in one bite. Well, oh, there's the six. Oh, no. Oh. Poking out, oh! I like devoured that can. I probably ate three while I was making this. You got two little anchovies left. Those, those they're, they're, good. They, they're, they're, they're good, they're salty little boys. Good salty little boys. I bought some weeks ago, because I thought I was gonna make a video weeks ago, but I'm glad I could finally eat them tonight. And that's dinner. <clears throat> fish and fish. Yeah, I don't want to bring anything I had to cook, uh, so I didn't. And there you have it, tuna, anchovies, and a wrap. And that's it. You can see in my pants where <laughs> the anchovy fluid leaked. It's pretty heavy, especially like right there. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> just anchovy juice. My legs tied up like that because I rode my bike here and the pants would get caught in the gears and I just haven't taken, well, there's no reason to take the rubber bands out. Okay, so some problems, not, I don't know, I don't really know, um, but this is, this is just all wet on the inside. At first I thought maybe it was because I was dumping this water out. You can see it kind of dripping, but I think it's just had enough and it's starting to come through. Um, not really sure what to do about this information. Don't have another tarp. I guess I'll just keep doing this. Before I go to bed, um, you can see how this is attached to that tree. I'm going to move it down on the tree. Oh, you can see my breath. <sighs> but, uh, this is, this, this can't happen. This can't be happening. I got water dripping off my flashlight. This is all, my whole flashlight's wet. That's a whole... That's a whole thing. This side's not too bad. It's really just all right here. And 
right here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I fixed the tarp uh, kind of configuration. The rain has not stopped, but it's let up a little bit. So I, I moved this down on the tree. I tied it up over there on that branch. I moved that closer and I tied that up over there. So I have a much, much, it's much more taut. The tautness, it's an impressive tautness we got going on here. The pants are not drying. <laughs> so it's just gonna be anchovy juice on them all night. I mean, it's oil. Okay, I've set up the hammock underneath the tarp after my reconfiguration here. Just kind of having a nice little sit, finishing up my last space kitty. And uh, bed is imminent. Nobody came back, nothing came back other than the deer several hours ago. Oh my gosh, this thing, this light sucks, man. <laughs> Good lord, I missed my LED lantern. As you can see, no bug net. I've made the call. I'm going to continue hanging out, listening to the rain, listening to a podcast, or having a podcast on, like paying 10% attention to it. But bed is soon. Bed is here. I am lying in my hammock. Nothing really else to say. Brought some snacks, didn't eat them. Uh, finished all my beers, just had some... Oh, oh gosh. God, this freaking flashlight, man. It just cuts out only when I'm filming. Only when I have a record pressed. It's the weirdest thing. I, I can't explain it. <clears throat> There's a couple mosquitoes around. I don't have my bug net, but that's fine. It's raining. I'm gonna fall asleep to the rain. It's still, re it, it's, it's incredibly relaxing. Oh, right, yeah, that's it. That's it. Just, uh, I guess I'll see you in a second. I had a great sleep. I think I woke up once or twice all night. And just immediately fell back asleep. Probably, probably snored my tukus off. I drank all the water I have next to me and my other bottles in my bag. Over there, I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. So, usually having to go to the bathroom gets you up out. This time is the opposite. I need to drink the water. I also have to go to the bathroom. Okay, got camp basically broken down. This is where my hammock was, where I'm standing here. And that's where my hammock is now, in the bag, in its own bag, ready to go. Another couple minutes and I'm gone. Okay, we're good to go. I'm all packed up, got the camera on the bike. Here's something walking around over there. Perfect time to skedaddle. Okay. <laughs> My head is wet already. Like, I look like I just stood out in the rain, probably. There's like a little bench thing. This was, oh my gosh, when I came back, how I knew where to go. <laughs> my backpack keeps hitting low hanging branches that then shakes the tree all over me. Okay, yeah. There's a house right over there. Yeah. There's that thing. Just a hose. I've seen a couple though. There's another one over there. I don't know what it's for. But there's a little bridge down here. Goes over this creek with a private property keep out sign. Yeah, that's that's where the houses are. 
Well, crap. It's a crazy paper wasp's nest. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. It's crazy though. It's a crazy paper wasp nest. Okay, so I'm at a fork. I can keep going straight. And that's the way I came in on. That's going to lead back out to the, the, the big forest next to the apartments and the road. But I think this other way just leads to uh, like a bike trail or another trail. So let's see. Let's play another round of check a random trail and hope it doesn't add to the time. But so far, we're losing. There's definitely more than a few opportunities for some future stealth camps out here. If you guys want to see more stealth camps out here, why don't you let me know in the comments below. I try not to return to the same exact spot, but you know, this is just one big woods. Okay. Yeah, I think this is the trail. I see power lines. Oh God! One more for the road, huh? One more low hanging branch. It's gonna sprinkle me with water. Here we are. Oh, okay. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Let's do a little small plots memory time right down here. Is where I did my first ever stealth camp. Yep, went in right here. It turns out I didn't need to because right up that trail is an access point that I didn't know about. So, ran through there. If you want to check out that video, it's the, uh, it's the one with the thumbnail that says, almost busted. Okay, let's get out of here. I just saw this dangling on my bike. This is my thermometer. I put it on my bike a few weeks ago because it, uh, the battery died and I was just, it was just hanging out. Completely forgot about it. It must've fallen down sometime and just got stuck in my bike. This has just been with me the whole trip. This thing's dangling between my tire and the bike. So, nice. <laughs> Well, I think that was a pretty tremendous small plot, if I do say so myself. Didn't really do much, kind of sat under a tarp in the rain drinking beers, but that's, I mean, I love doing that. And of course, uh, we got a bicycle, a cyclist coming down the way here. So I'll wrap it up. But thanks for watching Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Don't forget, new Small Plots every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. EST. I'm coming at you, I'm coming at you. We'll be backpacking through the city for two days together and we're going to be stealth camping each night. It's the tallest point in the city and it's this gorgeous wooded area. Let's go! Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin and today we're back in the city. We're back in the city for a little bit of a stealth camp. Now the thing about... Is that Sam Bananas? That's Sam Bananas with the banana flask. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody, look, it's Sam Bananas. I'm here. He's here, we're here. Welcome to Small Blocks with Kevin. <laughs> yes, and we're gonna be doing a little bit of a, I don't know, a backpack through the city to stealth camp for two days, right? Yeah. That's kind of good, I guess, what we're calling it. So yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be backpacking through the city for two days together, and we're gonna be stealth camping each night. It's gonna be a blasty blast. I'm super pumped. And he's got the banana flask, I got the banana flask. We got some space kitties. What could go wrong? Everything.
So the goal for day one is we're walking along the river here up into downtown. We're gonna take a little bit of time in downtown, maybe see the sights, see the hot Rochester sights. Anyway, we'll probably pop in a little bar, maybe have a little drink, and then it's time to go camping. We also have Beaver Chew. So uh, first up here, we have the illustrious Rochester Subway. If you want to ch uh, check out what that looks like more in depth, I got a video of it on the channel. I'll probably link it in the description, or I won't. Let's take a look-see, shall we? Oh yeah, that's, that's pea smelling. That's good. That is good. Oh boy. Oh, that is pungent. That is, that is quite pungent. <laughs> Yeah, well, there it is. It's kind of warm down here. It smells like a raccoon got into the copier. The raging power of the Genesee River. Yeah. Ah, Dixie Wig. Well, from the 90s. Here we are at Temple Bar and Grill. We're gonna attempt to get Sam a garbage plate. We're gonna see their kitchen. Uh, their kitchen open sign is not lit, but we're gonna we're gonna check them out anyway. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what's up. Let's go. Cheers. All right, cheers, buddy. Welcome to Rochester. Uh, here I have a uh, a big ditch hay burner out of Buffalo, and Sam, I believe you actually got. Another uh, beer from Rohrbach who makes Space Kitty. This is not Space Kitty, but it's the same brewery. So it's close. Okay. Not in any tasting way. What's that? Space Kitty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna uh, try it tonight for the first time, I think. He warned me. I think it's their best beer. All right. We got garbage plates. We got Sam's first garbage plate here in Rochester. You got these guys over here. Here, here we go. <laughs> well, Sam finished his garbage plate. I still have a little bit. Then we're going back to camp. Sam's a champ. He ate it. He's not here right now. Um, I'm just, I'm just talking about how what a, what a champ he is. What a, what a, cha what a champ. Eating is a uh, full garbage plate on his first try. Good, good for you, Sam. <laughs> Sam and I just finished our garbage plates. Sam ate the whole thing. The entire garbage plate, his first try. That's a true, that's a true champion. That's a true champion right there. So now we're on the way to our camp. I'm sorry if it's a little loud. There's some traffic that we're walking over. Uh, we have we have just about an hour, maybe a little less of daylight left, so we kind of got to book it. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get there and set up before the sun's totally gone. But maybe not. I don't know. What do you yeah. think? I don't know. We're cutting it close. We're cutting it close. If we got to go in the dark, we'll go in the dark. If we got to do it in the dark, we'll do it in the dark. Okay. 
we've reached the woods and I guess we're just gonna go in. We're obviously garbed out to camp, so anyone seeing us right now is probably pretty aware. Okay, I think if we go up this way, this should lead up to the summit. It's the tallest point in the city, and it's this gorgeous wooded area. Very clean, pretty much garbage free, except for that, these, pa these pallets. Looks like we have just enough time to get to camp, set up camp, and get a fire going. Interesting little tidbit about this place. Haven't actually told Sam this yet, but this used to be a cemetery. It's allegedly been completely exhumed in the uh, 1890s, but uh, I've seen screenshots of random graves. Okay. <laughs> and I think this gate we're coming up on right now might be some remnants of that. Exciting. So yeah. The records say that all the graves were exhumed, but how accurate are records from the 1890s when you're paying random people to do a job and they say, yeah, yeah, I did the job, sure, and you pay them. So you never know. Maybe we'll find some bones. Terrifying. <sighs> We're climbing a mountain. This is what, it's just climbing an urban mountain. It's not technically a mountain, it's technically a hill, but it's a mountain. You can see people go camping here. I don't know if this is where we will camp, but it's certainly a possibility. How are you feeling, Sam? I am feeling pretty whooped. Yeah! Look at that gorgeous view. Wow. You can really see it. Okay, so there's people up at the other site I know over there. Hi there. There they go. So yeah. Oh, somebody's yelling. This place is packed. Yeah, there are kind of a lot of people here. Uh, we could we could try exploring, finding another spot if we wanted. Because um, this doesn't have great hammock trees either. Should yeah. have thought about this. Or I could just sleep on the ground. So what do you say? Well, this is an option. It would definitely be good for a tent. I don't know where I'd put it. Well, we're, let's see the other places. All right, we're gonna try this I don't spot. Think spot. I just need a flat spot as big as me. Yeah, it looks like there's some flat spots. There, this could be camp. This is pretty good. Oh yeah. Have a fire like right here maybe or something. Oh, beer can. How dare they? Yeah, it's not. It's getting dark. Sam and I have chosen our spot. It's a little off the trail. We're not gonna get the, the view the whole time, but we can go walk around and do whatever. We're just trying to stay out of the way because obviously people use this area to run and bike and all that stuff. We're not anticipating too many people coming back in the woods, but it is a possibility. This is a, it's a very, very urban location. We have limited time to set up and get wood and get a fire and all that stuff, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. That little climb just killed us. Can't wait to sit down and have a beer. Yeah. Have another beer. Oh my god, what's going on? Alright. Twist it up. The camera can't see this, but this is a fantastic spot because of the hammock breaks. I just tumbled down a mountain. This is gonna be, this is gonna be fun. Flap, flap. Yeah, I was a tent camper for so long and then I tried hammock and I just, I just sleep so well. It's hard to go back. That's the other thing. It's like you sleep well in a hammock. Oh, here's people coming. It's a father and child.
Hi there. Yeah, as you can see, the, probably saw the people walk up there. This is uh, used. <laughs> It is supposed to get super cold tonight. Yeah. The coldest night of the year so far. I think we're doing good. Yeah, I think so. Okay, we got camp set up. Time to have a little fire. You're gonna you're gonna see the process. Where is the kindling? It's over here. Let's get it. Let's start a little bit of fire here. The easy way, the easy and kind of lazy way, it's kind of a little uh, mismanaged here, these sticks. Usually I like to separate them between like pencil lead, pencil and thumb size, but they're kind of all just mixed together. And that's, that's just how we're doing it. I don't know if this is kindling or just random sticks that were on the ground. Well, it seems like it's it's taking off. Yeah, pretty good so far. Okay, we got the fire started. Very good. I'm gonna do a little pan around, and I think it's gonna be pretty apparent how many lights are around us. No, oh, maybe not. There's a few. There you can see a few. But yeah, we're. Uh, we're in the tallest point in the city of Rochester right now, just having a fire in the woods. There's a little trail over there uh, that people have been walking and riding their bikes and running on. And well, they've seen us, every single one of them, they've seen us. What do you think, Sam? I think it's time for a little space kitty. Yeah. Doing a little space kitty. Well, it turns out I somehow broke one of my space kitties. I think I was holding it in a bag. Uh, outside of my pack and I must have hit like a flower pot or some something on the side of the road just briefly And I, I remember hitting it a couple times. I didn't think it would break uh, But it did so I lost one space kitty. There was beer all over the bottom of the bag Thankfully, it was not in my pack. It was outside my pack, but I Have three more and a little bit of the banana flask, Ooh, oh, banana flask. The moment you've all been waiting for the moment we Tra got trading, uh, trading, uh, <laughs> uh, quintessential channel booze yeah. intakes, <laughs> banana flask. All right. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Well, that's tasty. Screwball peanut butter whiskey. Hmm. First time I've ever had it. Very nice. Have you ever had this monkey shoulder? No, but I've heard of it. You want to try it? Sure. It's like a scotch. Here, do you version. want some of this? I've had that like a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, it's got like a malt. Yeah, that's, that's like smoky almost. It. Yeah. That's delightful. And then time for the moment of truth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Should I smell it first or not? Yeah, well, the par Should part of the joy it? is, well, I mean, you can't help but smell it. You're going to, okay. when you bring it up to your mouth, you're going to smell cat urine. Okay. It's okay. just, it's, it's going to happen. Just roll with it. Okay. It's not going to taste like cat pee. Okay. It tastes delicious. It's a very strong beer. Okay. But it smells like It's cat. a hoppy IPA. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna smell it. I can't stop myself. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. I wonder if my nose is smelling it. Oh no, he's not smelling it. The jig is up. It doesn't actually smell like anything. It's been alive the whole time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is like quite the elaborate ruse. <laughs> yeah, just the whole time. <laughs> just to get me on that. See, it's funny. I'm actually getting a little bit of cat pee, and I, I drink it enough to where I don't normally smell cat pee anymore. I can get like a little bit of cat pee, but. I uh, actually almost prefer Space Kitty not out of the fridge. Like, I like it kind of a little bit warmed up for that reason. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why it's my favorite camping beer, because, you know, you don't always have refrigeration. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so if you have a beer that you can drink room temperature. Yeah. But now we're getting cold, so it's, like, easier to keep your beer cold. 
<laughs> yeah, so. yeah. But then you're like freezing your butt off, and you're like, man, do I really want an ice cold beer? You know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's I like it. Double IPA. Yep, it's a doubler. Oh, Citra. Citra. It's got a. It's got Cit Yeah, a Citra double IPA. It's also got like Galaxy hops. I think it's where the space comes from. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, cheers. Your first cheers. space kitty. Cheers. Very exciting. He hates it. No, it's good. <laughs> I thought it was gonna just be like, you ever have Malort? No. You never heard of it? No, I've never heard of it. It's like a uh, Chicago, like a liqueur or something, but it's oh, just okay. like disgusting. <laughs> it's like, you ever have Frenette? No, I'm not a liqueur uh, knower. I don't okay. really know much about okay. them. Frenette's like a lot more popular and people like it and it's more of an, like, an acquired taste, but it's really bitter. Okay. So, but Malort is like really bitter, a couple of my friends are, are from Chicago. Okay. And they will hate. It's like, apparently, it's like a Chicago thing, but you you give it to people as like a prank. Oh. Because <laughs> so, it tastes like. like hey, try this amazing thing. Yeah, it's a terrible. Malore. Huh. Yeah, we're rocking and rolling here, bud. Yeah, it's a nice little fire. It sure is. All right, we're out here. Fire's roaring strong. You can see it and everything. There it is. It's 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 a it's a hot. It's a hot. It's hot. Kind of just chilling around the fire. Yeah. So I'd, I'd like to go for a little walk, maybe. There's a uh, you can kind of see those lights. That's uh, this is again the uh, the tallest point in Rochester. So all the TV and radio uh, stations have towers right over there. Um, they're all lit up. We're right right next to them. Like, I don't know, 100 feet or so. Not not too far. I don't know feet. Maybe it's four feet. Sam, are you ready for the adventure? Yeah, I got my uh, situation happening. and Sam has his situation happening. I think we're good to go. <laughs> I got, my, I got, we're stealth camping. I've got my two headlamps. And two flashes between the two of us. Oh, we're, we're stealth incarnate. Okay, so we're walking towards, there's a bunch of satellites and, and uh, radio and TV towers over here. It's very illuminated. And we're, uh, we're just gonna check it out. We're just gonna walk, we're just gonna, I mean, there it is. We're walking to it, to it aren't we? We're coming up. We're coming up on the antennas, on the satellites. Huh. Stretches as high as the heavens. Tickles the clouds. Wow. Oh my god. The moon is tight like a tiger. <laughs> Tigers are known for their yeah. for their tautness. Yeah. <laughs> All, right, oh. good. All good. Totally fine. Kevin just almost fell down. So I'm going to stop and I'm gonna uh, pay attention to the trail so I don't almost fall like Kevin did. Just walking around the antenna area here. Yeah, there's graffiti everywhere. People, people love to paint. Sir, excuse me, sir. I didn't mean to disturb you. That's hot. Okay, so like, See if we can like stand side by side so like they can see the difference. Here, let me side, stand. To no, like... no, no. Well, yeah. Go. You have. Okay. So look. Doesn't doesn't this look like the uh, the two bad guys in Home Alone <laughs> or the two bad guys in 101 Dalmatians? Either one. <laughs> oh my God. No. Sam. <laughs> oh God! Don't scare the people like that. Okay, well, yeah, you can plainly see these are all houses around us. We are in no way hidden from anyone for any reason. I mean, here's a, 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 a facility. There's a man. There's all sorts of things. I'm thrilled about all of them. Yeah, lights that way, too. I'm, uh, we're surrounded. There's no... Eh, okay, I'm, I'm fine with it. You're like basically like an... Uh, uh lame jackass kind of 
<laughs> yeah, like we're somewhere we're not supposed to be, but we're instead of riding, yeah, <laughs> instead of riding shopping carts down the hill, yeah. we're just we're just looking at it. We're just looking at the hill. And that's just a, a facility. It's connected to these three towers here. This is X Files. Little bit, eh? This is X Files. Everything is X Files that we're doing. Everything we're doing. Just, just yeah. Is X Files. Not all of it. We're terribly lost. Anyway, we're no. We're never getting home. Oh, Lord. All right. Well, that was a fun little jaunt into the unknown. We're going to return to the fire and hopefully not uh, fall down the mountain in the process. So uh, my, my ridge line wasn't so ridgy after all. And uh, here's, here's the result. Uh, thankfully, Sam was so gracious as to lend me some more paracord so I could repair this blunder. Oh boy, what a blunder. So here's the deal. My ridge line just broke. And when I say ridge line, I mean the uh, two ropes I tied together to make a ridge line. Well, that didn't, that didn't do so well. So I uh, had to improvise. Luckily, Sam let me use some of his paracord to uh, tie a new ridge line. And now it's all good. The, the tarp's not doing too great. I'm touching it. I'm touching the tarp. I mean, it's right here in the hammock. It's not, it's not a fantastic experience for anyone, but hopefully it doesn't rain and we'll be all good. So unless anything crazy happens in the night because we're, well, frankly, just right in the middle of the city <laughs> and anything could happen, uh, well, then, you yeah, I'll see you in a second. Pretty restful night last night. Didn't hear anybody. Just kind of fell asleep to the sounds of the city and a slight breeze. It was nice. Okay, so here's the trail we came in on. Some stellar views over there. And that's where we camped. Totally hidden from everybody. Nobody knew, nobody saw us. There's Sam. Hanging by that log. We're all packed up, ready to continue the adventure. Uh, this is a pretty, pretty, pretty picture perfect small plot. We got, uh, we didn't actually camp here on the, the tallest part of the hill, but we camped right over there and that, that was good enough. It was a good spot and it was an enjoyable spot. It's a good spot and a good plot. <laughs> this guy knows. I'm not going to, but I was thinking about naming the video Camping with Camping with Sam Bananas. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. And don't forget, new episodes of Small Plots every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. EST. That's just the, that's the cardinal time. That's the time that Small Plots comes into your life weekly. And this is only part one of this video. We're about to go out and continue this uh, urban backpacking adventure. So tune in next week for part two. Okay, so a couple interesting things here. We're at this, uh, this mountain biking area uh, right near where we camped. Level 10 mountain biking. And we've got these tubes coming out of the earth. Almost like they're venting something down there, huh? Interesting, this has clearly been, let me back up, been uh, dug out by a shovel. And up here, maybe a grave. This was an old cemetery, allegedly exhumed in the 1890s, but it could be a marker, I'm not really sure. If you know what that is, why don't you let me know? That's the, that's the thing to do. Onward! Onward. All right, well, Sam and I are now at the South Wedge Diner, looking homeless. Put the camera back on me. He's got a wave. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're just two homeless dudes 
looking for a shower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, and again today I'm joined by Sam Bananas, camping with Sam Bananas. This is actually uh, day two of our two-day urban backpacking stealth camping adventure. Uh, we just got some breakfast at this diner. And we're about to hop in an Uber to another part of the city so we can continue the journey elsewhere. Uh, so that's gonna be fun. Join us! No, it's a, you join us, I'm not asking. We're sitting here waiting for an Uber, and then we're gonna head to the next spot. I'm rejuvenated, I'm pumped. Woohoo! <laughs> Waving to your own camera. Yeah, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that sign said pants. <laughs> pants. Pants. All right, here we are in the Uber going to High Falls. the High Falls District here in downtown Rochester, New York. And it's called the High Falls District because these falls are so high. It's hard to tell if we're beating the rain or if it's starting to rain right now and we're about to get rained on. But either way, it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. And uh, we're just kind of going to explore the area. Hopefully the rain doesn't prohibit us too much. We're checking out the area. Maybe we'll see some fellow stealth campers. When I was young, my dad and I were standing on that pedestrian bridge and a dead cow went over the falls. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Okay, we gotta get away from this mist from the falls. It's starting to get wet. Get a little wet here. Uh, there's a trail that we're gonna try and take down to, uh, you know, some, some place where some other people are stealth camping. Not a place I think we should stealth camp, but you know, people are doing it, uh, you know, permanently. So we're going to check that out. Is that just like a, is that just like a person right there? Or is it just clothes? I can't tell. I'm walking towards it. Looks like it's just clothes. Ew. Great. Well, we're gonna have to step over somebody's things here if yeah. we wanna get over here. Oh God. You can see the wood below my feet. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up on that. Uh, we're walking on an old railroad. Oh, geez, there's somebody back here. There's like straight up a couch. Hmm. 
Okay. This is not the way that I've come down before. I don't know how I went down there earlier. Not getting great vibes. I feel like we're... <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is definitely someone's, someone's home here. Yeah, for sure. Get lulled to sleep by the sound of the falls every night. Yeah. It's a better look at the... Uh, the railroad ties are still in the ground. Yeah, this is a way easier way to get here. <laughs> Just walk around this way. Yeah. Home sweet home. Yeah, this little area back here is uh, it's like pretty easily connected with the park. We walked through uh, on, a, on a little trail, but we didn't need to. You can kind of see the park that we walked in from is right here. And there's some more uh, sleeping quarters up there. Okay. And here we are, just back out into the, the park, the natural park. I've lost Sam. Maybe he's taking a nap on one of those inviting looking mattresses. Sam, I've walked away and I thought I lost you. But it turns out I was just facing the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is awfully sky. We're trying not to get caught in the rain, but we're, we're getting caught in the rain here. Uh, we're here still in the High Falls neighborhood. There's Brown's Race next to us where uh, used to run through some mills. And coming up right here, if we can get past these obstacles, there's a, there's, there's a mill, there's a giant mill and we'll, we'll see it, we'll see it together. All of us, me, Sam, and you. It's a demand. Watch it. You will see it. You will see it. And there it is. A giant mill wheel. The water would come underground through the underground race and come out here and hit the wheel and churn that flower, baby. And he used to be able to get down there until this place became apartments and a restaurant and now you can't go down there anymore. Mm. And it's very, I mean, you can tell it's not like in the best condition. <laughs> in the 90s, they tried turning this area into a, an entertainment district and it never caught on as an entertainment district, but there's a lot of offices and stuff here now. So it's not total, not a total loss. Ghost town though. I mean, it is a Saturday. Yeah, but it looked like these buildings back here were occupied by. Yeah, th these are all, all, I think all the buildings here stuff. are occupied. Yeah, this is, there's like a restaurant and apartments and offices. Oh, there's a restaurant back here. It, yeah, it's, it's more of a dining hall. I'm not really sure to be honest with you. You have on this building, this old, I don't know if the camera's picking up, this, uh, this uh, pulley, this pulley system with the hook that would bring it up to deliver to various floors when this was a warehouse or factory. This, this is uh, probably one of the oldest neighborhoods in Rochester, if not the oldest neighborhood. Water used to run through here. You can see the rain sprinkling down on what's left of it. And, uh, and then it would run down here, which I hate walking on, but uh, it, would, it would flow like rushing water down there. Now it's just slabs, just some slabs here, slabs.
one single flower. One sad, solitary flower. Oh, what a cry! Say I'm getting the shots. Getting the tight shots. There's, there's, she's getting the tight shots too. Everyone's getting the tight shots. All the shots. A lot of a lot of cameras here in, in this area. This guy just rolled up and like sat down near where we were. I think he thinks we're homeless and he was just gonna join like our our ho our homeless brigade or something. I don't really know what's going on there. There's the tower to the incinerator. Yeah, I think they're almost done. It looks like a stage piece in The Last of Us. <laughs> it really does. Sneaking around. You gotta jump over and yeah. shoot the people. <laughs> Well, I don't know how apparent it is, but Sam and I are starting to get into some sketchier territory. Uh, we're gonna have our heads on a swivel. Yeah. We don't wanna get mugged, we don't wanna have any problems. I'm not really anticipating it, but this isn't a place I'm normally walking around for, lu for lu the luxury of it. You know what I'm saying? This is it? I guess this so. This is like a bar. Yeah, I've never been inside here. This is interesting. Are you happy You don't have to Or no. Just soda. Just soda. Oh man, how old is this candy? Good lord. Give me, give me a guess. Give me your best guess in the comments how old that candy is. Huh? See, yeah, they don't serve alcohol here, but it's, uh, it used to be a bar. Really great Mexican food here at Burrito Urbano. Uh, highly recommend it if you're in the Rochester area. Here we are in Rochester's teeny tiny Little Italy. I only know it's called Little Italy because there's a there's a graffiti on the other side of there. We got a star over here. Rochester! Rochester! Rochester. <laughs> Going into the wine store over there. There's a saloon next door. And then on the other side here, next to the, the Flat Iron Cafe, is uh, the mural denoting that it's the Little Italy Historic District. So I don't know why it's Italy. I, I don't really know why it's Italy either, Sam. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it, it just is. They got a That's lot. All. <laughs> they got a lot of those pawn brokers over in Italy. All those car doors. Oh, and this, bit of a truck, bit of a bed of a truck here. Anybody home? Who did you go and stuff out of the garage? Show me the situation. I don't think so. Interesting old building here. Doesn't appear to be in use. Know what it once was. Ooh, look at that. It's like a mop room or something in there. Interesting. Well, I think I could just set my hammock up right here. I have a fire right there. 
This is gonna work out. It's gonna work out nicely. No littering? No littering? Well then what's that? Can't believe it. That sign ought to fix the litter problem. Make just make littering illegal. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so we found some beer at a random Walgreens. I got some white claws, and Sam got, oh, what'd you get? Uh, um, but, 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 backs. Backs, backs, he got some backs. So we're ready to go. Uh, Sam's getting an Uber. We have, uh, it's about like 40-ish wa minute walk. <laughs> Hi! About a 40-ish 40, 40 minute walk. Uber. He's calling, he's getting the Uber coming. So we can kind of just get to camp, have some time. Uh, don't want it to be like last night where we were showing up to camp at dark and then scrambled and everything like that. So we're gonna have a nice, a nice little time to camp in the daylight. Uber is on the way to pick us up right now. Yeah, I don't smell. I can't smell you. No. All good. The Uber just dropped us off. We're in a very different area now, a little more industrial, kind of commercially, industrially, commercially, suburban-y kind of area. Uh, the path for the Erie Canal is right over there and we're gonna hit that and walk down it just a little bit and pop into the woods, do a little bit of stealth camping. Yeah. 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 It's total excitement. Wave, wave to the camera. <laughs> Yeah, somebody riding their bike down. This isn't where we're camping, but we just saw this stairwell down into the woods. So we're going, we're going to go check it out. Down up there is the canal. It's really leading down into the canal. Seemed pretty stable. I wonder if people go fishing down here. It's a sign with a lot of information on it. Just some wood stairs. Would you look at that? I'll be. It's just stairs down to a chill zone. Yeah. People hang out and fish and leave their garbage. That's pretty cool. And here's the Erie Canal. Looking nice. Ni nice and murky. Yeah, can you, can you have a glass? You know, when I uh, was in sixth grade, I drank canal water. It was, <laughs> it was gross. Oh, man. Yeah, it was bad. That doesn't seem like a good idea. No. Taking yeah. five. We're taking a five. Take a five. All right, we're going to take five and then continue on the journey. Tur taking five. Taking five. Taking five, everyone. Taking five. Okay. We're, uh, we're off the trail. Here's the canal path. And we're about to walk in this, into this little plot of woods here. There's a fence, but it ends right there. And we're gonna, we're gonna have a nice, have a nice little camp. Yeah, how, how does that uh, have ourselves a little stealth camp? Oh, skulls. Right off the bat, we got skulls. Oh, uh-oh. Big old private property sign. Well. That seems like a friendly sign that I don't really want to mess with, if I'm being quite honest with you. Ooh, that does not sound good. I don't like the possibly shot part. Nope. Lame. I guess we'll have to figure something else out. I'll look at the map. We'll find yeah, something. We'll figure something else out. Yeah, so we're right on, right on the edge of the city. There's the sign for the city. We are on the opposite side of it. We may have another way in the woods here. Uh, 
But we have to wait because there's a man shambling down the path towards us. Literally shambling. Just shambling. No, it turned out, it turned out that was a woman. I certainly didn't tip him because I never had the option to. Huh. I never used either. I don't know if I tipped mine from yesterday. I should do that. We're good. We gotta tip our Uber drivers. <laughs> and we're gonna try to try to duck in the woods over there and hopefully there's not another uh, no trespassing sign. We don't want we don't want to we don't want to cross one of those. It's thick, but it's the least thick of all the other right. options. Pushing through, oh my gosh. Okay, well I'm in. What do you think in there already? I think it might we might have potential. Okay. Hmm. Kind of drops off. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess what we're gonna do, it's another half hour walk, but uh, we're gonna head further down the trail and uh, hit up a stealth camping spot that I've already been at. So at least we know we have a space to go. Who were you there with? I was with my buddy, Sean. Hi, Sean. We're here on this uh, pedestrian bridge over this railway here. These woods over here are connected to where we're going. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting pretty close to where we're going. To kind of see the sun not setting but it's getting down there we got a couple hours yeah i, f I frankly don't even see it on the, on the screen <laughs> but there's a city there's a downtown over there i promise you I saw another trail on the way walking to the to the other stealth spot there definitely is potential here but how much time we're going to spend I'm trying to find it on a gamble yeah true you know because now we're getting to a point where, where time is starting to... Yeah, we are running, here. Are running out of daylight. All right, yeah. we're out of here. Okay. This place is a dump anyway. Yeah. Ooh, idiots hang out here. Yeah. Dumb yeah. idiots. This is an idiot jerk stealth camping place. Yeah, nobody wants to camp here. <sighs> okay. <sighs> we've walked. We've explored a little bit. And now we're here at a de facto stealth camping spot that I've been to before and know we can camp unless somebody else is there right now. We don't know. There was evidence of potential camping last time I was here, but it looked like it was a while ago. So pretty simple walk in. Okay. Oh, glory. Oh. Old home sweet home. Oh yeah, those are cans I forgot to pack out last time. I'll be able to pack them out today. Nice little picturesque creek. Plenty of wood to burn. Some flat ground. It's a good spot. It's a, it's a, it's a good spot. Finally, I'm exhausted. We've been walking all day. Even taking the Ubers. Did a lot of, a lot of walking today. I think this is about where I had my hammock last time. Maybe. Oh my God, Sam Bananas. Oh, no. he's, he's approaching at a rapid rate. Home sweet home, here we are. Time to set up and relax. This is it. This is it. Beautiful. I love it. This totally, totally works. Okay, time to set up camp. I'm a little, little wet from sweat. My jacket's a little bit wet. I'm gonna hang it up to dry. It's not too bad, just a little damp.
here's my Cuban sandwich from breakfast. Let's see how it's looking after being carried around and opened and smushed. Not too bad, actually. Spring roll. Oh, still warm. It's not. And you know, when you're done watching this video, why not uh, check out the channel? I actually have uh, another stealth camp here in this very spot. It's, uh, I think it's, I believe it's called uh, Stealth Camping Next to Abandoned Homeless Camps. It wasn't too long ago. Check it out. I'm so hungry. I can't stop eating. Oh, oh, it's glorious. As per usual, we got the uh, Kamakuli UL weather shelter. This is how I put it away this morning. Pretty good. Might need a ridge line first. A mosquito? A mosquito just flew into my face. It's like the upper 40s Fahrenheit. Uh, that's, not that's not supposed to happen. Did not expect to see mosquitoes. Oh no. Just a couple. As you can see, the, the tree situation isn't amazing, but it works. The tarp is basically stretching the entire length across, and it's not incredibly tall. It's, it, it'll work, it'll be okay. Okay, basically all set up just kind of exploring around the area. I've done this in a previous video at this same spot, but I just kind of want to show it again. Some uh, remnants of a homeless camp. There's trash everywhere. Uh, here's a um, tent pole bag. Somebody's, somebody's been tenting it up. There's some kind of YouTuber back here taking footage. <laughs> Inception. I don't even know if that fits. Yeah, that doesn't. No. <laughs> that doesn't, that doesn't <laughs> not really, uh, not really too much more over here other than the, the junk. There's a cooler over there, and a full camp over there. It looks like, dude, dude, come here. Just so that's the mission we're on back here. I think there's a full setup camp over there. Really? I think so. That looks like a, t a big tent back there to me. Yeah. Looks like a red tent. I can't tell if anybody's there. There's a tent over there. Hmm. I mean, it's too late to move now. But I'm gonna get a little closer. That looks like a U, like it's currently being occupied, maybe. There's like a trash bag out there. You know, now that I look at it, it looks like there, there was a tarp on it that is like to the side, like it blew off in the wind and nobody fixed it. Yeah, and it's, and it's open, whatever that means. Hello?
No movement. It appears to be abandoned. Yeah, it looks abandoned. But very used. Yeah, it's got, oh, it's got a uh, keep out on camera. Okay. Eater rat risk. Looks like somebody's back here hunting. There's like uh, some hunting garb in there. Chairs. Chairs. Which we could really use, but I don't think we should mess up. No. Yeah, I don't really want to touch. Keep out. Uh, I don't believe that we're on camera. I don't believe that we are on camera either. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody's, t somebody's spending some time. It's, it's gross and wet in there. Like, nobody's been here really recently. Right. I don't think. There's like something in the corner there that could be used as a weapon. Like an old wrench or something. I got, I got a mask. Oh, that's good. Hmm. I mean, this is how people set up to hunt, you think? I mean, Maybe. It's very homeless -y. What's the... It does. Oh, gas can. It feels like there's something in it. I don't know if it's gas. Yeah. This is wild. A little gas can action. You have to see a stump. Uh, yeah, we're looking for stumps too. I don't see any stumps. Just this unnerving tent that's close to us, but I wanted to come up on it in case there was somebody here. Because then we'd, we'd probably have to find a new spot. <laughs> don't trust weird people that sleep in the woods. <laughs> so, definitely a used area. But I think we're okay, especially at this point in the night. It's going to be dark relatively soon. And uh, hope, hopefully nobody's like, Oh, that's right! My red tent! Definitely got to go to that right now here at 9 o'clock at night. That's the time. That's the time for me. <laughs> yeah, so rain-soaked couch cushions and the, the bottom was retaining water. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely not a spot anyone's hung out. I mean, maybe this summer, but like not super recently. Yeah, I don't believe that we were on camera. I looked around, I didn't see any trail cams. Yeah. And it's not like somebody has like closed circuit <laughs> cameras out here. Right. To be like, hey, someone's at my spot. At most, there's maybe one hidden in a tree. And in like a month when they check it, they'll be like, hey, two guys came up and looked. Well, that's good to check out. Pop the spawn here. Okay. <clears throat> We're, he's getting into a lime. Yep. Lime clump. You know, I drink a lot of, you know, craftier stuff on small plots, but Truth be told, I enjoy a good white claw from time to time. Yeah. I'll admit it. I don't, I'm not ashamed of it. Gets you right. Gets you good. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Drinking your, your Bex there? Yeah, I got a Bex. The uh, Pickens was a little slim. Yeah, we had to buy uh, beer in the hood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we went into a Walgreens. I don't... Is that where we got the beer? Yes. We got the beer at a Walgreens. Yeah. Okay. Even, even that was better choice than some of the little... Marts. I, I yeah. filmed inside inside one of them. Uh, it's you know it's a typical inner city mart. Right. But it was like the beer the beer cooler was open and, and disarrayed. It was, yeah, just like a piles of beer, <laughs> piles of beer, loose beers, all and... of brands that nobody wants to drink. They yeah. have to drink. It's not a want. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, cheers, buddy. Cheers. <laughs> spill spill it on the pants. Yay! <laughs> um, 
And that one kid that was ringing us out, I don't know if he's a kid, he was maybe yeah. max, he couldn't have been more than 2021. 20, yeah, yeah. But he was saying, oh, you guys look like you're going hiking. I've always wanted to go hiking, you know? Yeah. And he's like, I don't know if I can do it. That's when I told him to just find a trail that was one mile yeah, or just less, go, you know? Yeah, especially around here. There's so many, I mean, we walked a uh, half hour on a paved trail here, right. you know, down the Erie Canal. Like there's paved trails, there are unpaved trails, or just walk around the city like Sam and I did today. Yeah. <laughs> this is really the first time we've sat down. Right. Since, since <laughs> well, in the Uber, we sat down. Well, I guess other, bit. yeah. But mostly we've been on our feet for the most part, yeah. 90% of the day. Yeah, really, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna drink these beers, get a little fire going, um, warm up, mm -hmm. dry up. I'm a little, uh, little moist for You're a little walk. Damp. Not yeah. too bad, not too bad. Yeah. I've been worse. I've, I've, I've dried up a lot since getting here. But yeah, yeah. Here, here it is, night number two. Uh, camping near weird. Whatever that tent was over there with the with the poorly written warnings on. We're a little Blair Witchy bag. Here. It's a little Blair Witchy. Just just a little bit. It is. Yeah. Um, quite an interesting day. Yeah. Quite an interesting trip. Indeed. This is like the payoff part. Yeah, right? Little little campfire, little couple suds. Yep. You know? Yep. Um, this is like the crescendo. Other than traffic noise, it's really peaceful back here. And even yeah. with the traffic noise, it's, yeah. got, it's pretty peaceful. It's here. not bad. Yeah. I don't know how it'll turn out on the audio, but we'll see, I guess. Yeah, I'm trying to talk loud, uh, but... That guy, who knows? Yeah. We could be sitting here with the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <No nothing>. yeah. <laughs> All right, well cheers everybody. We're gonna get this uh get this fire rocking and rolling and um get to business of you know business. Yeah. Its warmth is imminent. Yes, yes, and uh we got food to eat. Oh yeah, I'm very excited about the food. We got the burrito. Yeah, we got I got he got a burrito, I got some tacos that we bought earlier at burrito urbano, and we're gonna eat those and it's going to be Pretty good. Very yes. excited about that. Very excited. Very excited. Cheers, guys. Cheers. It's fire starting time. Sam's over there. He's gonna. Uh, he's making a, a, a ring for the pit out of, out of logs. So in the meantime, I'm gonna I'm gonna light something on fire. This lighter is pretty cold, so it's kind of having an issue. And I don't have a ton of birch bark, but I think it'll be enough. That, that, whatever. This other side. Come on now. There we go. Looking good, looking fine. Sweet berry wine. So far, it's going pretty good. Time for some bigger boys. Ooh, that's hot to stand above. Going along, going along pretty good. It's a fire now. I'm confident it won't go out. That's Until you and there you have a fire and there you have a fire <laughs> so what we're gonna do here because we don't have rocks to make a fire pit is we're gonna use this super super damp punky wood that's like you could almost I I mean I've got I can ring water you, so, you, you could slice that like bread yeah <laughs> so this is not going to burn it, it will at, at worst this will smolder so, and this will help us contain our embers. So we just keep an eye, keep it manageable. And usually what I like to do is just make a triangle. So beautiful. Yeah. It's the classic Sam Bunai angle. Yeah. <laughs> it's eating time. <laughs> um, so yeah, earlier in the video we stopped by a place called Burrito Urbano. 
Hopefully I'll be able to show the footage and not get a copyright strike from the music that was playing over the radio. But either way, I got a couple of tacos. And Sam here, what you get? I think you got a burrito, right? I got a burrito supreme. Yeah, burrito supreme from uh, Burrito Urbano. It's a fantastic place in, in Rochester. Fantastic Mex Mexican uh, restaurant. This is this, this, this fantastic. <laughs> oh, glory. Oh. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. For sure. Kind of been waiting like hours for this moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's cold, but it's good. All right, we're gonna sit here, eat this Mexican food in the woods, listen to the cars pass us by, mm -hmm. while beans and cheese just fall into our our inner core. Yeah. All right, we're gonna toast and celebrate to uh, a nice trip in the can. We're pretty much all wrapped up by Shotgunning White Claw. <laughs> Here we go. This will mend Cheers. You. Cheers. Yeah, we, we woke up, immediately got breakfast, took an Uber, and just started walking. We are a bushed. Yes. We took two Ubers today. Yeah. But we did a lot of walking. I mean, we did minimum of three miles. Right? Oh, oh, yeah. I'd say cool, probably closer to five, but yeah. Okay. Closer um, to five. That sounds right. Yeah. Which which for you walkers out there, for you long distancers, that's like a, it's like a fart in the night. Walking through that neighborhood was a little sketchy. Right. Yeah. That was like the that was like the sketchiest thing. That was actually probably sketchier than either of the camps. Oh, definitely. You yeah. Know? No. Like we there was the very real feeling of of uh, we were we were stuck out like sore thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> and and people knew, were looking at us. Uh, there were there were three dudes standing outside a store who they were they were fine. They they but they they were a little sketchy. Yeah. A little out of it. <laughs> yeah, they were a little out of it. They were a little weird. We asked him if we could buy beer, and the guy told us. But then we, we tried to go buy beer, and uh, it was terrible. So it, was, it wasn't even... It was, it was bad. It was yeah. bad. Bad selection. Yeah. I don't even want to think about how bad that selection was. It makes me sick. It makes me sick. A bunch of Genesee cream ale thrown down into a pile. Basically. <laughs> right. I didn't even see the brand. I didn't even But realize. Genesee's from Rochester, I guess, Yeah, we right? were by it. Yeah. We were at High Falls. We were, we were right near the Genesee Brewery. That's actually where I had the Uber drop us off. We are bushed. <laughs> we are bushed. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want to go on urban backpacking trips all the time. They're, they're exhausting. A couple of hills here and there. Yeah. Um, well, we climbed the, the highest point in Rochester. That's true. I guess we did climb to the highest point That was some Rochester. elevation. That was some steep uphill hiking right there. Um, but I think this is technically the last place I stealth camped at here, maybe. No. With Sean. Yeah. Hi, Sean. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Sean for president. Everybody say hi to Sean. Every everyone say hi to Sean for president when he comments. Uh -oh. Look at that sound. I don't know. But yeah, no, def definitely fun adventures. I can't wait to go through all the footage. Oh my gosh. It's going to take a while. So much footage over the past two days. All right, I'm in bed again. Another delightful sleep awaits me. Sam and I have been chatting around the fire, and now it's time to sleep around the sleeping bag. Sorry, I'm messing with my zipper. Anyway, unless anything crazy happens in the night, I'll see you in like a second. Well, everyone, it's been an incredible journey. We've walked, we've waved, <laughs> we've, we've slept, we've camped throughout this urban environment. And it's, it's been a pleasure, Sam. It's, it's been great camping with Camping with Sam Bananas. Uh, go check out Sam Bananas' channel. You probably already know. 
uh, who Sam Bananas is, I got sun all over my face. But go, go, go check out Sam Bananas' channel. Give him a little slibbity slub. Give him a little lickety like. Well, hey, everybody, thanks for coming along for this ride. Been a uh, long time coming for Kevin and I to, to get together here. It was really super cool to, to get this trip in, and I'm glad uh, you all came along for the ride to enjoy it. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> yep, this has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Don't forget, new episode of Small Plots every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. EST. It's gonna happen, it's, it's happening, it's happening. So just, so just, just tuck yourself in, and I'll catch you on that just, just most delightful little nexty. <sighs> Not a soul. Success. We were never here. <laughs> you got that on the table. <laughs> Cheers, Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, and this might just be the stupidest stealth camp I've ever purposefully gone on. Uh, we're supposed to have insane winds, insane rain, uh, and an Uber just dropped me off near my location, and I gotta, I gotta just run into the woods. There's a little break in the, well, I was gonna say there's a little break in the wind and rain, but not so much the wind. This is, I'm, I mean, I just look like I'm going camping. I can't believe there's people walking on this trail that I'm about to enter too. That's crazy. Anyway, have some fun things planned for tonight. I'm camping in a tent. Hey, that's different for me. Usually I camp in a hammock. I got a cheap old tent. Uh, I have an interesting way of starting a fire and I have a couple options for food. So let's rush into these woods and uh, get set up before it starts pouring again. I guess I'm gonna try to go down here. The woods I'm going into are right next to a somewhat recently built shopping area. There's a Costco, there's an REI, there's some restaurants and gas stations, thing, things like that. And the area that I'm gonna be camping in is sort of like earmarked for future development. Uh, so far, so far nothing, just, just cool places to camp. Not too much back here. I'm being very obvious, so I gotta move. I've actually camped nearby this place once before. Uh, I'll put a link to that video in the description, maybe, if I remember, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if I do that. Okay. I'm gonna get wet just doing this. Definitely a trail. I don't know who's using it. Hopefully it's not a person. Okay, so far so good. Doesn't appear to be anybody in here. I don't think anybody saw me come in here either. So two winds so far. The rain has stopped, the wind has died down a little bit. This is kind of perfect, but I want to hurry. I don't want to squander this. Ah, look at this. I'm gonna put my stuff down, just walk around a little bit. I have camped in these woods, not at this spot, but in a different part of these woods before. And I've walked around and haven't seen any evidence of people, but I want to do that again, just to make sure. But I'm thinking, tent over here, 
I have a tarp for in front of the tent so I can like sit out front and have a fire and stuff. I don't know, I'm pumped. No, it's, uh, it's gonna be a wild night. I'm always on the lookout for stuff like this. I don't know what caused that. It could be just somebody slipping in the mud. Could be a deer. Could be nothing at all, but that's kind of what I keep my eyes open for. Yeah. Looking pretty good. There's a giant orange cone up there. Not worried about that. Okay, there's, I see the cone, but there might be an orange tent over there. I'm gonna go check out to see if I can see if that's an orange tent over there or not. If it is, I have other woods I can go to. But this is why we check. I don't wanna be sleeping next to a, a stranger in the woods like that. Okay, so here's the, the obvious cone. And there's the orange thing. I don't know if the camera's picking up on it. Way over there. I'm pretty sure that's just another cone. Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. Boy, that's a hole. That's gotta be coyote or fox. Something big. I'm not gonna, not gonna mess with that other than crawling right inside. Looks like some pretty clean woods. There's some traffic over there on the highway. Okay, okay, this is gonna work. I see Costco over there. This is really nice out here, actually. I expected to get out here in a hurry and get hit in the face with wind and rain, because that's what it was doing just a few minutes before my Uber came. It was pouring torrential downpour, like 30 mile an hour winds. It's supposed to be doing that and getting worse all day and night. So I'm glad to have this little reprieve. Okay, let's go set up the tent. I think, I think right around here is a good spot to have my tent. It's flat. I'm protected on one side by this, by this hill, kind of, and I'm behind the camera on another berm. So it, it kind of like comes in like this, and I'm going to camp right in the middle. I think this is going to work nicely. I got this old tent in a 2014 and I was starting to get back into camping the first time a few years ago and uh, it's a good tent. I've been uh, through many many hard times many many good times with it and uh, we'll see if it holds up tonight. It's an incredibly cheap tent. I bought it at a, a Dick's I think for like a hundred dollars uh, in Colorado. That's it. That's the story. I'm gonna use this poncho as a ground tarp that's what I got for right now. Oh boy. Tech poles. That's what we got for tonight. The temperature is actually not too bad right now. It's in the 40s Fahrenheit. It's going to drop tonight, get in the upper 20s. So that'll be fun. Of course, it's, of course, it's bunched up on one side. Takes form. Okay. Okay. Tent is erected. I gotta fix the ground sheet, but we're gonna try and figure out what the tarp's gonna do next. Well, the wind has picked up just in time for me to try and figure out what I'm gonna do with my tarp. I think I'm gonna try to somehow attach it to this tree and kind of drape it this way so I can kind of have like this area 
down here. I don't know if that's gonna work out. So I'm gonna attempt to do, I hope it works. Oh boy. Whew, okay. The wind's still picking up. It started to rain for a second, but then it stopped. But more is imminent. I, I kind of got what I, what I need here. Uh, I tried to connect all the lines to whatever trees I could, but whatever lines weren't near a tree that I had to stake in the ground, I have big heavy rocks. There's a lot, there's a lot of like chunks of concrete and asphalt and stuff around here from when there used to be a structure here many, many, many years ago in the like 60s or 70s, who knows. But like, ton of this type stuff. Uh, I'll be monitoring it all night, of course. As you can see, it's kind of just like a sail right now. Oh boy. It's very, very roomy and spacious in here though. I feel like it's, it's pretty taut. I, I can see that rock moving up and down. I did that pretty fast. I didn't bring my chair on this trip, so sitting right there is the plan. Thus the little tarp that I wanted to put up here. Huh. Okay, I guess, uh, I guess now we camp. Okay, I think I'm actually done. I tied up an extra loose end on the tarp, so every single one of the tie-outs possible on the tarp is tied out. Whew. Well, we still have a little bit of a break in the rain. It keeps coming and going. My tarp's already wet, it's got some drops on it. Uh, before I really settle in for the night, I just wanna stretch my legs, kinda look at the surroundings. Uh, see if the camera can pick it up. There's a big green expressway sign over there. Probably not, we'll see. And right over there is a super close highway that I'm going to be hearing all night long. Isn't that novel for a stealth camp? <sighs> and then over that way, you can kind of see the, the plaza, the shopping area that I'm camped next to. Let's see how stealthy I am with my bright orange colored stuff. So someone would have to come through this field to get anywhere near me. And I don't think they're gonna do that. But if they did, well, they'd probably see me immediately. I, I, I'm right there, I'm clearly camping right here. I'm really not worried about it. As I said, someone would have to walk through that field. There's no reason to. It's almost dark and it's gonna be pouring with insane winds all night. So the chances are, I'm gonna call them zero. Usually I don't like to speak in absolutes. I'm gonna go with a 0% chance of somebody coming back here tonight. The lines are holding up really well so far. They're all very taut. That's good, that's good. It's kind of awkward over here, but just the way it kind of has to be. I don't have the best uh, trees to tie around. And I wanted to have more trees tied than stakes in the ground. That's just a recipe for disaster with all stakes. It's kind of cozy in here. Look at that. I already got my sleeping pad muddy. That's good. That's gonna happen. It's probably gonna happen. Very nice. I could, I, I'm going to enjoy chilling here tonight. Whew. It's nice to finally relax. You know, before these trips, it's go, go, go. It's not just what's on the camera. Uh, it's before the camera when I'm getting everything ready and want to make sure I have everything. I'm stressing over missing a minor detail and what time it is, what time sunset is, how long it's going to take me to get here, what the weather's going to be like. Uh, I took an Uber here. It, it honestly all went about as smooth as it possibly could have today. Whew. Especially considering I was planning on coming out in just torrential rain and and crazy wind, but that's okay. This is really nice. <sighs> I have a little bit, uh, a little bit more than an hour before sunset. So it's gonna get dark pretty soon. May as well start a fire. And what better way 
than a fire in a can. I don't know if you guys have seen these advertised, these city bonfires. Um, you can get them on Amazon or the company has a web page. Uh, I've never used them before, but apparently you just light it and it's like a, a campfire for three to five hours. So three hours. That's what it looks like inside. I gotta light each one of these little things. Uh, and it's safe to cook on. And I have some hot dogs I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook on it. That's pretty cool. If it was too crazy outside to light this, um, then I have, I have some, uh, I, I was ready with some uh, backup tuna creations to eat. But I think we're gonna be good. I think I'm gonna be able to light this now and, uh, and keep it going. The wind, I can see it going crazy in the trees. I'm definitely feeling it down here. And the camera's probably hearing it, but the uh, raised ground all around me and the trees are really doing a great job protecting me. One thing that I've uh, heard in my research about this is how difficult these things are to, to light. It looks like they've started scoring them a little bit. Uh, some of the ones I saw online weren't scored like this. They were just clean holes. Uh, so that's probably an attempt to get them to light better. But also, butane torch. I'm not messing around. I mean, this is kind of, it's a little bit messing around. I'm messing around a lot. Uh-oh. I checked it so many times at home. Why isn't this not lighting? Okay, we gotta figure something out. I checked this so many times. Double, triple checked it. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. Okay, I got it. Just had to breathe on it a little bit. It is a butane torch, and I know butane uh, doesn't do great in the super cold weather. Not that it's super cold out, but might just be cold enough. Okay. Okay, I think I think that's lit. It looks lit. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow it out. It smells kind of good, and they go out. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be a pain, I can tell. Yeah. I kind of hear like an animal or something behind me. I wish I could go check it out, but I'm just, I just have to do this. Hey man. Yeah, me blocking the wind is doing good. I don't want to keep it too close to my tent. All right, so I had to go get this big rock and put it there as a windshield, and even then it's not really working that great. This one right here in the corner just keeps going out. Oh, that one looks like it's about to go out too. These two front guys are doing well. Uh, it looks good. I just, I just wish it would stop going out. It's not the fault of this thing, it's just really windy out here. I might need to get a couple more rocks to just kind of surround it, keep it, uh, keep it from blowing around too much. Actually, this is really, this isn't even really a rock. It's just a, it's a hunk of asphalt. The temperature is dropping exponentially. I just put a hoodie on, uh, I put a new little warmer hat on, and I'm good so far. I have another jacket if I need it. I was prepared. I knew the temperature was gonna plummet. Even since I've been here, uh, it, it was probably about 45-ish when I got here, and it's gotta be close to freezing already, just in the last hour or so, just plummeting. And you can feel it. You can truly, you can truly feel it. <sighs> it's kind of relaxing now. Fire's going pretty decently. It's a little early to crack into the beverage center, but soon, soon, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, get that going. But for now, I'm just kind of relaxed. Relaxed and relaxing. Boy, this is a this is a green shot, huh? You got the green tarp, you got the green coat, you got the green two-tone tent. And uh, this leaf, that's green as well. I gotta say, this tent does a pretty good job at just blocking the wind. It's, it's a good 10 degrees warmer in here, just for whatever reason. Just kind of keeping it in. 
uh, it being the heat. I gotta say I'm impressed with the old gal. Not too shabby. Oh, flare's going pretty good out there. Yeah, I didn't bring my camp chair, but I'm really not regretting it. I'm kinda between just sitting, it's between sitting Indian style uh, right in front of the fire or just leaning back and relaxing for a minute. I'm very comfortable. I'm using, I brought my sit pad, but I'm using my uh, sleeping pad as a sitting pad here. Just kinda on it right now. Um, that's kinda how I'm gonna rock it all night, keeping my butt nice and warm. Well, I appreciate everyone watching. I would super appreciate it if you gave me a little sub down on that uh, little that little red rectangle, the subscribe rectangle. Uh, really trying to grow the channel. More, more of this type of stuff, stealth camping. Uh, sometimes it's not stealth camping. Sometimes it's regular camping. Sometimes it's not camping at all. Sometimes it's just w whatever. But predominantly, uh, people, I know people really like the stealth camping and I really like the stealth camping. So I, I do a fair amount of that. Uh, so if you'd consider subscribing, I would super, super appreciate it. And if you're really feeling kind, pop a like, pop a bell. Those are, those are important to help grow the channel as well. Wow, yeah, the camera's not picking up on it at all, but that sky over there where it looks blown out white is just incredibly dark clouds. But I think they've passed. And there's more incredibly dark clouds on the way over there. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a cozy sleep. Let me, let me show you around the tent. Okay, there, that's it, that's, that's it's pretty good. Uh, have my pack right here, have some extra clothes and stuff up there. Got some beers underneath my pack there. And I'm just gonna sleep right here, that's it. That's the tour, that's the grand tour. Pretty simple. Uh, I knew the weather was gonna be terrible and usually I camp in a hammock, but I didn't wanna be holed up in the hammock all night. And I thought it'd be a good opportunity to bust the tent out again, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've used this tent. Certainly not since starting small plots uh, back in the spring. Well, as soon as I just turned my camera off to, to change the battery, the insane gusts started up. Like the insane, insane gusts. Stuff's falling. Uh, more insane than the previous gusts. Like the, like the actual 45, 50 mile an hour gusts appeared. So they're coming. I think that was a precursor. Ooh, ooh, I'm excited. This hat is really too small for me. <laughs> it's weird because I have a tiny head. Okay, I think it's time to bust open the beverage center here. Um, well, since I got this tent originally in Colorado, I used to live in Colorado, Denver to be more specific. Um, I'm from Rochester, but I had some time in Colorado, uh, several years, but broken into two. Anyway, um, so I have some beer from Breckenridge Brewery. And what better beer from Breckenridge Brewery to bring out uh, then Strawberry Sky, because, you know, it's a super summery beer, very tropical, kind of like what we're experiencing right now. I thought it was a good first choice. Uh, I have a few different Breckenridge Brewery beers here. Uh, this is just the first I'm going to open. Full disclosure, um, I, I, to me, Breckenridge Brewery is good, it's fine, but my opinion of it has always kind of been like, it's, it's fine, you know, it's, it never blows your mind but it's decent, it's decent good beer. It's out of Breckenridge, Colorado, but they also had a, a tap room in the city of Denver and that's where I've had most of their beers is there. It smells like strawberry. 
and it tastes like strawberry, kind of like a like a strawberry pilsner almost. No, it's a, it's a Kolsch. Okay, Kolsch style with a delicious finish. It does, actually. It's a very delicious finish. Yeah, it's a pretty good first beer. I'm gonna start cooking pretty soon. Right now, my idea is um, the weather's getting worse and my fingers are getting cold and I'm gonna cook in a little while on this fire here. And then once the fire burns out, it says it lasts three to five hours. Once that three to five hours is up, I don't think I'm gonna light the second one. I think I'm gonna go in the tent and hang out, depending on what time it is. Probably gonna be like seven or eight or something like that. Not a little too early to go to bed, but um, I think just the pain in the butt of trying to use my cold, almost depleted butane torch on a second one of these when the weather's even worse, um, it just doesn't seem like a good time. So I'm gonna hang out, drink this beer for a little while, and then I'm gonna roast some hot dogs on this here city campfire. I'm glad to be out here now. It's, uh, ooh, that's a way worse angle. Try, I'm trying to get it so the light isn't just front and center there. I don't know, whatever. It's like a thing. There's like, I don't know. Production. Uh, I wonder what the Uber driver <laughs> thought of me getting in the Uber uh, with my clearly about to go camping and just picks me up in the city and excuse me drops me off right right on the edges I'm still in the city right now but very close to to the edge of the city and city limits but it's uh this 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 is nice this this is kind of a good payoff just chilling doing one of my favorite things drinking a beer just kind of watching the crazy weather around me. I'm getting a little peckish, so I think I'm gonna cook some hot dogs. Some simple guys tonight, no, no uh, jalapeno cheddar dogs or anything like that. Just some classic beats, you know, from Oski Mai. It's Os Oscar Mayer. So, Instead of looking for a stick, I brought some chopsticks, and I'm just gonna just gonna roast it on on, uh, on this bad boy here. Yeah, it's going in pretty good. Oh yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> it's totally rocking. Okay, this is enjoyable. This is enjoyable to me right now. This is good. Getting a sense of satisfaction from this. Okay, let's eat this, let's eat this wiener. Uh, I got it kind of jammed into the ground right there. I'm finished cooking. Um, it kind of made the flame go out a little bit. I think whatever juices were falling off the hot dog, put it, put it out, put it out. It's not going as good. This one's totally out. Tortillas always make good hot dog buns when you're out in the wilderness. It's a cooked hot dog. No weird taste or anything. Oh God. That was barely warm. The first part was promising and then it just got cold by the end. I wanted to cook it more, but the flames were going out. I don't want the flames to go out. So I stopped cooking it. So I guess, I don't know. I'm not saying you can't cook hot dogs on these things, but it's kind of a pain in the bee, and I wouldn't recommend it. Maybe I'll try it again when it's not so crazy windy and, you know, inclement weather and stuff like that. I might have some tuna a little bit later, but that, that was enough to just kind of satiate me. Um, and yeah, that was that was it. That was the cooking the hot dog. A little anticlimactic. Nothing, nothing too great. Now I just have this chopstick. I got to do something with. I got I got a, I got this chopstick, and then I, I have a, a, a orphan chopstick in there. What am I gonna do with just a random chopstick? All right, time for beer number two. For beer number two, I have uh, 
the Juicy Drip Hazy IPA. Juicy Drip or Juicy Drap? I don't know. The vowel is just a like a symbol of a hop. It's any it's anyone's guess really. You're never gonna be able to see that. Yeah. Huh. Let's go. Let's go, Breckenridge Brewery number two-ery. Pretty good. A average, but good. Averagely good. It's it's good. It's really all I have to say. Nothing spectacular. It's nice. It is a it is a bit of a juicy juicy drip I think it's uh, you can kind of see a little bit of the the light peeking through but sun's been set for about a half hour it's basically pitch dark out here it feels a lot later than it is it always takes me a while to get used to this getting dark super early the the wind keeps coming and going like I'll I'll think it's going away, and then all of a sudden, some weird sounds. I didn't hear a lot of weird sounds. Someone might be like over there or something. They came camping later. I don't know. I just hear, I heard like chains clinging around, like big, heavy chains. And, I, and they didn't seem far enough away to be from the expressway. Anyway, what was I even talking about? <laughs> The wind, uh, it keeps dying down, and I'm like, oh, maybe that's the end, and then just huge gusts come back. I think that's kind of going to be my night. Hasn't snowed yet, but I don't, I don't think it's supposed to snow for another hour or so, so I'm kind of holding out hope. Cross my fingers, it snows tonight. Just a little bit. I don't need it to be like, you know, winter wonderland in the morning or anything like that. That would kind of be a big pee in the beat to pack up in, but uh, I'll, take, I'll take a little sprinkle. I'll take a little sprinkling. That's what I mean. Where the wind dies down and then it just kind of like picks up. Those lights are so close. I wonder if anyone can, I mean, they can definitely see this light when it's on, when I'm filming. I wonder if they can see the firelight. Yeah, this is what it looks like without this light. Just turn it off. If I can figure out how to do that. Yeah, oh my God. Something just jumped over there. Also, this isn't totally off. Oh, I have it on it like one side. How did I even do that? What's going on? That was weird. New feature. Must have must have updated the firmware. I'm cozy and rustic. <clears throat> okay, I've I've fixed this line. I've tightened it up. I've reinforced the weight, added a couple more rocks, and I also tied it to that tree over there. So this should be good. This is kind of like where the, the brunt of the, the rage of the wind comes from. The fire looks like it's kind of relit itself back up after the hot dog, after, after the hot dog put it out. Yeah, it's, start, it's starting to get pretty bad out there. Cold and windy. I think it's supposed to snow in a little bit. So, that's, that's cool. I'm, I'm just in for it. I'm just here and in for it. You can really see how close I am to things with the, with the lights. Those are, those are not far away at all. These uh, street lights, not really that, uh, you know, in, out there. I'm <laughs> right, right in a population center right now. Whew, cozy. Extremely, extremely cozy. The wind has really died down all of a sudden, and the clouds are kind of breaking up. Oh boy, can't focus. Yeah, the, uh, the, the yellow wind warning may, may have been a bust. It was super windy for a while, and now it's just regular wind. Like, it's still windy. It's just not insane windy. The, tr the trees are, are not going insane like they were, and I can even 
kind of see some stars up there. Uh, well, there's definitely a little break in the weather, although I just checked my phone to, to see what was up, and I'm kind of right smack, I looked at the Doppler, I'm right smack dab in the middle of a whole thing. So I think the broken up clouds and the died down winds are, uh, are merely temporary. And as I say that, the wind picks up again. Oh boy. Um, huge snow clouds coming this way. It, who knows if it snows, but the Doppler shows distinct and enormous snow clouds. And I looked up in the sky and I saw them headed this way. I tried to get it on camera, but it just didn't show up very well. Yeah, this, this sky that was broken up and I could kind of see stars like maybe 10 minutes ago is now completely cloudy again. And it's there and the wind has picked up. Wow, that was crazy. It just, everything just kind of stopped for like 20 minutes. And now it's back to the way it was. Nature is so interesting. Oh my stars and garters, it's snowing. I had to turn the light on to see it. I noticed the uh, the fire kept crackling like stuff was falling in it. And I turned my light on and here it is. Here it comes direct, like directly in. So I'm just getting snowed on. I don't want to leave my tent open. We'll see how long this lasts and how bad it gets. But it's snowing, baby. First camp in snow of the year. Well, I mean, at least, you know, like this season. You know, lat, lat, you know, winter 2021 last year there was snow, but I'm talking this, you, you, you understand. This is great. With, with the wind blowing, my tarp is just this dome. It's a consistent dome. It, it doesn't take very, very much wind. It doesn't even have to be gusting. See it here it is dripping down a little bit. Without the dome, it, it kind of just drips in my face. But then a little bit of wind happens. Yeah, I thought it was going to happen right there. Well, it's kind of, it's kind of happening. Uh, and it, it goes back, there we go, it goes back into dome mode. Time for my third beer of the night. That's right, three. Again, all from Breckenridge Brewery. I got a, I got a, a multi-pack, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's a vanilla porter. It's probably the first time I've drinking a vanilla porter here on the channel. And uh, what, what does it say? I can't, I can't read. Let's get in the light. Let's get in the light here. Uh, roasted malts with notes of vanilla. Well, that kind of sounds like a vanilla porter to me, just by definition. Classic Breckenridge Brewery. Here we go. Hmm. Pretty good. It's a vanilla porter. That's what they do best. <clears throat> they make the beers by definition. You know, it's not going to blow your mind, but it's good. It's not going to disgust you. That's, that's kind of just the, the general Breckenridge Brewery thing, I guess. That might be my favorite of the night. I don't drink porters an awful, an awful lot. Uh, the IPA was pretty good, but I think, I think this porter might take it. Between the IPA and, uh, what was this, the Strawberry Sky Kolsch, which all my cans. <clears throat> pretty good. Uh, the snow has stopped for now. It snowed for a little while and it stopped. I expect it to return. The wind has persisted. It's back in full force. And I'm kind of just biding my time until this fire burns out. I think about, I, I think at this point I have maybe half hour left. We'll see. I, c I could have an hour. I could have two hours. I don't know. I've never burned one of these things before. I'm, I'm going by complete guesses right now. Yeah, I'm literally just sitting here listening to sounds, to the sounds of the traffic, to sounds around me, to the sounds of the wind. I'm not having a podcast going. I'm not watching TV or anything. I probably will once I retire to my tent, but for now, I'm just really enjoying just being present here in nature. As small of a little plot as this is, that's uh, I'm getting a, a large amount of enjoyment from it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's still got a little flicker, but I'm going to call it at uh, almost exactly four hours. A, little, a few minutes more. Like eight, eight minutes more than four hours. So that's pretty good. That's uh, right in the middle between 
you know, three and five. That's uh, well, that's just fantastic. Okay, I am in the tent. I I, I kind of forget how much I miss having a space when I'm camping. Like I can put my bag right next to me and have my bottle of water and some you know, tissue if I need to blow my nose or something like right here. And, and I, 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 it's, I don't get that in a hammock. And that's, I guess that's one point to tent, point minus hammock. Uh, it's still pretty early. I'm gonna hang out and maybe like watch some YouTube or listen to a podcast for a little while. Um, I might eat some more tuna. I don't know. Uh, just kind of hanging out right now. Got to change my socks. I'm in my sleeping bag right now, but I forgot that I have a rule that every time I get in my sleeping bag, I got to change my socks and go in with fresh socks. And I forgot to do that. And it's just killing me. It's just killing me inside. So I'm going to change my socks. Well, the wind continues. It's been uh, pretty windy. I've just been hanging out in my tent, dealing with the gusts that come through. But I think it's finally time to lay my head down and just pass out. This wind has been lulling me to sleep and I'm just exhausted. Uh, so unless anything crazy happens in the night, well then I guess I'll see you in a second. Not a terrible night, not a great night. I went to bed so early, like 9.30 or so, but I still don't feel like I got a ton of sleep. I'm just not a ground sleeper. It was like one of those things where I never felt like I was really asleep. I would just check the time and it passed. So I like, oh, I must have slept. And then as soon as the light starts, poking in when I like actually sleep. I don't know why that happens. It's a, like a camping thing, but yeah, just kind of been lying in the sleeping bag for like 10 hours. <laughs> I'm too cozy to leave, but I got to go. I got to go home and edit this video up. And it's just, you know, I can't, I can't lay here forever. Just in the woods next to it shopping plaza <sighs> but the good thing about a tent is I can do most of the packing up in the tent other than the tent itself and the tarp which is utterly useless by the way it never really rained or snowed a significant amount it snowed on and off throughout the night but when I was sitting under under it the snow and it snowed it just came in the side anyway so the tent, the tarp was utterly useless. Didn't didn't need it really at all. It kind of made noise, flapped around, and now it's something extra I have to pack away. But you don't know. The forecast called for a ton of rain. <laughs> it didn't get any. C'est la vie. Uh, it is a pretty chilly morning too. It's uh, about 25 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Uh, the wind was going strong for most of the night. It's not right now. Um, tiny tiny breeze but really nothing to speak of the dome of my tarp is no longer domey it's kind of saggy now mm, saggy dome uh, but yeah um, I'm gonna start packing up and get out of here I'm just kind of I'm just kind of dilly da dilly dallying now I'm a wishy-washy dilly dallier all right, we do have a little bit of snow. Oh yeah, it looks fake. Just like these little balls. Nice, that's what I heard hitting my tent and tarp all night. Just kind of collected in the leaves. Looking pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Ah, the sun's coming out. It's not getting any warmer, but the sun is coming out. I've packed up the tent, I've packed up the tarp, I've packed up all of my accoutrements, 
And it's time to say farewell to this little bit of a small plot. Uh, it, was a, it was a good one. I, uh, I liked hunkering down in the, in the high, crazy winds. Uh, and it's kind of nice that I didn't have to pack out or pack up at, uh, this morning in wind and rain and all that stuff. That was that's definitely a boon. But uh, this has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Don't forget, everybody, new episode of Small Plots every Tuesday. I got, uh, I think, one more episode of Small Plots in 2021 before taking a short break uh, and then resuming in January. Just want to take a break for the holidays. It's just hectic. It's hard to get out for a video. But I'll be back. I'll be back. And I'll have one more video before I do take that break. So uh, thanks, everybody. And I'll catch you on that big windy sun in your eyes nexty Ooh. okay all right let's see if anyone's waiting for us in the entrance here all right now just a bunch of ticks Okay. Looking good. Already a bunch of people shopping at REI. Oh my god, a snake! Well, adios. My bed, here we go, it's where I'm sleeping tonight. Ah. Come on. This is just... I'm just a man in a Santa hat, talking to himself alone in the woods, camping in your backyard. Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, and today I'm braving the, the harsh suburban wasteland here in upstate New York. I'm gonna move on pretty quickly here as I'm just a weird uh, camping looking guy with a camera. Gotta move quick, gotta move fast. It's odd for me to be outside the city. I don't, I don't leave the city very often. Huh, I have a couple of, uh, I don't know, I guess suburban-esque things planned for tonight. Uh, some holiday things here as we are approaching, well, currently in the middle of the holiday season. It's the holiday season. Those of you who, who uh, watch Small Plots know that I, I don't really leave the city all too often. Most of my camping is done within city limits. And uh, when I do leave the city to go camping, it's usually like way out there. So this is a first for the channel, camping in the suburbs. Let's see how it works out. I'm, I'm pretty stoked for it. <laughs> it looks like the traffic light is malfunctioning right where I'm walking into the woods and there's just a cop there with his lights on uh, I guess making sure everything goes smoothly so I guess I'm gonna have to find another way in a little bit deeper shouldn't be a problem there's actually a few potential spots around here uh, if if one doesn't turn out to be so great Suburbs are weird. I didn't, I didn't get a walk signal. I guess they're not used to people walking. That's, well, that's just plain rude, I think. It's a beautiful mid-December day here in Rochester, New York, in the suburbs of Rochester, New York. I'm actually getting a little toasty here, just on, on this walk. I had to take my hat off. You don't want to really get too moist. <laughs> before or during a camping trip. Then you're just moist, especially if it's gonna be cold outside, which it's supposed to be getting pretty cold tonight. 
Uh, I don't wanna, I don't, I don't wanna be wet. Okay, so I'm coming up where I wanna jump in, right next to this cop flashing his lights, directing traffic at this uh, broken flashing traffic signal. So I'm gonna have to just like pay attention to the four way and just go. Which is now, which is now. Probably jog, I don't wanna hold people up here. Okay, alrighty, yep. Cop looking directly at me with all of my camping gear, like looking directly into my eyes. Well, I'm on the path to where I can jump into the woods here. I do wanna get down the path a little bit. As you can see, I'm right next to some homes on a pretty busy uh, side road here. There's a, I guess like a cell phone tower, radio tower, something, some tower. Oh yeah, here we go. This woods looks pretty nice. So still have all these homes right over here, but unless they're looking at me, this is it. Oh, okay. Looks like I've already found a, a trail, a well-trodden trail. That's okay. I have, uh, I have about an hour of daylight left, or an hour before the sun sets, anyway. I may have to go back up to the trail and cross this creek right here. I don't know, because right here is too close to this thing, and the expressway is right over here. Yeah, this is a terrible spot. I'm looking at road from all sides and houses from two of the sides. Yeah, if I could get like over there. Yeah, there's really no suitable place back in this section. So I'm walking out now. I don't trip on my face. It's funny, I just saw a little golf cart right up that path I came in on. Security, suburban bike trail security. Okay, leaving the forest. All clear, all clear. No big deal. All good. This might be, this might be the move right here. I'm just gonna go. Before that golf cart comes back. Okay, definitely no path here. Whew, gotta move. Gotta move, gotta go. If I can get down there. Oh, geez. Okay. Um, part of a car. Ew. Keep going this way. Actually, it might be better. All right, I'm gonna keep going this way. Oh my gosh, the prickers. Look at these. Everywhere back here. Oh God. I'm like trapped. These prickers. Oh. I'm just, I just walked into a bramble. I like hit the backside of my knee with a huge thorn just now. That was very painful. There's a lot of almost good spots in this woods. Maybe if I can get across the creek here, looking for that goldy spot before that sun sets. Well, it's kind of interesting the way this tree grew around this other small tree. It's not a vine. I don't want to get a wet foot, you know what I'm saying? Oh God. Oh, yep, not gonna do that. Not gonna do that, that was very slippery. This is turning into a whole thing. Just walls of prickers, just the prickers. It's uh, just, just terrible, terrible prickers everywhere. Like big guys. I'm gonna pop back out on the bike path up here again. Okay, walking out on the path again now. Yeah, there's uh, houses over there. All right, just walk a little bit more this way. Okay, I found another potential game trail type situation. <sighs> well, so far, uh, only a ton of prickers, that's good. It's insane pricker life. Kinda looks a little bit promising back here. I think this is gonna be home tonight. Oh, <sighs> finally. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I almost gave up hope for hammock trees 
and I was starting to look around for some flat ground to just put my sleeping pad on and stay for the night. But I think I found two that are gonna work out. And if they don't, then I'll just sleep on the ground. Not that big of a deal. It's not supposed to rain or get crazy uh, windy or anything like that tonight. Just kind of, kind of, uh, kind of sleeping however, wherever I can. So uh, I'm gonna attempt to set up this hammock and hope that uh, it's not too close. Hopefully the trees aren't too close. I'm still pretty obvious. I, I can see houses like bedroom windows and the little trail that I came in on is right over there. So I'm going to have to say no to a fire tonight, unfortunately. Just not in the cards. Not to mention, I'll turn the camera around in a minute, but traffic right there. I'm sure you can hear it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Doesn't look like I have too many scratches that are visible. I was getting like the back of my head. Whoo, prickered up. These things were relentless. <sighs> well, it's a hammock hang anyway. Not my best. Yeah. I have my hammock set up here but i'm still having second thoughts about it i'm thinking about my neon green greenish yellow sleeping pad and i have my light gray tarp so um i don't know i feel like those are pretty big beacons for where i am it's gonna be really hard to show on the camera but all along the horizon there are houses I, I could, I can see traffic up there. I just saw, I was watching a car with its turning signal on just a second ago. And then over here on this side is a highway, expressway. You know, they're not stopping or really looking out the window, but uh, just with bright colors and stuff, I, I think I'm gonna call it on the hammock. And uh, right below here, I'm gonna clear this area out, put my tarp down on the ground and put my sleeping pad on it and just sleep cowboy style under the stars tonight. It's not supposed to rain or anything. So the worst I'll have are uh, yeah, spiders raining down, huh? It's gonna be a weird night. I've got my bed. Here we go, it's where I'm sleeping tonight. I have my tarp on the ground. I have my sleeping pad. My sleeping pad's actually upside down because of this color. Uh, my sleeping bag is still wrapped up because that is a similar color. Uh, once it gets fully dark, I'll be worried less about that. But I am just so plainly seen, if anyone were to look back here. And uh, any bright color is gonna stand out like a sore thumb in these woods, in these like, you know, gray, brown, uh, you know, dark green woods. Uh, so I'm just gonna take you guys around a little bit and then I think I'll have myself a seat See if the camera can pick up on that Giant knotty tree over there. Oh my gosh. Can I get over there? I might be able to Oh the prickers Oh this spot isn't so bad over here still no good place to camp, but it's kind of nice Oh god uh, I'm stuck. I'm caught. I'm been caught. I'm stuck. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> it gets worse. It's getting. I'm making it worse. Uh. Come on. Right. This is just, this is just ridiculous. Okay. No. Nope. All right. All right. You can have the hat. You can have the hat. <sighs> Jeez. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna be walking around too much tonight, I don't think. But look at this tree. This big old knotty tree. It's the expressway that runs right along there. And over here's my camp, which I can't see at all. Okay, let's uh Okay, <laughs> I made it that time. 
Oh, I hate prickers so much, man. I hate them. You hit in the face. That's always a good time. Fall over. Oh, hey. Okay, that's the last time I venture anywhere tonight. That's where I'm staying. Home sweet home. Okay, here I am. Just sitting on the ground. I'm gonna wait around for a few hours and then I'll be sleeping on the ground. But until then, let's get a little festive, shall we? The stealthiest hat in existence. Put that over the beanie. All right, I think we're ready to go. The first beer that I'm gonna be drinking tonight is one that I haven't had on the channel before. I don't think I've actually ever had it at all, had it at all in my life. It's the uh, Strawberry Vanilla Milkshake IPA from K2 Brewing. I really like K2. They do a lot of uh, great sours. Uh, this isn't a sour, it's an IPA, so we'll see. I've enjoyed milkshake IPAs that I've had in the past. I haven't had this one, so let's go on this, this journey together, shall we? I'm very exposed. Well, that just smells delightful. Oh! Oh! That's pretty good. Once it starts to get a little darker, I'll be able to show you guys around just how close I am to houses right over there. Houses and traffic over that way, and just traffic over that way. Over in this direction is uh, Endless Prickers. And over in this direction is Endless Prickers. Just houses back there, houses over there. No, traffic back there. Can't say that's bad. That's really good. It's not overly sweet. Um, it's pretty subdued. The vanilla really comes through kind of in the aftertaste. Uh, definitely more vanilla than strawberry, but the strawberry adds like this nice, hmm, and it's not too summery. I thought it was gonna be too summery of a beer, but it's actually pretty appropriate for what I'm doing right now. It's pretty good. So just a little recap. Coming in here was a big P in the B. I uh, couldn't go the first two spots that I thought I was going to be able to camp. So I kept having to leave and walk back out to the bike path and come back around. And I'm glad I found this spot, but it, even this spot's not, not all that great. Um, there's a couple trees that I saw that were suitable for hammocks but they're all dead ash trees. So I don't want to hang my hammock to a, to a dead ash tree that's like that you know, wide. I've heard a couple dogs barking uh, that are kind of close. I assume it's just people walking uh, up there on the path. I can just see cars. When I turn my head, I just see them go right on by. Uh, super chill little cozy spot though. It would have been nice to have a fire, but instead I have this light. It's kind of like a fire, right? Turn it to red mode, right? Well, if you've made it this far in the video and you like what you see, I'd really appreciate it if you'd uh, throw me a little subscribe. Just throw a little subscribe my way. I'm trying to grow the channel and uh, subscribing's the best way for me to do that. If you also want to help me grow it in the best way that you can, um, also, please click the bell, get some notifications whenever I upload a video, and uh, give me a little like. If you like it, if you don't like it, well, I mean, by all means, use that dislike button. It's worth a whole super lot now. I'm yelling. I need to st stop yelling. I can't hear in like a trundle cart or something over there. Uh, speaking of subscribers, I just passed 2,000 subscribers, so thank you everyone who's already subscribed. You guys are awesome. Uh, when I started Small Plots uh, back this past spring, it hasn't even been a full year yet, uh, this was actually not going to be a channel that I planned on updating weekly. I kind of accidentally just started up <laughs> uploading weekly and then just kept going with it. Uh, I'm glad I did though, because it's, uh, it's a blast getting out and filming, even if I can't get out camping every week. Uh, so yeah, thank you everybody. Thank you so much for 2,000 subs. Thank you for subscribing today if you did. Uh, it's going to be great. I got a lot of awesome stuff coming up for 2022. Uh, more collaborations with some YouTubers that I know you guys like. Uh, more stealth camping, more regular camping. This will be the final camping video I do for 2021. 
Uh, won't be the final video I put out, but this is the final uh, camping video, stealth or otherwise, that I that I put out. Gonna take some time uh, with the family for the holidays, unwind a little bit, and then I'll be back in, in the first couple weeks of January, uh, ready to go with, with a new stealther. Or maybe not, I don't know, I'm not really sure what the first video back's gonna be. I have so many ideas that I wanna do, I'm just not sure which the first one's gonna be. Hey. <laughs> So it's rush hour right now, basically. The sun has set. It's, I can find my phone. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, it's just before five. So people in those homes, a lot of them are getting home right now. Uh, the, I can hear the traffic going crazy on the expressway over there. And here I am, just kind of hanging out in the middle of it. That's why I love stealth camping so much. Just kind of, just in a place that not many people would go or camp. And I'm just, I might be the first person to camp here ever in the history of humanity. You know, I don't know, it's, it's kind of a cool thought, I guess. Well, I'm here in suburbia, here in this residential area, home for the holidays, as it were, even though I live in a city. Uh, and I was trying to rack my brain, like what do people who live in the suburbs eat? And so, I have some uh, leftover McDonald's for dinner tonight. This is gonna be really great. I got a bunch of nuggets and I got one hamburger. <laughs> it's, the, it's the highest uh, delicacy you can imagine. That is soft and soggy. It doesn't matter. I am so hungry right now. I haven't eaten all today. Whew. I want to get something in my stomach before I start drinking too much uh, too much of the beer. Look at this, we even got, even have some a spice the buffalo dipping sauce. Let's give it a whirl. I actually do not mind McDonald's buffalo sauce. It's like kind of creamy and delicious. Ah, just a grown man eating nuggets in the woods in a Santa hat. It's pretty it's regular life. All right, let's get this, uh, let's get this hamburger a try. I usually don't get hamburgers. I'll get something more, you know, feast worthy. It's kind of in the mood for like a regular McDonald's hamburger. I think the last time I had one, they were like 89 cents. It's like a dollar 20 or something. Not that much more, but it's been a while. It tastes like a cold McDonald's hamburger that I ordered yesterday. Very peaceful back here. A little bit different from my last stealth camp where I camped in a, in a windstorm. That was a lot of fun, but peaceful it was not. I'm gonna chill out here, eat, uh, eat the rest of my McDonald's and hang out for a little while. I have two episodes of Succession to watch tonight. Season finale happened and I have that episode and the previous episode. Uh, if you guys are fans of Succession, let me know in the comments. I freaking love that show. I will talk Succession to anyone who wants to talk Succession. Speaking of the show Succession on HBO, that's the, that's in particular, that's the, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I'm pretty cozy right now. I, I put my hoodie on. I have my just my regular quilt over my legs. I might take my shoes off and just kind of cozy up. <clears throat> Haven't really been doing much. Just finished dinner and uh, listening to the sounds of traffic. There's not really any sounds of nature to be had here. It's all traffic. Uh, yeah, really, really beautiful night. All right. Well, it's getting pretty dark. Well, it's it's pretty dark. Time to open this, the second variety of beer I have. A little bit of Space Kitty. Okay, ready to open that up. <clears throat> there we have it. That's just a solid Space Kitty. Just like all the others, just like all the rest. Thanks to my buddy Sean in previous videos. Uh, he got me this. <laughs> 
it's actually it's technically uh, a dog toy, but that's uh, that's okay with me. It's uh, a little plush space kitty. Like, can you imagine? Can you imagine? This is this is incredible. I, it like blew my mind when I opened it. So I'm just chilling, listening to the sounds, uh, watching a little bit of uh, HBO's Succession on my phone. It's uh, it's a really peaceful night out here. Pretty cozy out here. I've just kind of been chilling on my mat. Um, I, I'm not wearing boots anymore. I'm just chilling in my bare feet. I'm not sure exactly the temp. I don't have a thermometer, but my phone says it's 47, whatever, how, how, however accurate that is. I think it's a little bit cooler than 47. I'd say 44, 44. The only light really is coming from it's not a full moon, but it's it's bright as the Dickens above me. It's actually probably going to be uh, a little difficult to sleep with how bright it is. It's just going to probably be in my eyes all night. It's uh, no clouds tonight, totally clear. I can actually see some stars. That's uh, that's new. In the city, I can see like a handful of stars. I don't know. Here, I don't know. There's a couple dozen, I'd say. Nothing like, you know, out in, in you know, nature, in like actual nature or anything like that. But it's, hey, it's a little bit more than the city, anyway. There's tons of critters crawling around, probably little mice. I definitely know there are some squirrels. They don't really mess around too much after dark, I don't think. Um, I know for a fact, I mean, I'm in the woods in the suburbs. There's gonna be raccoons, there's gonna be fox. Might hear some coyote tonight. Definitely saw some potential coyote holes. Uh, when I was exploring around looking for a site. Um, yeah, but it's pretty peaceful. Pretty peaceful out here. Pretty peaceful, pretty cozy. Here's what, here's what I'm dealing with, sleeping directly on the ground. I don't understand why I can't focus. There's plenty of light. Just focus on the thing. Just focus. You just need focus. That's all. There we go. Anyway, sir. Excuse me. No, thank you. That's all you need to say. Yeah, that's going to be happening all over my face tonight. I have no problem with that. It's December. It's the middle of December. It's in the uh, low 40s, but you know, uh, insects. That's, let's, yeah, that's, uh, I, I, that, I ex Ho, ho, ho! Okay, one more beer. Uh, another local Rochester beer here. Uh, by the way, if you haven't had Rochester beers, what are you doing? What are you doing not having Rochester beers? We have a, a, a plethora of an uh, amazing selection. Stoneyard Brewing. Abbott's Frozen Custard, another local brand. Uh, almond Vanilla Custard Cream Ale. I read that out, uh, slightly out of order, but you get the idea. Uh, there it is. My mother forced this upon me today. <laughs> Not that she had to try too hard. That's just a good holiday beer. Reminds me of Christmas. I think the last time I had it was last, actually, I don't even think it was last Christmas. I think it was uh, the previous Christmas, last time I had this. It says here in the quotes, uh, smooth and creamy. And I I'm gonna have to agree with that assessment. I'm gonna hang out here for a little while drink this beer. It occurred to me that people may have questions about why uh, I chose to camp without a shelter uh, when I have a shelter, but I decided to use the shelter as a ground sheet instead of a shelter. And there are, are a few reasons. You may have mixed feelings about them. I know I'm breaking my own rule here, but there's a zero chance of precipitation tonight. It's clear, 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 clear. Another reason is I just ha I just like to have a space. I like to have a, like a, a nice area around me, even in a hammock, you know? Uh, I have like pouches and stuff on the side of the hammock. I just like an area that is not the earth. 
What a season finale of Succession. Oi, oi. Wow. I, I just want to thank everybody for making small plots so great this year. I've had so much positive feedback. You guys have made this channel so much fun to do. I can't wait to go into 2022. I have so many ideas. A lot of new stuff coming up for small plots this year, guys. A lot of exciting ideas that I have. I'm excited to bring you with me. I'm excited to do them. It's just total excitement. Definitely not changing too much about small plots. I'm just going to capitalize on the things that you guys already like. I, 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 wanna, I wanna emphasize the things that people like. I'm just trying to, to hone in. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to hone in. I want you to tell me what you'd like to see in small plots season two coming in just a few weeks from now. Love you guys. I'm just a man in a Santa hat, talking to himself alone in the woods, camping in your backyard. Oh, all right, well, I'm laying down here in my sleeping bag on the ground. Nothing above me, hardly anything below me. I have a nice sleeping pad and of course my down sleeping bag will protect me from the cold emanating from the ground and the air. Uh, and I have the proper attire for forever anything I need really. This is this is uh this is a cozy situation is basically what I'm trying to say. I'm here in the middle of the suburbs. Sleep is uh coming very soon to me now and unless anything crazy happens in the night, well then Guess I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, that was a fine night. Fine night indeed. Uh, I don't want to get up. I'm having such a nice slumber, but it's getting on towards the time when people might be like walking their dogs, and I don't want them to discover it's just a man in the woods. That's me. I'm the man in the woods. Yeah, I'm uh, outside of my sleeping bag. has a little condensation on it. Unless the camera can pick up on that. Yeah, I thought it was my breath, but looking down, my whole sleeping bag just has a little bit of condensation. That's okay. Uh, it still worked great. Um, and I'll just have to dry it when I get home. <sighs> really, nothing to report from last night. I fell asleep. It was marvelous. I slept really well. Um, didn't have any, like mice running by my head or anything, which I was a little worried about, considering I heard a lot of little critters before I went to sleep. Um, kind of see my breath. <sighs> Alright, well I'm gonna get out of here and pack my wet stuff up and, uh, well, get, get, out, get out of here. kind of see how close I was to these houses over there. There's one right there. And there, there I slept. And there's the expressway, a little break in traffic. Well, it didn't last long. <sighs> Pack up's gonna be easy. <laughs> Don't really have to pack too much up. And I'm gonna do that now. And get out of here before somebody calls the cops. With my sleeping bag a little bit wet, you can kind of see the, the down feathers in there. It's okay. Uh, they are hydro, it's hydrophobic down. I think they're coated with something. So the sleeping bag still works when it gets a little wet. Obviously not if you're gonna douse it in water or something like that, but uh, it's, it's, it worked great last night, so I'll pack it up and then instantly unravel it when I get home and just let it dry out. That goes for all this stuff. All right, well, I'm all packed up. That's where I was laying. Pretty good. No complaints, no complaints, considering I kind of just had to randomly do it. <clears throat> so, yeah, to get out of here, I have to walk through some spiky thorns. Uh, let's go.
<clears throat> okay, squirrels jumping all over. Success. No one on the trail. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, that was a that was a fun small plot that I engaged in last night, wasn't it? Uh, had to improvise, ate some classic suburban meals, had some delicious beer, uh, just kind of generally relaxed in nature. One of my favorite things to do. Uh, don't forget, this is the final stealth camping episode of 2021 for small plots. I'll, I'll still post some things, but this is this is sort of the farewell to 2021 camping video. This has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, and don't forget every Tuesday I have new episodes of Small Plots, uh, whether it be this or other types of camping, maybe uh, maybe an explore. Kind of, you know, some other things as well. So, thanks so much for watching, everybody. And I'll catch you on that uh, cul-de-sac looking nexty. They're, they're robbing the 5G tower thing. Robbing them. Robbing them clean. Robbing them good. Just taking that, that uh, crucial component. <laughs>